Good afternoon, Lace Chapman. I'm John. I'm Claire. Ted's over there. It's many a true note, and welcome back to Against so When I say Ted's over there, by the way, it's it's hard to tell. We can't be entirely certain for the simple reason that Ted is now under a sufficiently large number of blankets to keep him toasty and surrounded by a sufficiently large number of teddy bear-like dog toys. It's it, you can't be certain anymore. There could be a dog under there. There might not be. It's, it's you just you just can't tell. Like there's a tiny I bit mean, of, it is a pile of blankets. It's just a pile of blankets that may or may not have a dog in it sometimes somewhere. Sometimes it snores. Sometimes it moves like there's a tail wagging in the there. Yeah, exactly. But you know, it's it's gently you can't be it's sure. gently breathing. So either Ted's in there or like we've been adopted by like a stray cat that snuck in through the window Ooh. or something. <laughs> Welcome back. But why not both? Exactly. Welcome back to Against the Storm, which is a kind of city builder strategy, kind of it's Warcraft 3. It's blatantly supposed to look a bit like Warcraft 3, but like without the hero stuff going on and like not much RTS stuff. It, kind of, it looks like an RTS, but it isn't an RTS. It's a city builder strategy game. It's also kind of about automation, but not so much. It's a weird game. It's, it's very... And it's a roguelike. And it's and it's also a weirdly long roguelike where, like, you know, a normal roguelike would be like, oh, you know, like, I don't know, 20 minutes and etc, etc. Claire needs to step out quickly by the Luke's of That's like the fourth call I've had from him. Claire's, Claire's, Claire's parents have decided to call her at this exact moment in time. So Claire's stepping out for a minute. That's fine. Well, it's it's a really fascinating game. It's really, okay. Just let's let's get you caught up, just in case you you know you, you you missed the video or you weren't sure what was going on here. Which is okay. I just went into the dark citadel of doom. Don't worry about the dark citadel of doom. We'll get to that. So, so so so, what's roughly going on here is. Uh, I am building towns. Okay, I built one previously. It was called Greymire, right? I'm not sure I ever named it, but like it was, it was there. It was there. Uh, we built that, and we had you got to complete certain objectives, and then that town is done. Then you, you therefore can move further out to more and more mysterious things uh, in order to eventually work your way out towards this McJibel, a seal that you break to get further and further out, and eventually. Question mark. Maybe you defeat the storm. Because, like, you know, on top of that, time is ticking along on the bottom of here. Like, when it reaches the end, uh, everything's going to get reset. At which point you take everything that you earned from your towns uh, and use it to, like, you know, upgrade your next set of towns so you can make faster progress. It's just... It feels so weird to me. It feels like it's a really weird game. And I kind of I kind of really find it very interesting and very compelling. Because it's so odd to have a roguelike where I spent, like, three, four hours... Building this one town, and that's like a third of one cycle. It's like a, a really slow-paced macro souls like it's weird, it's interesting. So, okay. What we're gonna do is basically jump straight to them because yeah, now I built Greymire, I couldn't expand further in this direction. Say go towards this. So we'll figure out what this is going to be. In order to do that, however, there was something here. Corrosive torrent. The rain is especially toxic. No resources will be refunded after destroying a building. I'm okay with that. I'm not sure I actually bothered destroying any buildings during my first town. So that's a okay. So honestly, yeah, just kind of move in this direction. Just check we're okay with uh, what's going on and whatnot. Claire is back. Possibly now uh, having called her now, her dad isn't picking up. No, no, he did pick up, but it was like... It was urgent but boring admin. Excellent. So there we go. So Because okay. I'm going to France really soon. Yes, you are. Claire's, Claire's taking a little holiday soon at the end of the month. And I do believe that... Did you schedule a Civ live stream the night before I'm due to take a flight in the morning? Not intentionally, but yes. <laughs> yes! Oh, great. We'll start early. It'll be fine. Good for me. It'll be fine. Absolutely fine. It'll be fine. fine, he says. Everything's fine. We have a new town? Uh, we're going to have a new town, cool. so we're just extending outwards in the same direction we started in so we can get further and further out. So, right, I can't refund buildings, but then I, I basically didn't do that in the first place anyway, so that's absolutely fine. 
Uh, diverse flora, vegetation here mutates into unique strands. Each type of tree provides different bonuses. Okay. I so like that. Random extra stuff from the trees. Uh, an inspiring pressure. The forest is scary, but also beautiful. Villages have a 3% high chance of producing double yields uh, for every hostility level. So they'll just kind of occasionally produce more stuff than they should, which is fine. The trees can produce wood uh, or fiber or meat. There are meat trees. Just, you know, animal trees, or incense, or stone, or crystallized dew. Hilarious. So sure, why not? That that sounds kind of fun. And yeah, natural resources, uh, herbs, coal. So yeah, some stuff just isn't available. Like, for example, uh, clay. We don't have clay on this map. Therefore, we shouldn't really be focusing on anything that needs uh, anything that needs clay. Because we simply won't have access to it. We do have stone. We've got meat, vegetables, insects, etc, etc. And there's going to be other seasonal conditions too. Playing on, yes, just the normal difficulty, Pioneer. That's absolutely fine. And I can also, yes, give myself some beautiful, beautiful... Oh, hello. This? this is just the caravans that are going to show up, right? Yeah, these are just the caravans who are showing up. That's absolutely fine. Uh, so, yeah, I can also give myself some little bonuses to kick off with. So, some food, some etc. So, yeah, there's honestly kind of no point giving myself clay. Because we're not going to be going down the clay direction. So... Like, you know, tiny bit of stone, some, like, roots and insects to, to kick us off. That's absolutely fine. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Some roots, just so we've got some food as well. Yeah, we'll just kind of jump in like that. Everything will be absolutely fine. And, yeah, we'll get it onto the ground. I'll reintroduce the basics of the game here. So, yes, we've just picked all of that. That's all fine. We don't need to walk because we'll get wood. Down there. Obviously, there'll be wood everywhere. Don't worry. There's plenty of wood. There's always plenty of wood. So most of the ground. There's our Dark Lady, the Queen of something or other. Uh, and okay, we've drawn the bonus effects. Forest offerings. So during Drizzle, habitants of the forest are grateful for your efforts. During Drizzle, every dangerous or forbidden glade event you complete gives you random food. Okay, try and complete dangerous events during Drizzle. This is the seasons. Time will be passing as we go through. And scavenging season... So, the drizzle in this region is very mild, making it the perfect season for looting. Nice. Increasing the chance of bringing back twice of the, yeah, twice of the goods from Glade events solved during drizzle. So, okay. Drizzle is the big exploration period. That's nice. And as time goes by, the storm's going to get bad. As, yeah. as happens. So, okay. Uh, minus four to global resolve. Uh, fine. Uh, gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience during the uh during the storm right maybe don't okay don't resolve any uh, objectives during uh during the storm that's absolutely fine because that would be bad apparently uh faint flame strong gusts of wind uh, resources you sacrifice burn faster that's not that bad at all to be honest and uh, finally mysterious swarms oh that's good <laughs> mysterious oh, swarms there must be swarms of death so any uh, any uh, village with this effect has minus to resolve again. Nothing too bad there, to be honest. So, right. We're going to be starting right here in the centre. And all we need to do is just, as time goes by, slowly expand. But yeah, we've got some meat to kick us off there. We can just harvest from the leech brood mothers. Delicious. Wait, if they're brood mothers, can we not let them make babies and then we have more meat? No, that's not how that works, Aww. I don't think. I think it's just a certain number of uh, salvagers per McJibble. We're just, we're not that uh, good at that sort well, of Well, it is apparently dead, so that would be why. Ah, yes, it's a, I think, yes, possibly it's a... Yes, indeed, it's a dead leech brood mother. Yep, good spot. That's <laughs> why. We're, we're just scavenging <laughs> the dead. So that's an absolutely fine. So yes, step one. Before we do anything, we need to start picking our starting technology. Because, yeah, that's what this game's all about. You pick... There are all sorts of ways to achieve everything. And you don't have the full tech tree. So, right. Um, producing clothes. I think this means... I, I understood this to mean it makes good quality clothes. I think it means produces faster. Ah. I think it means the speed it makes them. So we don't really need clothes right at the start of the game. A lumber mill's pretty good, though. Yeah. Or a seller producing... Wine. Wine, pickle goods, and jerky. But I feel like a lumber mill for mass production of planks, given wood comes in super early, is not bad. Especially since, don't you have like, um, don't you have bonuses for wood on this uh, particular map? 
Uh, was it bonuses to wood? Like from different woods or whatever? No, when you're harvesting wood, it produces other stuff as well. Um, other random stuff. But lumber mill is, I think uh, lumber mill's solid. Ah, stars are the amount of resources needed, so you use less stuff to make the same amount. Ah, it's yeah, quantity. Yeah, speed is the same, but like efficiency. Yeah. It's efficiency. Okay, so less wood to make planks. I'm going to yes. take lumber mill. Lumber mill strikes me as a general good. Herbalist camp, so okay, can collect herbs, berries, and mushrooms. Just check what actually was local. Uh, because we do have herbs exist locally, berries don't, mushrooms don't. Mm. So yeah, not sure about that. However, what does exist locally is insects and meat. So a trapper's camp might be pretty good for effect for efficiently yeah. harvesting meat and insects. That's pretty good. Uh so yeah, I'd be willing to Yeah, you know what? I'll take Trapper's Camp. Under the circumstances, and then one more bit of tech to kick us off. And, oh, a temple. Okay, fulfills needs for religion and education. We saw this one shot really late in the last game. Or can produce coal, the kilns, the leather workers, the weavers. Can make can make fabrics super efficiently. Though I don't, I can't see the recipe, I don't think. So can make a very efficient fabric. Pack of trade goods is useful. Only if it shows up as an objective, yes, it might that's not. True. The objectives are also drawing at random. Of course. So, uh, yes. Okay. The kiln. I'll take Weaver. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, that's just to mean we've got the ways of efficiently producing lots of bits and pieces. So, okay. We've just got the absolute basics here. So, let's get out, obviously, as our starting point, a basic woodcutter's camp. So, obviously, we can start, you know, hacking down the woods, etc., etc. Never going to be a bad thing. So I can just go over there. And on top of that, we did just get the Trapper's Camp for highly efficiently harvesting meat. So we'll get you down too. We do have enough uh, for that as well. So we'll just put those down and everyone can just get on with their jobs. Lovely. So there we go. While we're just uh, kicking off, how's everything for you, Claire? Yeah, everything's very, very good. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few messages already. Uh, big shout out to Andy, who gave us $50. Oh, thank you, Andy. Uh, and says, I've been working a lot lately, uh, and I always enjoy coming home and relaxing while watching your videos. Keep up the great work. Uh, this will be another great one to watch after work. Ooh, excellent. So very, very nice indeed. Oh, here's interesting. We've got nothing but beavers to kick us off today. This is a beaver society. I'm not sure nice. if, I, if I could have chosen to change that, but I didn't. So, okay. Hashtag beavers. Let's go. So, we've got highly efficient woodworking because beavers are good at chewing through wood. So, just indicate for them to shop this down. That's absolutely fine. They can just get on with that to just open up a glade. Basically, like a random encounter going on in the back over here. But that does mean on top of that that, yes, we've got uh, beavers doing meat gathering. Lizards are better at that, but they'll do just fine. Especially as it's a, a relatively efficient camp. So, yeah. yeah, now the woodworkers start chopping down. These guys start doing their thing. We've got, like, one person who doesn't have a job right now. There we go. Just, uh, you know, cutting the meat off a dead leech a brood mother. Excellent. In comes wood coming in. And uh, from what they were saying, other stuff is just going to be randomly arriving as well, which is delightful. And, yes, because we're currently in Drizzle, that's the season up here, uh, yeah, we've got every time we yeah, clear a Glade event in Drizzle, we get extra food stuffs. And in the event, yeah, we, we might just get extra stuff from wood chopping as well, which is good. So, okay, this is this is all fine. And yes, because it's diverse flora, we're getting random stuff off all of our uh, off all of our wood chopping. So wood chopping is relatively efficient on this occasion. So yeah, now we just basically start chopping. We do have b -b 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 there are so many currencies. To keep, to keep an eye on in this. I think we've got plenty of wood for the time being. So, honestly, you guys may as well have some basic uh, some basic housing and whatnot. Just get some literal basic shelters down. We've got... Actually, we have got no wood. Uh, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We'll, we'll, we'll have wood as time goes by. I'm sure, like, you know, we'll discover the secret of wood. We, we'll, 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 we'll have wood coming in. I wouldn't worry about the lack of wood. We, we literally got a society of beavers here. They'll figure it out. Eventually, I think I think the wood right now is in... I think the wood is like, yeah, in the woodcutter's camp. And eventually, they'll carry it from the woodcutter's camp to that. I think I can force them to do it by... No, that's moving. Yes, force delivery. I could force a delivery 
right here. And also, by the way, there's not there's no people to actually uh, do that work right now. So, okay, as we don't, like, need the meat urgently, you don't do that. So, okay, we've now got one unemployed person who can get on with the building, but only when there's enough wood, and wood is being delivered right there. So, yes, wood needs to be gathered, taken to the cart, carried from the cart to the warehouse, taken from the warehouse to the building site, then it gets constructed. If you didn't see the video, this all looks horrendously complicated. I know there's so much shit on screen right now. It's actually... The magic of this game is it actually flows really nice and easy. So, hang on a minute. We've also got... Yes, we've got orders coming in. And we've also got the Queen's Envoy arriving. So, woodcutting is easier. 35% faster woodcutters camp production. Or free clay. I don't know enough about whether I'd even want clay to think. I think three clay a minute is so little. I'd, no, I'll just take faster wood chopping. That strikes me as a, as a better starting point. And more importantly, our first handful of orders. So, okay, we can choose our objectives. So, just cut through the forest to discover two glades. Gets me... Oh, that's perks. So, bonus to clay production, which literally is irrelevant to me. But bonus to, to stone production. There is, yeah, there is stone in this area. And tools, right? And yeah. tools, which are useful for maybe shipping stuff back to the citadel. Or sell a certain value of goods. And uh, is that just have that much? I think it's just have that much. So also the same number of tools. Uh, wildfire essence, which I think is a thing I can burn in the fire. And two arrivals. A group of two villagers. In all fairness, by the end of the game, you, you're swimming in villagers. It's almost like that doesn't feel like that's particularly interesting to me. Hmm. Plus one stone production and also gain additional stone per yield. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that one. Not just because I think cutting through glades is easier. We'll, we'll do that so quickly. Next objective is... Okay, objective. Have an advanced camp. Okay. And have a stone cutter's camp. I'm not sure if I've even got the tech for harvester's camp. Interesting. Or deliver 10 planks. Okay, that gets me... Oh, that gets me bricks, fabric, and parts. And that's kind of good, because that's, that's you know, the well, materials... bricks you can't make, fabric you can, but bricks you can't make because you don't have clay, right? No, I think bricks can be made out of stone. Oh, fair enough. I think, clay is, for, I think clay is only essential for pottery. But I think normally you can you can... Swap something else in. <laughs> Sorry, I just assumed like a brick as a in... tiny bit of clay is used. <laughs> yeah. Reads no, I'll I'll take some brick and fabric. That's like a good base to build some more advanced buildings. Yeah. So we just need to produce planks, which is fine. Uh, and then finally, complete two dangerous or forbidden glade events. Okay, interesting. And that gets me steel drills, copper ore production. There is no copper ore in this area. Mm. That would not be useful. Um, or deliver one ancient tablet. Yep, I'll take that for just a giant pile of food. That's that's not that's fine. So okay, my main objective really is we'll just we'll get to that when we happen to find one. But like to my mind, yeah, the key is just open up two glades and get working on plank production, which is fine. And sooner or later, mm. some more people will show up, which will be great. Uh, there were also a hangabout. I chose the lumber mill. But I literally, the lumber mill is irrelevant to me for the time being because I can't build it because I don't have the bricks or the fabric. But that's fine because the bricks or the fabric... Okay, got a bit of a catch-22 there. That's fine. We'll just build a basic crude workstation which highly inefficiently builds the basics of what we need. So we'll just get that working. And as soon as enough wood gets harvested, they'll build the one remaining house. So these people have actually got, you know, homes... And then they'll build the crude workstation so we can build just enough planks and just uh. enough fabric to build an actual proper lumber yard. Yeah, shout out to Cutie Funny who says in chat, uh, generally this game has a lot of alternative ways to produce things. Yes. So you don't get locked out by bad uh, random number generation. Just occasionally there's like the odd thing. Like I think there's no way to make pottery but with clay. And I think if you want to make barrels, you need copper for the, the metal bits around the outside. like There's a few bits that are like... But then even then, you can just buy them from the traders. Just yeah. buy them from the traders and it's fine. It's like That's really not like a major concern. So, yes. Now we're just getting the absolute basic set up here. I'm just kind of slowly... We can just speed up time a little bit. I think it's fine to kind of run the game on like and double speed the vast majority of the time. But yeah, we're just cracking open glades. Just two glades need to be open. We can move buildings around. We can demolish them later if we want to. Everyone should now have a house in just a second. There we go. We've immediately got something, including... Hello, what are you? 
a worm tongue nest. Okay, so that is insect generation. And on top of that, so basically a source of meat. And on top of that, a small abandoned cache. So, okay, smash using stone or send back to the citadel. I mean, it would give me a free... If I break it open, free fabric. Not bad as a starting What's the other point. thing? Oh, eggs. And some, yeah, just some eggs, which I think we've got eggs around here. And I think I saw that eggs were a local resource. I... Or I could just help myself to a half a... Uh, Half a mm. reputation point and some money immediately. But I feel like, you know what? I'll take the fabric just as a little starting point here. Am I allowed to send just one person to do this? I think I am. So just send you to handle that by yourself. That's absolutely fine. So you'll get on with that. Just start battering that open with a handful of stone. We definitely should have a handful of stone. I brought some stone with us. That should be a-okay. So yeah. Uh, oh, that means you're not building these buildings. That's fine because you're currently working on uh, on that. Uh, honestly, guys, one of you can just stop working in the wood shop, at least until, like, uh, a group of people show up. So, ah, copper and crystallized dew are interchangeable, says chat. So, okay, I'm wrong. You can use crystallized dew to make barrels. I don't know if there's an alternative for making, uh, pottery. I think pottery is clay only. I think I, I'm not wrong there. But we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Also, by the way, you should move so that you can, yes, uh, Maybe you can't this. make pottery with anything else, but you don't need pottery. You can interchange pottery for barrels yes. or water skins. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Excellent. That's true. Oh, water skins are a variant of pottery. They're basically, uh, they're a type of container. I hadn't, hadn't just logicked that out in my head. But yes, that makes perfect sense. So, okay, crack open thingy number two over here while this guy just starts chopping on that. We should have our fabric in just a second. Uh, and there we go. We now have our fabric. We've already opened one glade. We should have a giant pile of fabric available. And on top of that, right, we want planks, fabric, and bricks. So actually, we don't want planks. Do we want planks? We want, like, hang on. Is this... Yes, or production priority. Do not make pipes. But we do want a handful of planks, fabric, and bricks. I'd like one person to work in here. So, yeah, just basically start producing some, just a handful of absolute basic planks and whatnot. So, you're just kind of delivering a stuff from the warehouse to the McGibbly Jibble. And, yeah, I think in a moment you're about to, like, make two planks. So, yeah, in this building you need eight woods to produce two planks. I'm guessing in the lumber mill it's way less based on what the chat was saying that it's about efficiency. So, yes, this is, I'm still learning this game. We're still learning this game. It's all fine. And yeah, we're, we're coming up on the storm. When uh, when this season's over, it will be storm time. But everyone's got houses. So everyone should be fine for the time being. That should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. So yeah, everyone's just, you know, starting off doing their own thing. We should have, you know, some... Uh, we should have a second glade open momentarily. Which will be good for knocking down the queen's impatience. Because it's ticking up on a uh, not terrible rate, to be honest. Also, what are you guys doing? Why are you guys... Oh, they're probably eating food so they don't die. That's fair. I was about to yell at them for not working. But I think the reason they're not working is because they're, like, you know, eating food. That's... In retrospect, that's reasonable. That's fair. I'm okay with that. They, they don't get whipped. No no beaver whippings today. Dear, oh dear. Shout out to the book 778 who gave us uh, 10 pounds. I saw this at the start of the stream. This is a yes. very exciting message. Uh, and says, I was hoping for this. Simba and Star are best friends. They're never far from each other and constantly playing. When they aren't uh, playing, they are sleeping on my bed together. Yes, cats yes. being best friends. So, okay. We've got a mysterious drill here. We can either tear it apart in order to get oil and some tools. Okay, not bad. Or if we fix it, we gain the geological survey perk. So, okay, we can use it to our advantage. Spawns two to three copper ore veins. Oh, that generates copper, which otherwise doesn't exist on this map. Mm. But it would be a finite amount of copper. Is that is a finite amount of copper, yeah, copper really worth it? That's interesting, you know. And Wait, do I can you hover over it again? It generate it creates copper sources in that in that glade. But, like, only a few. And after I've drained them, they'll be gone forever. Oh, okay. But it's not like it, it generates, like, two coppers. It's no, veins. it generates veins that I can then build mines over. That's interesting. But it also costs me tools. 
And I'm not even gaining any reputation points from those tools. And generally tools you trade for reputation points for shipping goods back. To, and this would get me mm. tools. And oil vessels, just as a little thing we can use potentially. You know what? Just in case we do need a little bit of copper down the line, I think, you know, I, I think I'm willing to take that. I think I'm willing I'm willing to accept that. Unfortunately, we're, we're lacking in. We desperately need more people. We mm. desperately, urgently need more people. We've got, like, one person working here. One of you oh, can now stop yeah. working here. One of you can go to start working on this. Dear oh, flipping dear. That's because when you did the video, you had uh, a perk that would get you more people when you explored glades. That's true, but I think pe people tend to just show up pretty regularly anyway. Mm. But anyway, the point is we've already completed our first objective, which gets me straight away. Yeah, steel pickaxes. So my stone production is good. My clay production is good. Irrelevant. But I do get tools. So yeah, there we are. I've completed the objective. That gets delivered. Uh, I get myself one reputation point, And that also, you know, knackers the impatience meter a tiny bit. So yeah, that is honestly, that's, that's a good strong start. So right. What we also need to do is, yes, you're currently generating a couple of planks, which is good. After you've generated that, honestly, you can stop. Just make some fabric and some bricks. We'll get an actual proper textile mill down. Uh, that will be fine. Because, yeah, right now, bricks is using that. We don't need to use that. I want you to use, uh, yeah, use stone uh, for creating bricks, obviously. Fabric is, we literally don't have enough to make. We can't make fabric, actually. We can make, we can make planks nice and easy. But we literally can't make fabric. But that's okay. Did I bring any fabric with me? Yeah, I've got 15 fabric. No, I didn't bring it with me, but I got it from this. So, okay, that's really good. So, I've got some fabric already. You don't need to produce fabric. You can make some bricks. Yeah, after you're done with making those planks, and I'm pretty sure you have done already. You've already, or you're working on making some planks. Do we have some planks now? Did you, did you just make some planks? Hang on. I don't see planks. They might be in here. They might be in here because they're just stored away for the time being. Yes, you've got you've got two planks right there, which is fine. So I wouldn't mind you. Yeah, stop making planks. Just make a handful of bricks. We just need enough to basically kick off a more advanced building that just makes planks way, way better. And then we'll, we'll keep this. We probably won't use it. And yeah, we're already past the first storm. The first storm is not a big deal in the slightest. Now. More excitingly, because I got my first reputation point, that means we now get a new building choice. And now we've got a more clear idea as to where we want the society to go. So smelter for copper bars. Yeah, we know copper's very finite though. Leather worker. So produces water skins as an alternative. Like if, as, you know, in a world where we don't have copper, and I don't really want to be making crystallized jewel lot, and we don't have any clay, mm. a leather worker to make water skins as a containing option actually strikes me as quite sensible potentially that's that's interesting in fact you know what i'm going to take that i think that's very interesting yeah we're going to take leather worker we'll figure out how that fits in later but for the time being yeah just basically let this guy produce two bricks and as soon as he's done with two bricks we can basically just abandon this building deactivate it and we can build something way way better way 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 better which is very exciting indeed and also i wouldn't mind oh hang on i think we've got people visiting in just a second let's just let this guy finish his job before i forget about this because this game gets out of hand fast right you stop deactivate the building uh force a delivery now delivery is already in progress automatically so right we've got one perk woodcutter's prayer if you want to take your first give plus one to wood production lose all stored fuel I must roll out the sound of that. And deserted caravans. Global production speed is 33% faster. Traders arrive at 50%. Traders are only of a certain amount of use. Yeah, I'm going to take that. So we produce everything faster, but traders will be showing up left less often. Done. It's always, it's a, there's always a downside. It's never, it's never a universal good. And more importantly, two lizards. Yes, give me lizards. Bringing plant fiber, clay, and a single tool. But lizards are good because lizards make good uh, food workers. So the lizards are basically just going to be immediately into the, you know, the... the kind of like a lizard skull. I feel like that's rude. Does that look like a lizard skull to you? We've just told them to go I, to I work in the lizard skull wagon. I don't know what a wagon. lizard skull looks like. I'm sorry. Well, kind of like a lizard, but, but bony. 
Like, you know, like a human skulls are vaguely human head shaped, but bones. Yeah, like thanks, broadly. Don. So like, um, like, like a, I don't know, that just kind of feels lizardy to me. And I just kind of feel like that's that's not okay. What we've just done there. I, I just feel like that that's not cool. I just I just feel like that's potentially not cool what we've just done. So, okay. The point is, we have now got, yes, a lumber mill. What do you mean we don't have? We definitely should have bricks. I don't know where else the bricks would have gone. Deliver the bricks, you bastard. Okay. Get a lumber mill out. I'm down for a proper lumber mill. We can just stick that round the back over here, say. The lumber mill can just be right round the back over here. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll put it right next to the town hall. It feels like a pretty central building. I'm going to put it right next to the, the town hall. Right there. So we've got most of what we need. I'm pretty sure you produced bricks, right? There should be... Yeah, there should be some bricks here. I think the delivery is currently in progress. So as soon as it's done, they'll appear over here. We should now have spare beavers. Yeah, we've got loads of spare beavers. So the wood production can now start accelerating, which is great. Uh, let's see. Eli in chat says uh, that skull looks to me like the same creature that the uh, hearth is, the ancient hearth. Oh, like a turtle. I mean, I guess I kind of always said this a turtle, but I went close to it. It look, does look more dragon. You know what? That's fair. It does look more dragony than like a turtle. Like it has the side bits, the side like um, big teeth. I guess so. I think it feels like it's got like this one's only got one mega tooth, and these ones have got little extra teeth. I feel like I'm I'm not I'm not a, I'm not sure about that. And on top of that, oh, it's time for yes, the next set of orders coming in. But now we can pick them more intelligently. So. Deliver 35 roots. We do have roots around here, don't we? No, we've got insects. We actually don't have roots. So okay, don't don't take don't take that. That that would be a bad idea. Or sacrifice coal and sacrifice wood. We have wood and coal. That also gets me, yes, resin production up. Secret techniques of fire keepers. So okay. Fuel consumption in half is down and some free copper bars to help us along. It's kind of a shame this would get me five new beavers, which is pretty good. Uh, but we literally do not have roots. Uh, they don't grow here. We might be able to, like, find them from somewhere. But 35 I... is a lot, though. It's quite a lot for something that doesn't even grow in this area. So, mm. yeah, we'll be taking that one. That's absolutely fine. And then building materials. Deliver planks, bricks, and fabric. Nice, safe, easy. And that gets me leather, clay. That I'm, un I'm unexcited by the rewards. Whereas this, luxury goods, gets me... Yeah, okay, flower production up, giant piles of money in four. Yeah, that's just better. So produce a carpenter, an artisan, or a press. I think we've got a... Do we have a carpenter? I'm sure we'll figure it out. I'm going for that one anyway. We'll, we'll definitely figure that out. That's that's absolutely fine. I'm, I'm sure that will not be a problem. Just keep delivering. Ah, uh, yes, that building you're just looking at. Yeah. That's got the z -z sleep over it. You deactivated it. Is that so that it's therefore the delivery isn't the delivery yeah. isn't happening? Because yes, okay. So someone needs to be working there for the delivery to occur. Uh, and right. Thank you, okay. thank you yeah, to yeah, yeah. Ancient Fine. Hydra in yeah. chat for pointing that out. Uh, let's see. Um, as you can, I'm sure, imagine. Yeah. Many people in chat who love this game. Yeah, are really are, angry. Yeah. Are, torn by the eternal MAT and dilemma of do I just watch John discover this game that I really like or do I tell him all the shit he's doing inefficiently and wrong? Oh, we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Yes, Oh, indeed. there's those copper veins, by the way. There's those copper veins we created. Ah, very nice. So that's all absolutely fine. So, okay, now we're building this, by the way. Now deactivate. Don't do anything, please. So now we're building the proper lumber mill. And we do need to generate planks, but now we can do it way, way, way more efficiently using a proper lumber mill. So just put one person in here. In fact, yeah, you know what? It's woodworking. So beavers do actually gain, I suppose, yeah. it, it, interesting beavers don't gain benefit in the crude workstation. It's like the benefit per race seems to be tied to the building, not the type of job. Oh, weird. So... I guess it doesn't. I guess it kind of makes sense. Like mm. if it's a dedicated woodworking environment. So don't worry about scrolls. Do not worry about packs of trade goods because it's luxury goods we need, not trade goods. Mm -hmm. So instead, you guys, yeah, only three wood makes two planks. So yeah. I see what's going on there. So in which case, yes, produce up to a limit of say twenty and no more. Uh, so ten in order to ship off, and then some more. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll, we we go go to thirty. Thirty and no more. So someone's going to get working on that. So yeah, that's going to generate planks in a flipping hurry. So it's all about efficiency. 
Now we understand. Now we're understanding. We're getting this. This is why this is a good live stream game. Because, yes, people can, like, you know, uh, can, can correct me live. Speaking of which, Claire is pointing me like, John, stop talking. You've got something wrong. No, no, no. It's just uh, an interesting, uh, useful uh, tidbit f from Ancient Hyder again, uh, which says, uh, who says, something that the game never explains is if you have a building, it will be highlighted in blue uh, if you have the blueprint. Yeah. And it will be highlighted in orange if you found it in a glade and rebuild it. Interesting. Okay. Mm. Aside from just aesthetics, does that does that change anything? I'm not 100% sure. It's just, uh, I'm just trying to make sure what I, you know. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I thought it was random chance, but no, when it says, hey, it's it's varied foliage, so you get random stuff, it's not just random. It is depending on literally what you're chopping into. So this type of plant produces plant fiber. This type of plant produces the, okay, produces, I think it's the essence, officially. Right. And the antler trees must produce something else. That's the right? crystallized dew. Yeah. And then the seashells over here. That they're the meat trees. They're like yeah, they're shell the trees. Muscle tree, yeah, John. Like, yeah. The shell trees. So okay. That's nice to know. That if we want to get if we want to hack down on trees, there'll also be meat in them. Right. So that makes sense right there. We're getting there we go. The planks have already been produced in no time whatsoever. Deliver the planks, which is going to get me. Giant pile of bricks, giant pile of fabric, and some parts to kick us off. And also, there we go. That is that is sexy as anything. And that means now we can, like, use those building materials to produce, say, a, a weaver for the production of a way more efficient... You say we don't have planks. We've got tons of planks. Shut up. We've got so many planks. Um, that can just kind of go on our little main street right here next to the other building. That can just be our weaver. Right next to our McJibble. So that's there. So that, and then we're going to produce highly efficient fabric, which is super cute. And we've also got more buildings. So plantation, berries or plant fiber. And ah, that's okay. So there's no wild roots, but in theory you could grow your own. So if we found farmland, which I think exists everywhere in every map somewhere, then we could have grown roots. Even if it's not a local resource, we can still grow it. Scribes can produce scrolls. That's fascinating. I think we can produce scrolls at the lumber yard, though. And foragers camp. Okay, gathering large amounts of grain roots and vegetables. That's not particularly interesting. Well, and that says collect, not produce. So if yes. you don't have it on the map. Yeah. But then again, scribe producing ale. Yeah, you're always going to need that at some point. A little bit of ale floating around isn't the worst thing in the world. Then again, we're going to find plants sooner or later. Producing berries and plant fiber. Yeah, producing berries so we can use that to make wine. I'll take that. I think I'll take that. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. Uh, we do, however, need to have one person less working in it here. So that there is someone to actually do the building. So, yeah. Okay, this is this, sense, is this is this is strong sense. start, strong start. Claire, while well, it's all coming together here. Uh yeah, yes indeed. Shout out to Jacob who uh, gave us forty-five Danish krona. Uh and to Rachel who gave us twenty pounds and says, Hey John and Claire, I've been working through your back catalogue of videos. It's good to finally catch a live stream. Yeah. Excellent. Welcome, welcome. Yes, indeed. I don't think we've got a few other people who's uh, first stream. I did it see is. a few mentions of that sort of thing. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. It's almost storm time. And during storm, I know one of our objectives right now is sacrifice. So we are going to sacrifice some wood. So sacrifice just a little bit of wood here. Why am I not sacrificing wood? 40 wood per minute. Why can I not sacrifice? Do you need a specific building to do it? Uh, maybe I need a certain amount. Did you use all your wood for planks? Oh, I think it's no, no. Someone is someone is working. Uh, someone is working that. And by the way, uh, we can have a dedicated, an appropriate fire McJibbler. So you, as firekeeping is a specialist job. 
Why am I not able to? There we go. Now I think possibly maybe you, you can you can only do it during storm. No, uh, the people in chat are saying you don't you don't have woods. You were out of resources. Oh, I was just out of resources. Yeah, I think you made all your wood into planks. Oh, that's that's entirely possible. That's like that seems like a thing I would have have done potentially. Yes. So back over to you guys. We're not finished, not that much of it. We're, we're, you know, we're producing a fair whack of wood. Okay, we probably need a second a second wood chopper to keep up with demand. So I'm going to get a second uh, wood camp. That's a dangerous one over here. So we'll just put you right over here. That's fine. We should have plenty of machine well, parts. Well, especially since you probably need to be clearing more glades when we get out of the storm and exactly. it's the good season for it. So no one's working in a weaver right now and the weaver can produce, yeah, fabric out of either leather or reeds or plant. We've got plenty of plant fiber for now. We've got some leather for now, but I'll hold off using on that. We've got training gear and we've got packs of trade goods. Don't worry about making them. Only make them up to, say, 10. We're not going to be needing that many. So, uh, if need be, yes, one beaver can be assigned to that um, job. John, you can see your fuel in the tab at the top uh, to the left of the clock. You are down to almost nothing. You really shouldn't be sacrificing right now, and that's from Foster. I'm only sacrificing the tiniest amount. It's fine. Anyway, one of my objectives Guys, I is, tried. One of my objectives is sacrificing. I'm supposed to be sacrificing. It's my job mm -hmm. as, as, as a whatever it is I do for our dark lady, the queen of mushrooms. Uh -huh. um, so, okay, by the way, what are yeah, you supposed uh, to Yeah, really bad things happen if your fire goes out. I'm sure nothing bad happens if my fire goes out. Uh -huh. This is... this During is During a storm. This is merely old superstition from people who believe, believe in the old fireways, etc, etc. There's absolutely... John, your dark lady, the mistress of spiders, believes in the old fireways. That's true in a way. It's true in a way. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, I think you've got, yeah, whoops, three fuel. Three fuel. But that's fine. We're gathering more fuel. Mm. Like, you know, and, and mostly we're not turning it into, we're not turning it into, like, planks. Maybe we should, like, stop producing planks for a second. Yeah, maybe. Like, I feel like we've... We've got... How many planks do we have right now? Like 10? Is that 20. planks in there? 20. Oh. 20. 20 planks. Okay. You you guys can stop producing planks for the time being. We'll, redu we'll reduce the cap to 20. So they'll probably stop producing planks in a second. And then there'll be wood. Then there'll be plenty of wood. They're just ga we're just gathering Ooh, why wood. Why is there a, a exclamation mark over there? Uh, Because uh, this person has... I assume this person isn't doing... Yeah, he's idle because he doesn't need to produce fabric. But I'm okay with him being idle uh, because we've got enough fabric. Yeah, we've got loads of fabric for the time being. So honestly, you don't need to be in here for the time being. I'm just going to deactivate this building for now because all this building does is produce fabric and we've got plenty of fabric. So you would be better off, sir, working in the wood chopping industry, at least for the time being. And did we bring any coal with me at all? No, zero coal. So we do need to at some point locate coal in order to sacrifice it. So that's absolutely uh, fine. We just need to basically, yeah, just dig, dig through. Do you have a building that can make coal? No, a mine needs to sit ah. on top of. Actually, in theory, I guess you could, I could probably burn wood to create charcoal, which I think can be used to make coal, but I don't have the infrastructure for it, I don't think. Like, I'm not sure I've got the infrastructure to to make aforementioned thing. Like, uh, you know, and we could probably should get a trade post down, to be honest. Just to, even though the traders are coming in slowly, we probably want them to be coming in at some point or another. So, yeah, we definitely will be wanting that sooner or later. And we probably don't need uh, both of you guys doing that right now. Yeah, we can deactivate you for the time being. We've got plenty of planks. So let's instead just focus on building up our supply of basic wood so that I can sacrifice ah. it for the good of everything. Also, speaking kiln, of which, we need more people. The building for that is kiln. Kiln. I'm not sure we've got that. Humans. Let's get some humans on board. Hello, humans. Welcome to my society. And on top of that, route delivery. Free routes or crowded caravan. Each newcomer group has... Ooh, two additional villages. Yeah, dumb. Right. So we're going to gain that. There, there we go. Fuel is now going up. Fuel, Very nice. Because we're no longer using all of it. And on top of that, we found a new McJibble. 
We still no sign of an ancient tablet, unfortunately. So break open for wine and roots, or send off to the citadel for money and grace. I think I'm. I don't really. We don't really need wine and roots at this exact moment in time. I'm happy to. Yes, just uh, send a couple of humans to assist with that. Yeah, just use the uh, the tools. How many tools do we have? Oh, I think we've got. I think that means we've got seven. Mm. I think that means seven up in the top right there. So there we go. You just get on with that. So, yeah, we'll send it off to the Citadel for half a point uh, of reputation. And we're just chopping this down too. We're chopping down into here as well. I do need luxury goods at some point. Just remember, at some point we need to take a building that helps with luxury goods. Because right now we do not have aforementioned thing. But, you know, we're getting the basics set up nicely here. We're getting the basics. Where's the fuel going? Why does the fuel keep going down? Why is, is it because you're using it? I mean, it's possible, but I'm not sure what I'm using it for, aside from, I guess, just tossing more of it on the fire. I guess we're just tossing... Yeah, but it's also going back up. It went up to nine and then down to two. So yeah, it's but who's using being... it? The fire. I guess... Oh, hello. There's a, there's a trader here now. Um, hello. Right, what are you willing to sell us, buddy? So, okay, 10% faster on roads. Wood cutting is a lot easier. That's that's pretty good, but I need to find the money to do that. Uh, I do have some spare fabric we're not currently using. How much is that worth? Honestly, not that much, to be honest. I'd be willing to sell you, like, 15 of that. Uh, definitely not selling you that. Oh, sell you planks. Planks are, yeah, planks are good. We can just make more planks. Uh, sell you that. Crystallized Jew. I can't imagine using too many of them. So you five of them. And then I just need what a little bit What has he got leather. to sell? He's selling a perk that will make wood chopping faster. But what's he selling in there? Because he might be selling luxury goods. Uh, no. None of those are the luxury good ah. goods icon. He is selling some coal, but we will get our own coal as time goes by. So yeah, just put that to you. Right, then just trade that for like... Ah, but then again, the, the cost of amber is not equivalent to the cost of gold. Which is very strange but fine um you can just have all of the clay we're never going to use that for, for much that's absolutely fine and then you can have some stone as well just enough to get me up to 12.5 just have to get me up to 12.5 there we go i'll make that trade right there then i'll buy the yeah reinforced access perk boom lovely dump right that's you all absolutely a-okay i could buy just enough something for that why is fuel still going down because you're burning it but but i'm not i'm not sacrificing it yes but you're using fuel even when you're not sacrificing to keep the fire going sacrificing is just using more of it we should definitely just turn the fire off in that case mm -hmm. that's definitely this is definitely a waste of definitely a waste of everything this is ah, not acceptable okay shout out to foster who says uh the box goods, luxury goods, building materials, etc. are never sold as far as I've seen. They only can be produced to turn in or sell back to them. Ah. Mm. Well, guess what I've just Thank found, though? Thank you, guys. That is coal. Nice. Coal vein. So, okay. Let's get a mine down on this. We've got all the materials we need for that. Just pop that down right over there. And that will generate the coal we need we've already done our trading with the traders we don't need to worry about that Very and yeah cool. put those two things together we can also start then using the coal for default day-to-day -day feeding of the fire yeah i see what you mean we need to put a one wood onto the fire every 12 seconds but if we had coal we could put one every 40 seconds which would massively slow down the amount of uh wood we need to be tossing into the fire to keep the fire going mm. so okay that that makes sense this is everything absolutely is going to be fine. Enjoy someone survivic does it, what's this game? It looks like Warcraft. It doesn't like Warcraft 3. I assume intentionally. It would be strange if they they accidentally created a game that looked this much like Warcraft 3. It's called Against the Storm, and he's not playing against other players. That is uh just uh, our camp. Yeah, so okay. Get two beavers in to do coal mining, because they're very good at that mm. whole noise. In fact, beavers are good at so many things. Uh, has everyone got a house, by the way? Oh, there's still some people who do not have houses. So, build a shelter. That's fine. We should now have plenty of fuel and water going on. But yeah, as soon as we get the coal coming in, we should be golden. And speaking of which, I feel like this is now an important thing. So, I'm just going to lay down a path leading it to the town center. 
here. So we're just going to have a nice little path right there just to speed that up. I can't remember what, what do paths need again. A path needs... I'm not sure paths need everything. I think paths need zero resources. Yeah, it's just basically a dirt path. So yeah, that'll just speed up the delivery of coal and whatever else we kind of eventually end up building down over here. Uh, right, guys, you need to move in this direction. What else do we want you to, to dig out? You know what? There's a fairly deep patch of wood over here. But it's kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, you can, you guys can just take this down. You just very slowly cut through this. That's fine. Uh, and you guys can just, yeah, slowly start hacking through here. I'm happy to take a bit more of a, um, yeah, a, a slow approach to digging out the next glade. Because I'm happy for you to also just make some space. Like, you'll get there eventually. But I kind of want you to, maybe not, not quite over to there though. Don't accidentally, like, annoy whatever lives in the dangerous glade. Just like, let's clear out some space. Just expand the town at the same time. So that should be a huge amount of that. And there we go. Now we've got flipping coal coming in. Uh, also, the chat is really happy that you found the path. Yeah, paths. Paths, I know what paths are. Paths are fine. They, mm -hmm. no, the, the basic path is like 5% increase in whatever. The, the basic path is not very significant. Yes, but I'm assuming you can then upgrade it and it's better. And you love a road, usually, in this type of games. That's true. That's true, but then that's if I know people are following the road. But, like, I guess they are on this occasion. I guess that, that, that they, they, they are trying to use the road. That is quite pleasing. Yes, I suppose it is quite pleasing that you can make them walk the way you want. It just kind of, I don't know, I just kind of feel like... You know, like in Sliders, how occasionally they go to a universe where they discover uh -huh. the alternate them were, like, evil dictators on a yeah. semi-regular yeah. basis. Yeah. I feel like in many alternate timelines, I could slip into being an evil dictator quite easily. Or an estate agent. Or an estate... I think I'd be a good estate agent. I'm yes. not saying that's a good or a bad that thing. I'm say just saying I you. would be... Every time <laughs> you watch any program on TV that's You're like, oh, so a, a documentary. A documentary about a stage agent. Like, why are these people so bad at their jobs? I could do this so much better. I look. I always look at estate agent actually and just think, how are you so bad at this? I could do your job better than you. This mm -hmm. is embarrassing for you. I'd be such a good estate agent. I mean, one time, just because things just things happened randomly one time where uh, we had to show a place where we lived to some people. We did, and they specifically said you'd be a good estate agent. Yeah, I hid in a room and you hid said room. I had work to and do. I I'm basically bad at and I basically role played people. as an estate agent, and the the older guy we were talking about actually said I was a really good estate agent. I was so chuffed. Uh, people are glad you're referencing sliders, but John, yes, we already knew these things about you. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we've got paths running basically around the Empire right now, which is good. The first evil effect is in place. That is, yeah, minus four global uh, resolve that, yeah, is multiplied out with each layer level of stacking. But honestly, that's not that bad, really. So, okay, we're doing well here. And now we've got cooking tons of fuel. Am I allowed to sacrifice during any time I want to? I just want to do a tiny bit of sacrifice just for the sake of hitting 15. So, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. Stop sacrificing that. Now start sacrificing coal um, purely for the sake of completing the objective. Because in all fairness, impatience is getting a bit high, actually. I think impatience on this map is way, way higher. So I think we need to be really focusing on making some progress. So over diligent woodworkers. Some woodworkers just can't stop working. Gain barrels for every plank. Ten planks. Yeah. Well, zero, I'm sorry, I meant 0 0.3 barrels per plank, but sure. Mm -hmm. um, or houses are more have more space in them. Okay, either skilled craftspeople or slums. Skilled craftspeople, slums. I mean, They're when you say good. skilled craftspeople, you mean you're not paying them any overtime and they keep working longer hours, so both of them can work in a... You're right. So exploitative... <laughs> okay, exploitative labour practices or exploitative housing practices. Ooh, those are both good. How am I supposed the, the, to pick? Ah, uh, welcome to John's Estate Agents. Our dark queen, the Lady of Bats, approves of both of these. I'm going to say let's just get some. Actually, in all fairness, we were already saying we were going to do leather working for containers. Let's say just 
the safe op the safe sensible option is just the housing because then we've just got plenty of housing for everyone and that's just a more reliable thing so right as we were just saying yeah just get to get some coal oh i think we ran out of coal we possibly ran out of coal there's gonna be more coal arriving later uh, but yeah, we need to start making some. Ah. We need to start making some progress here because impatience is going up in a hurry. Shout out to Zyphasan who says different races have different effects when working the Great Fire. Humans reduce impatience gain rate. Oh. She said humans working the Great Fire. It doesn't say that anywhere. It just says, "Hey, lizards are good at this shit." Um, look, it says lizards are good at this shit. I'm gonna let lizards do this shit. This is this is the lizards' job. The lizards get to do it. So you guys are just doing that over there. We need to start making some. Yeah, we need to find an ancient tablet. Oh, speaking of which, we've got oh, we've got more orders coming in. Okay, we need something we can do in a hurry. So this encampment have at least two halves upgraded to the first level. Now I get me reinforced sword blades. Ooh, nice. That's kind of nice, kind of nice, kind of nice. And yeah, but crystallized dew. I think halves upgraded just by slapping down some decorations. It's not mm. that difficult to do, to be honest. But you would get leather, which I don't think you have now, and then you could use that to make the leather skins that you. But were it's a one-off leather. One-off yeah. leather's not as good as leather production. That's true. What's the other one? That looks cool. That's just trade goods and building materials. Now trade goods are can be produced by lumber mill, which we've got. And makeshift post, which we do have. I mean, we could make those right now, mm. is the point. And this would make bigger barrels, so gain additional ale from every yield. Which is not terrible, because just because it says bigger barrels doesn't mean you need to use barrels. It's just the name. I think, yeah, do that, and then we produce these right now. Okay, and the other order is going to be... Building materials. Again, that's my makeshift post. Farm field, we've not even found any farm field yet. So I feel like that's that would be a bad pick. And that would also get me 10% faster movement. Nice. That's really good. Yep, screw it. Done. So, right, we need building materials in particular are very important right now. We just need to get producing on so all of this. So what's the other building that, that could make them? Uh, Other buildings that we just don't have yet because they ah. weren't highlighted. So, okay. We need to wake up. The lumber mill. Don't make planks. Instead, make trade goods. Trade goods are made out of... Okay, so we've got nothing oh, we can okay. make trade goods out of. Shout out to Arc Critique, who says, If you mouse over the firekeeper, not selecting one, but if you mouse over the guy doing the job, yeah, uh, you will see the effect. Beavers reduce resources consumed by the hearth, and lizards boost global resolve. And humans do slower impatience. Hang on. If you mount, ah, impatience yeah. goes twenty five percent slower, and plus one to global resolve. Okay, so a human firekeeper is the better option right now. Okay, I understand. Mm. Okay, so hang on, it's it wasn't the make it wasn't the crude workstation. It was the hang on, was it the makeshift post that was yes makeshift post. So okay, get the makeshift post down next. This is this is the crummy this is the crummy industry sector where we just put the industries down that nobody cares about. So it was that one, and we do need okay to produce the trade goods. We need leather as a starting point because the only thing the problem with the packs of trade goods is while we could produce it easily, we haven't got anything we can put in it right now. So the best bet we've got is to produce mass produce water skins and to mass produce that, water yeah. skins. To mass produce water skins, we need that leather worker. So, luckily, we took the leather worker earlier. So, we should start working on that. So, leather worker. Get that down. We've got the materials. Nice big build. I like the building. Yeah, that's really cool. The building's sweet right there. That can be over here next to the fire. Just a little bit separate. Yeah, put from the it. tannery right next to the houses. It's fine. They, we'll just put the people who have spoken ill of Our Lady in this house and people who are good citizens can go in these mm. houses. That's how it works. Yes, indeed. Uh, shout out, by the way, to Pizza Tiger in chat, who gives us some fun lore. Yes. Uh, in the lore of this game, humans are supposed to have a special connection with the Scorched Queen, which lowers her impatience. Interesting. I like to imagine that the Scorched Queen views humans like derpy dogs and therefore is much more forgiving. <laughs> okay. I enjoy that. Here's what we can do. We can produce, uh, albeit highly inefficiently, 
the packs of building materials using 10 planks to produce two building materials. And we only need 10 of them. So that's uh, not so... 25. What? No. 10. Yeah, 10 and then 15 for the next one. Good shout. Uh, okay. So we only need 25. And it's two ago. So 26 down to 13. Basically, we need 130 planks. But that's fine because we can mass produce planks pretty cheaply here. So you are going to wake up and we need to find, ideally we need to get woodworkers in. We need to that. find some beavers. We need to find some beavers. Uh, the coal is not such an important thing right now. So we can so we can get one beaver off you guys. Zarg is coming in at some point too. One beaver is fine as well. We can just have, yeah, one beaver and one human working here. I will have dedicated beaver workers in this location. That is now active. You guys are doing... With the lumber mill. Yes, sorry. You guys are producing planks for the time being. Just produce planks. Produce planks up to... Up to... Okay, but forget limits. We don't care about limits anymore. Just produce them. And we'll keep the fire going using the coal. And shout out to Johnny uh, in chat who is doing wonderful, wonderful work in the PR department for our magnificent queen, reminding me that we are in fact uh, supposed to uh, call her the Lady of Cuddles. Of course, sorry. Uh, we could also go with our good queen, the Lady of Headpats. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and, you know, also we might want to insinuate that maybe uh, that is Tabby. Yeah. The Scorch Queen is Tabby. Tabby is the Scorch Queen. And Plot hashtag that Plot is twist. why no one has ever seen her. <laughs> that's reasonable. Right, we need more coal in a she hurry. She likes to hide in her I need to bed. stop burning coal in general so we can stockpile enough coal so that I can sacrifice the coal because I need to complete sacrificing ah. like ASAP. Uh, the Greater Goose says you can tell the hearth not to burn uh, certain things. For instance, wood. You can tell the hearth to burn just coal. Yeah, that's what I literally just did. Ah, I, I told sorry. it to not burn coal so we could save up enough coal to sacrifice the coal. But what are you burning? Wood. But you need the wood to make like a million planks. What would... We're gonna. We just. We. Ha this is the only one I can complete now. We'll ah, reset this afterwards. Sorry. Then we just need. Ah, here we go. We've literally have four planks arriving. Lol. Uh, forty insects. I mean, this would at least get me. This would get me four beavers. Yeah, I'll accept four beavers. Four four planks isn't worth changing the plan for. Um, you guys are. Yeah, just get non-stop beavers in. Non-stop beaver in the mines. Okay, so just just beaver as far as the eye can see. Um. Claire, <laughs> why are you laughing? Dear oh flipping dear, shocking. I just saw something funny in chat. I see, obviously. Uh, you, one, you guys can start Also, I can see that. an ear of Ted. One Ted right there. Out. Okay, now, that leather worker, we need to produce the water skins. The water skins can only be produced using leather, which we have some of, but not that much. And we also need... We can use meat. Alternative to... Ah, oh, it's a shame we didn't take that oil earlier. Mm. Okay. We're going to need to... Yeah, we're going to need to use meat to produce the water skins. But because this is highly efficient, it's 10 water skins per four leather. And a, and two... Per, yeah, four leather and two meat, which is not bad. So we need... To, yeah, those 10 water skins are then going to form the basis of the trade. The... No, it's over here. It's over here. The pack of trade goods. Six produces two. So roughly it's four per each of those. We only need ten. So really, it's not that bad at all. We only need like... When it says ten, we only need like thirty or something. I'll set that to 30. And that's that. And then who wants to work this? Oh, apparently lizards enjoy doing this job. Congratulations. There you go. So that's going to produce what we need there. And then in just a second, we're going to start burning some coal. Okay. Just keep an eye on that. I just need to burn the coal. Sacrifice the coal. 8, 9, 10. I appreciate we're wasting coal right now. But we just need to get that up to 15. I know we're low on fuel. I am aware. 
Gosh darn it, we ran out of coal with only two to go. The impatience is... The impatience is fine. This is all good. We're about to get a new building. We, we need a new building. This is... This is... This is... Everything's going... Everything's going fine. It's all going fine. Just burn a tiny, tiny bit more coal. Just burn the slightest, slightest bit more coal. Deliver coal, plabs! Storage is empty. Well, that's no cocky good at all. Take... We, we need more coal. Burn coal. Burn coal. Yes. 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 Yes! Okay. Stop burning coal. Stop burning coal. Stop burning coal. No more coal burning. Thank you. Right, you may now use coal as a general as a general source of fuel. That's a okay. In fact, please stop using wood as a general source of fuel. That's going to be fine, right? Well, I think that's going to be fine. Isn't, if isn't coal a lot more efficient anyway? Yes. So I'm thinking with four workers in the mines and this thing, then the wood can be dedicated to the production of planks, and the wood is it's all going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Look, the point is, we've completed an objective, which we needed urgently. So, oh, yes. Uh, in case John isn't aware, different fuels have different effects when sacrificed. Oil, for instance, increases productivity. Yes, I think I'd seen that, but I yeah. uh, we don't have the luxury of, of shopping around for what fuel we're sacrificing. Yeah, we're sacrificing for objective, not for benefits right now. So, uh, okay. Pack of luxury goods. Yeah, we need that. We do need that. That's the one thing we literally can't produce right now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, we literally can't produce that right now. So, yes, I think we've got no choice but to take this because we need it. So, carpenter. Let's have a look, see. And let's get that carpenter out on the field, like, uh, now. Uh, carpenter. So, yes, let's just get you out. You could be next to the other skilled, uh, tr crafty tradesperson over here. That's absolutely fine. Fuel is going down a tiny amount. We just need... I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be... I'm sure fuel isn't that low. We're delivering coal right now. We're delivering coal right this second. Coal, coal, coal will be fine. Okay. Now... Do not produce planks here. You're not very efficient at planks. Do not produce tools here. Produce luxury goods. To produce luxury goods, we need tea, ale, scrolls, incense, training gear, or wine. Now, let's check which of these we actually have the ability to produce. In theory, we can produce scrolls at the lumber mill with a small amount of efficiency, or training gear at the weaver. Now, the lumber mill's kind of busy producing 10 million planks at the moment, which makes me ideally want to say training gear at the weaver. And the weaver, me, because the weaver's not doing anything right now. The weaver's doing flip all. So, training gear is stone. Which we have a lot of. Yeah, and crystallized gear, which we could make more of, combined with planks, ah. but not that many planks. I mean, three planks generates 10 training gear. True. 10 training gear right there and all we need is four training gear produces two goods and we only need 10 and don't we have some wine uh we might have oh no we i think no. we might have already used that no that was this is the default thing that you are asked mm. to, that you're suggested to use but we didn't have it it was just it was highlighted because it was the default selection. Ah, sure, 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 sure. So sure, I've deactivated sure. six. We don't have any. So I think, yeah, we don't need. We barely need any training gear. It's like the tiniest handful of training gear, really. So we just need a little bit of training gear. Put one human in here. Literally nothing but training gear. We only need ten of these. After that, stop. And then the yeah. So for that, if it's four to two, we need ten. That means we need twenty. We only. Need, we literally need twenty training gear. 20 training gear is literally, therefore, we just need, yeah, 20, 20 of them. Set that. Tell someone to get on with that job. You guys can just do that. That's fine. Honestly, just one human can do it. That's that's A-OK. -okay. And that will take care of itself now. That should now just happen, and it shouldn't even take that long to do. You'll just produce a handful of training gear, and that will not take that long at all. Like we've, We should have this. I think we've got enough stone for that already. If we don't have enough stone, we'll probably find some at some point. We're kind of hacking our way into some new bits and pieces. By the way, guys, maybe don't go into, like, the, the dangerous thing. Actually, wait. Isn't, don't, don't we have a benefit to if you go into dangerous things at night? That's good. If you go into... During drizzle, if you go into dangerous or glade, you get random raw food. Okay. So drizzle is the time I want you guys 
to go into Dangerous Glades. For the time being, I'd like you to move over here and go into the not Dangerous Glade. Thank you. So during next drizzle, hack open this door and we'll get some free right food. Now? No, we're in um it's summer. Oh it's just it's just I light see. summer rain. Oh it's just British summer, I British see. British summer, exactly. Now now now, now it's proper. Now yeah, we're I in see. storm. So okay, you're you're angry because you don't have training goods, but we are somewhere over here is producing training goods. Like there'll be ten of them momentarily. This is all going to work out. The goods should be being why is literally nothing? Everyone should be doing their job. No one is. But, like, some people should be. Like, how's the... I mean, you guys are producing... Hang on, no, next door at the at the, the lumber mill. You guys are attempting to produce that, but there's still not enough cocking wood. Okay, well, as there's not enough cocking wood, here's what we're going to do. We are going to have a third woodcutter's camp. And you're not really... You guys aren't really, like, supposed to be opening up paths or anything. Literally. You're just going to chop down this, because it's right next to the warehouse, and you're going to take it to the warehouse. Your only job is to open up some space, and that's fine. Uh, and we, we just need more wood coming in. I mean, we, we've got multiple benefits towards wood coming in already. We've got a lot of benefits towards wood coming in. These aren't going to be beavers, unfortunately. It's going to be whatever we've got available. One guy. Yep, fine. Just, just chop down this. Chop it down. Go. Fine. Not a problem. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Fuel is stable. Hostility is high. That's fine. Hostility being a little bit high is, is not a problem. And now it's drizzle. Okay. It's drizzle, which means it's exploration time. Guys, congratulations. Open up the hostile and or dangerous environment, please. And not this one over here. There we go. Just hack down the nice and dangerous thing. Because if we crack this open during drizzle, scavenging, hang on. The exact rules are... It's got to be completed during drizzle, not opened during drizzle. So that's fine. So yeah, if we complete glade events or uh, complete... Yeah, basically complete dangerous or otherwise glade events during drizzle, that's the time to do it. So we're just going to get on with that. Oh, choose a cornerstone. Good. Everyone loves cornerstones. Steel pickaxes for bonus stone production, or... Yeah, you know what? I like yeah. the... Yeah, Those more, the more villages every um, glade. That was fun. Yes! Yes, uh, let's see. You can set your woodcutters to avoid glades except marked with shift-click. Uh, that commands will go to all woodcutters. Say it again. Uh, you can apparently uh, set your woodcutters to avoid glade, except those that are marked. At the at the woodcutter camp, you can you can do it. Avoid glades. Ah, I see. Yes, I get you. I'm happy for them to to just do that do that jibble. That's that's fine. Uh, okay, so I can specialize exactly what the woodcutter is doing. But we're, 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 we're tracking down. We're tracking down McJibbles. Everything's fine. You guys, by the way, can just go a little bit closer. You'll have to do less walking if you're here. There you go. Congratulations. That'll just... I've, I'm increasing the efficiency here. <laughs> and you guys, by the way, should probably... At this point... Uh, I mean, there's many insects. There's... Oh, you know what? You should move to here. Move to... Here. That's That's a good spot for you. And by the way, is there another lizard? There are no more lizards. We could do with more people. But that's fine. We're about to gain more people because... Okay, there's a... Ooh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like you. I don't like the blood flower. Okay, there's a... I love her. No, she's not. She's dancing. Claire, she's going to come and get us. It generally makes my skin crawl. Oh, Still, I'm sorry. We've actually found... Uh, it is farmland. Audrey. We found, we found farmland. Okay. Giant pile of shit. Could get me an entire reputation point all by itself and 30 if I send that to the Citadel. But do I, we have 12 I do tools? not have 12 no. tools. Or I can smash it open using smashing. And that gets me clay, clothes, pies and jerky. Oh, come on. Pies and jerky? We're kind of lacking in options, to be honest. I mean, well, yeah, we're going to be, produ we we're gonna be producing training gear as time goes by. And we picked up, yeah, one beaver. So Why that's... do you not smash it with stones instead of the training gear you need to, like... Training gear we're producing on an ongoing basis. Stone, we've barely uh... got any. I think it's more efficient to do it this way. And the other beaver can work here now. So that's fine. We also opened up this location. That is... Is that more coal? That's nice. more coal. 
which is good because at some point this coal is going to run out and when this coal runs out that's going to potentially be a problem um that that could that that's going to be a real problem in fact but that's fine we'll cross the bridge when we come to it we're actually we are producing luxury goods and building materials right now so Very we can nice. turn in this we still haven't found a single cooking luxury thing okay as for the terrifying flower right in 10 minutes if we've not dealt with this What's going to happen is global... Th yeah, it's going to smell. And also bread. Right, deal with it. And while we're working on things, cooked and raw food in the warehouse is disappearing at a rate of two items every 12 seconds. Food is decaying. We need to deal with this thing. There, We haven't got anyone who can specialize in this. We basically just need to send people... In all fairness, it gets me 20 amber. And a giant pile of water skins, which is actually quite useful. Yeah. Because we need those, don't we, to yeah. make the goods? So, honestly, let's just... Uh, you guys uh, stop chopping wood. Go attack this flower. I'm really sorry about this. I appreciate this is not the job you wanted. Uh, but good luck. But, yeah, while they're doing that, uh, food is decaying. Two items every 12 seconds. So, do it faster. Let's just get on with that, guys, please. Just get on with that. Uh, don't worry about that. And you're just... I think someone's working on this over here. Missing one of the... Ah, you're missing the training gear, but that's fine. We're producing the training gear right now. We're, we're, we're trying to make that. That's uh, happening over at the Weaver. Yeah, we're literally... Uh, another 10 are about to be produced. Another 10 are about to be produced. So we're producing loads of training gear. Don't worry about it. It's all okay. This is all going to work. It's, it's all going to come together at some point. Like, we're going to pass a load of objectives at roughly the same time. It's all going to be fine. Speaking of which, we've got more orders we can make. Oh, nice. So, sell 45 ambers worth of goods. That gets me traders arriving faster, giant box of tools, and three people. Pretty tempting. Or, open or send... Okay. Send, en send three of any cashers. Gets me workers carrying more items in Glade events. But then again, the chat, how long is it going to take me to find mm. that many? This, if I just make more finished goods, I don't think that's that difficult. I'm going to take that. So we just sell those next time someone shows up. Um, oh, the mine literally has no available ore, by the way. The thing I was just warning about happened. But that's fine. We found another mine up top. Paved roads. And you okay. need 30 paved roads. But I don't know how to make them. Right now we have no one who can make them. Or... Need for clothing for fills, which I'm not sure we've got that. I'm not sure we've got the ability for either of them. I will take this one and we'll just keep an eye out for Paved Road's attack. Because it's uh, this looks much easier than us trying to pivot into producing clothing mm. at this point. Yeah, uh, we'll take that because, in all fairness, I like the reward better. 20 amber is quite a good reward. We'll keep an eye out for Paved Road showing mm, up as attack. You need to increase the limit on trading gear, apparently. Huh? You need to improve the the limit on the building of training gear. Why? As it's being taken away and being used, the, the amount will go down. Yeah, as in, like, because for the blood flower. Yeah, but, like, as 10 gets taken away for the blood flower, there won't be 10 anymore and she'll just make more. Oh, fair enough. Sorry, sorry. I'm just reading from I mean, I'll, I'll put it up to, like, 25. I'll put it up uh, to 30 so there's a bit of spare capacity uh, now, in the Sean, tank. Now, paved roads are not a tech. They are under path and the coast cost one stone per oh so they do right well those we could theoretically make if we just burn all our stone like now i mean okay we literally were about to open up a new coal mine up here which is very important so we're going to put down we'll check how much that is later can we move this stone mine no we can deactivate it you can't move a mine it's obviously you know kind of fixed to the ground that's fair uh, but we need a new mine up here. Uh, miney, 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 mine, mine. We need a new mine up here, which is a okay. Uh, so you guys get working on that, and in the meantime, you're allowed to burn wood again because otherwise we're going to run out of coal. Unless how much coal do we have? Oh, we've got quite a bit of coal stashed. We're fine. Don't burn wood. Just burn coal. So we do now have. We're almost up to enough building materials to turn in that. And then we just need uh. to produce enough finished goods that we can sell those finished goods for money for the booming economy objective. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But you're almost there. Ooh, building materials. You can... Uh... 
No, because I need to. You need to complete uh, both yeah, of them at the same time. Yeah, that's funny. And yeah, of course. Speak you of can't. which, more people are arriving. Uh, these guys will bring meat with them. I think I need meat for producing something. So yeah, I'll take that. I'll take. I'll take the meat. That's a big pile of people, by the way. That's, that's nice. That's a really big pile of people. And speaking of which, we need housing, because uh, loads of people have just arrived and they've got nowhere to live. And also, we've got no wood to build aforementioned houses. Uh, but that's that's a shame for you guys, really, isn't it? Uh, when we have wood, we'll we'll build you well, guys houses. You have like new beavers as well, can't they? You know, chop wood. That's very true. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations! And now you all have jobs. Now you've all got jobs and more of that. Yeah, good shout, Claire. Right, round over to here. Thanks. Round two here, just, just, just chop all of this. Just chop all this down. Just chop all the nearby wood down. That's absolutely fine. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you feel like chopping, guys. Whatever you feel like chopping, uh, you guys, and then just move over to here, and then just basically at this point, it's not even about opening glades. Uh, it's just about chopping. Though you may as well open this glade. To be honest, just open up all of this, and don't bother with this up here. And luxury goods are done. You can deliver them. Luxury goods are indeed done. Brilliant. So, okay, that's now ready to be delivered. That also gets me bonus flower production and another four people and a giant pile of amber. And shout out to Levix, who pointed out that that was finished. Excellent. Uh, where were we producing the luxury goods? Was that down over here? That's building materials. You were there. That was the luxury goods. So, luxury goods now stops. We do not need those anymore. That building goes to sleep until further notice because that means the um we'll just produce a giant pile of training goods and we can sell them to the next merchant who shows up he'll be here in about a minute perfect uh so that's absolutely fine uh you guys are still producing ah the problem you might have is why are you producing well they're producing pigment stop producing pigment but isn't pigment also good for I thought one of the things that we were selling needed pigment, but maybe that's the luxury goods. I'm not sure anymore. Pack of, no, that was luxury. Building yeah, materials up. Building enough. materials. And we could sell fabric. We can... Okay, if we... Mass producing... Fabric instead of wood. Because we make... We could make fabric at the weaver. Fabric can be made out of... I mean, we could make... Some, a somewhat amount of fabric yeah, out of out just of, the plant, yeah, like the plant hemp, fiber. Hemp or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's And gonna... we don't need the training gear anymore because that was for the... Yeah, but we can sell it because we need to sell oh, yes, for goods. We're we just going to make that sell. to sell yeah, it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So we're going to use... We're going to say you mm. can also use uh, the fabric to make the building materials. That's fine. And though admittedly, we've got... We're up to 16 on that. So that's mm. one more we can turn in. Oh, and we have more orders. Which also gets me another 10% movement speed which is really good so now we just need to produce a little bit more because we need the trade goods and the building materials but they're both now ticking in and two more orders coming in so clothing again no we we don't have we can't we we don't really produce leather to be honest building materials and trade goods we've got experience making that we've got the infrastructure set up for it already it would be nice to have yeah something that makes building materials better but we'll keep an eye out for that. And human majority have 20 humans for 30 seconds. We've got seven humans right now. Mm, and we can't really control how we get more well, people. Well, we can. We can choose are. objectives yeah. that get us people, but we've already kind of picked our objectives. So. Yeah. And the alternative is fulfill need for all the foods. Which Jerky is, skewers and pies. Which is way harder to do. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because you need to be producing three distinct foods and also make sure they're being eaten correctly. I mean, it's more likely than 13 humans just joining when we're down at seven right now. We'll take it, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to complete it. I think we're going to complete other stuff instead. So that's fine. The point is that we've got two more buildings we can take. So what we're really looking for is... Smokehouse can make jerky well no don't worry mm. don't even think about the food what we're focusing on is making hang on what's the one we're bad at making right now you are you evil why are you evil hostility the forest and frustrated oh possibly because we, 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 you're the one who took care of this i'm not sure um that would make sense yeah, i think these two people are just annoyed because of that which was the one we were bad at again it was it 
building materials. We need to, if we come up with a better way of making building materials, yeah. that would be useful. So unfortunately, that was it's slightly better way of making building materials, the rain mill, and I think mm -hmm. it just gets powered off rain during the during the wet seasons. It's probably better, to be honest. I'm taking it. And clothes production, but we turned down those objectives, so it's fine. At the scribe, the provision I could produce flour, barrels, packs of provisions. Well, jerky. The ability to make jerky is fine. We'll take that for now, at least so we've got that as an ability, but I really don't think we're going to be... Forest mysteries at the top are why your villagers are frustrated. That would be why, yes. Oh, yes, level two, hostility. Ah, the food objectives are cumulative. You don't need to fulfill them all at the same time. You just need that many things overall. Let's just burn a little bit of extra, little bit of extra uh, coal just mm. to ever make everyone calm down a little bit. That way, no one's frustrated overnight. Because we want people to not, like, literally abandon society. So we're going to burn a little bit of extra coin. In fact, you know what? We picked up some... Some sea marrow. Except, apparently, I don't think it's been delivered yet. We definitely got it from this plant, but I'm not sure it's been delivered yet. So that's... Do you need to, like, set somebody to pick them up, or...? No, it happens by itself. Ah, fair enough. It'll be fine. And we'll just do a little bit of burning coal just to get us through the storm. Do you want to check on the road, by the way? Because now you've made the ro the road is all made, the paved road. Uh, Twenty-two of thirty. So we need eight more. Do we have any more? Like, how are we on stone? Yeah, we've got oh, enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll complete that. I mean, it, will, it leaves us very low on stone, and we do not have any more stone that we've come, currently come, come across. This is getting a little bit on the nasty side, and we're, we're, we're burning through fuel fast to avoid the penalties of the storm at this point. And also our new... There we go! Finally, the new the new thing is ready to go. Good. Everyone back in the new mine. Back in the new mine, please. Thank you. Right, more coal is now being produced. Uh, you've got 15 homeless people, by the way. I yeah, We're working on it. We literally yeah. don't have the wood. To, we don't have the wood to make the shelters. As soon as we've got the woods to make the shelters, we will produce more houses. We're producing some houses. I promise you, you are not seeing like half of the back seating that's happening. Excellent. I'm trying real hard. Okay, it's drizzle. Turn the sacrificing off. And now, yeah, build housing. And the trader arrived. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, and maybe clear some glades if you can. Uh, well, I'm not sure we're going to be able to open and clear the glade all in that one go. We we'll just need two more houses down when that happens. Zorg! Me old chess mate. Um, right. Okay, before we actually do that, we may as well just see if... Just make sure we're fully up to date here, which is... One, the forest recedes. Hostility is reduced by 10 points every time you sell goods worth 30 amber. We're just about to sell goods. Done. Yeah, uh, also, and we do also do yeah. have one more thing to turn in. I was just going to say that. Which is nice, though it's not quite enough to get us up to a new building because they become more spaced out over time. Obviously. But at yeah. least reputation is now ahead of impatience, which is good. Mm -hmm. Right, Zorg, me old uh, chess plate. Um, so we need to sell 45 value. We've got a lot of pigment we could just sell because I think we've just been kind of producing that by accident. We've also got a load of amber. Which is interesting. So we could buy things. So rain power pottery wheel. Puffed grain. Plus two to porridge production. A bakery. I think we need to take that. Because... We need to take that for pie. Correct. Yeah. So we're buying the bakery option. And then we need to sell him. I'm going to be honest. We've got less to sell than I thought we were going to have to sell. Um, How we... much is the pigment worth? Not that much, to be honest. I'll sell him quite a bit of that, but really not much. I can sell him the, the sea marrow we picked up. I can, oh, I'm happy to sell him most of that. Only 11. How much do we need to sell over here? 45. Jeez. I mean, am I... Can you sell... Money. Amber for... Because amber is accepted as currency, but we're also just... trading it for currency. So Very weird. If I sell amber, does that count as 
I mean, you know what? I wouldn't mind just a giant pile of just planks just to keep us going for the time being. And the biscuits and, hang on, jerky pie, skewers and jerky. But we don't have any skewers. And I'll so... take all the skewers just to keep people happy for the time being. And then I'll, I'll happy, I'll, I'm just going to treat people to some nice food. I'm just going to treat some people to some nice food for the time being. I don't know whether this even counts. 33 and a handful of, a handful of biscuits too. There we go. There we go. Just a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. No. There. Make that trade and then we'll see what happens to the value of good does it souls. Does count? Yeah. Nice. It does. I can, can I sell money for money? Amazing. If I sell him 10 amber and I ask to receive 8 amber in return because he, he takes a cut, then does that actually work? Holy shit, you can sell money for money and that counts as money. Well, that's just stupid. Right, so as long as you've got 20% more than 45 gold on you, you can sell money for money. And that can... I'm a genius at the economy. Boom. John's going into Wall Street. <laughs> I just sold money for money at but a for loss. For less money, yeah, I did. Exactly. I did. I did sell money at a loss. But now you have a bakery to make pie, and you have skewers and jerky in reserve for when the need arises. Which I don't know exactly how that works. But it's obviously true. We're, people we're just go. Right people now. just go to the food thing, and they they people occasionally want breaks. They'll go. They'll get whatever the nicest food they can find, and they'll eat it around the fire or in a relevant building if there is one, but there isn't one. Uh, yes, that sounds like money laundering. Lol. Right, one more new building available as a result of that. So, oh, cookhouse. Skewers. We can make Lol. our own skewers. Now, of course, we can. Although, also, a clan hall. That's nice. So, people can fulfill need for brawling religion. <laughs> brawling and religion. No. Nice. The religion of punching the heck out of each other. Passive effect to ancient ways. I have no idea what that means. Uh, but I mean, it, it will fulfill. It's a place to go that's inside. Done. Okay. Yeah, I feel like they'll like that. And we just need a handful of bricks and some things for that. We need some bricks. Yeah, eight bricks. Any chance you wanted to sell me eight bricks? Did you bring your bricks? No, he didn't bring bricks. That's a shame. That's fine. We can make some bricks of our own. Mm. So that's absolutely a okay. So let's just so that people like are happy and okay. One, we're putting down new buildings. And two, I just need a handful of bricks from, like, some people. So literally just make some bricks. Some stone bricks, yeah. Yeah, and we've got oh, a handful. We've got some clay. We've got some clay, so we'll use the clay cool. to make the bricks. It's just a one-off, but it'll do. So literally use all the clay we've ritual got. Ritual just... bar fighting, ritual sparring. Pretty They're just much, warrior yeah. monks. Yeah. Clan hall will help a lot with your lizard's low resolve. Yeah, this this will ancient be... Ancient way doubles... Uh, ancient ways doubles gathering yields. That's pretty good. Yeah. Also, I think I can just make the, the half nicer by, yeah, plus two to global resolve, which is all I need to do is, yeah, I've got enough people, then literally I just need to put four decorations up, and that's it. Nice. So, and decorations. We're just going to put some benches. Benches in town. Uh, oh, wait. Can we have some decorations that don't that don't require wood? Like, decorations not made out of wood, please. Uh, there are no decorations. There's a pipe. That's all. Oh, pipes are also made out of wood. God lol. darn it. Okay. Well, benches well, are only two. maybe you... Oh, yeah. No. There it... we go. Just a little picnic center in the center of town. Just everyone just Quite spend... Nice. When we When we gather a bit of wood, we'll just put it there. Just when we've gathered wood, we'll put it there. There we go. That's going to put that there. And once that's done, I think this, like, just auto-upgrade to the next level. That just becomes unlocked. And then we just gain plus yeah. two to happiness, like, everywhere. Which strikes me as worth it. So and then, we... yeah, we could build a second half. Yeah, we could build another half. But honestly, I think it's not worth it. Uh, not yet, anyway. So, yeah, that's now that's now in play. Mm, very nice. The next one is we've got enough people. Last level reached... Can we even do that? Okay, some victories say blah, blah, blah. 10% to production speed. And, ah, I think I I think I've, I haven't unlocked the technology for the second tier of that. But bare minimum, it's a plus four. Like, people are happy that the half is better. Pe people are happy with us right now. That's good. Fuel is low, but that's fine. We should have more. You say fuel is low. Looks fine to me. Uh, I think you're lying to me. I don't, I don't, I don't listen to this nonsense. You are unhappy 
Sorry, I moved. I, I may have put you slightly, slightly too far away from the um, from the thing. Sorry, you're one too far away, and I can't move you. It says move. But then it's there. We go now. Move. There you go. Now you're happy. Now you're close enough to the fire. You were too far from the fire. They were cold. They were they were being little clairs. Yeah. And the lizards Fair are enough. probably because of that those skewers I bought. Happy enough that they're actually casually generating a tiny bit of bonus reputation. Zero point one minutes. And look, your need for jerky and need for pie, uh, need for jerky and need for skewers is yeah, like but 10 all of them need all of them need to be fulfilled simultaneously, and they can go down again in future. Oh, ancient obelisk, cooking finally! We finally found an ancient obelisk. Jesus, it's been a while. Uh, um, let's see, that might well give you stone tablets when you get It was get like to... the first... Well, no, no, it's it's literally the first thing we took. One ancient tablet. Yeah. Uh, and I think this is where they come from. So, obelisk. Lol. I thought there was something to do with an ancient obelisk. Gosh darn it. We need well, to... you need to open more glades, though, because that's... Clearly. That'll be where that came from. Must be the dangerous stuff. Uh, you know what? There is pie in here. Is, is anyone working on this right now? Can someone else work on this? You literally got seven lizards sitting around doing nothing. All of you can have all of you can have jobs. Does anyone else need does anyone else need a job? If anyone else would like a job, that would be absolutely fine. I mean, if there's anything we can easily mass produce, we could just uh, have that. I mean, be... we still need more trade goods and building materials. You get over to here and just start opening up more territory, including the dangerous glade. Because Dangerous Glade just opens up Dangerous Options. It doesn't actually unleash anything dangerous, I don't mm. think. Um, so someone get over to here. So either tear it down for meat, sea marrow, and incense. Or make an offering. And yeah, hostility down. Which, given hostility is quite high at the moment, I think is the better option. Do we actually have anything to offer? We have nothing to offer. Right, screw it. Tear it down then. Let's cock it, let's cock it go. Uh, tear it down with clay and a tiny bit of wood. Yes, just send in the lizards to smash, basically. Activate smash mode. Great, well done. So you guys go and sort that out. That's absolutely fine. Okay. We do need, yes, we were saying... It's, uh, apparently what you want is, uh, ancient, uh, temples. Ancient temples. Uh, yeah, ooh. Chris says obelisks can give t tablets, but not always. Uh, you got bad luck with RNG. Mm. Interesting. Make a little bit more training gear. Ah, we've got loads of crystallized dew for the time being. You can use that to make a more training gear, which we can then just sell. So that's fine. So you just get on with that. Someone else can work at the weaver as well. No one seems to be better or worse at working with the... Uh, the weaver. Let's just check actually over here. If we hover, yes, there's no diff. In, in random buildings, there's no diff mm. there's no benefit to humans versus beavers if there's no name specialization. You guys just produce the um the training gear. That pers that doesn't have anything working right there. You need leather, and leather needs to be obtained by ranch or purchased so we need to just we need to get more leather in a perfect world but right now we have like no source of leather like at all which is a bit of a shame you guys just opened up this what is that by the way that is berries so we do have the ability to gather berries and we could start farming actually uh if we've got the ability to set up any particular farms uh forage camp plantation can produce can mass produce berries you know what? Why not? Let's get some berries in production. Food. We'll need it for pies. Exactly. Yes, that will be. Yeah, the pies will be. Oh, could I be was, berry flavored. I was kidding, but you no, know. absolutely. You. Pies will need flour, uh, mm. or, or mushrooms. They can be made out of mushrooms. Then we'll need a filling, which can be meat or vegetable. So mm. berries will be fine for making berry pie. That's that's absolutely yeah, okay. You're completely correct. Um, generally, in this game, don't don't assume you that's that's a silly thing. In general, it's it, it's all it's all true. So that's there. Just produce, actually produce plant fiber as well, because plant fiber I'm pretty sure we're using for something over there. I it's think we're using it plant fiber for making fabric. Yeah. So you just work on that, though. I think we won't be able to start working until next drizzle. I think you plant in drizzle and you harvest in summer, and yeah, then the storm sense. you just kind of ride out the storm. 
Everyone got a home? Everyone's got a home. The lizards are still generating bonus reputation per minute, which might be enough to put us up by another point, which is good. And then we just need to... You're working on that, right? Yeah, you guys are working on that right now, though we're lacking in the materials to Um, Can you check it. the dangerous glade that we were near? That it'll, we I think up. it'll... It'll oh, flag. It'll, it, no, it'll, yeah, it, okay. it will flag if we don't put it up. Sure. Because uh, someone pointed out in chat, like, it doesn't unleash anything at you, but it might start a timer for yes. something. I think it, like, very clearly says if something like that happens. Mm. So, okay, we, we, we're, 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 we're slowly opening up that over there. We're also opening up a few more bits and pieces. What else are we opening up? We're slowly... You are... Yeah, you just opened that up over there. Move over here by the mine please and then yeah just start opening up all of this there's like multiple things over here that you guys can open up and there should be one more you're chopping that yeah so now we're chopping it towards now we're chopping towards where's the third one that's it right you aren't really chopping anything particularly productive right now are you so you get down over here and chop down this very narrow area and then open up two more glades down here Nice. Yeah, nice. That will do very nicely. Claire. Yeah, because obviously you get more people as well. Yes. Uh, anyway, shout out to Stuart, who's been a member for 75 months. Ooh. Uh, and says, good evening all. I'm glad to once again be able to catch a live stream live. Very, very nice indeed. Us. Welcome, welcome. Uh, ooh, what building is that? That's the giant clan hall. Oh, cool. Uh, does it need to be in the heat? And if it's not in the heat, how much of a problem is that? Uh, if we rotate it, let's kind of put it here. Okay, we might just need to we might need to make a little bit of space. Move the houses, just yeah. Move, move the houses a bit. The houses will happily move. They're very they're very light. There should not be enough space to squeeze the clan hall into the residential district. Mm. I think. There we go. Much better. So we'll just put that down here. And now we need a little bit of fabric. We should have... Yeah, we should have fabric being... Yeah, we've got fabric being produced right now. We should have planks being produced, like, en masse. We can produce scrolls out of cocking leather. We, we do not have any source of leather, because leather can only come from ranches, and we do not have those. There we go. There's the thing. And now, this year, during Storm, I've prepared you guys a thing. And apparently, because this is like flame tending, lizards are good at it. So there we go. Brawling, training gear, becomes a brawling service, and incense becomes religion. And also, ancient ways, yes, ancient lizard clans, excellent survivalists, they've mastered hunting and foraging. All camps produce 100% greater yield. Very, very nice indeed. So, okay. We need to, yeah, keep producing that training gear, which in all fairness we are already doing on mass over here in the weavers we're just producing them like crazy so we've, yeah we've got so many produce more so okay the need for brawling is going to be fulfilled scrolls can use plant fibers from your plantation yes that's why we planted that yes so okay that's yeah. good yeah because you were saying about the leather yeah mm. so what can you use the plant fiber the you can make scrolls out of plant fiber not just leather yeah, but scrolls are irrelevant to me, really. It's it's more about needing leather, because I need leather to make. There's one thing that does absolutely need leather um, in the leather worker. Uh. The leather worker, would you believe it, is quite fussy about needing leather, like water skins. Yeah, 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 you yeah, cannot yeah, yeah, make yeah. water skins. Leather is a non-swappable outable. You can, I can swap in meat or oil, and we're desperately gathering as much meat as we can as fast as possible to use that. But we have no source of oil and we have no source of leather, mm. which means the leather worker is struggling. But, I mean, bare minimum, the lizards are generating a lot of reputation right now. So, okay, it's storm time. We've got so much fuel, so I'm going to start burning some additional coal to mitigate the bad factors in the... There we go, to mitigate the bad factors. I appreciate fuel's going to go down fast, but this is this is precisely why we do... Why we, we store up coal. We could also, by the way... Uh, yes, inc we could also burn... Yeah, Glade event work speed increased by 25%. Yeah. We need to be burning two. I think we already burnt all of our spare coal. The coal is already gone. Sacrifice oil. We do not have wood to to spend. I mean, we've got Sam sacrifice. This is going to be. You know what? Even even having burnt everything, 
it's kind of okay. And, oh, there's a new... Here we go. Here's that dangerous event. Ah. Here's a dangerous event. We found a dangerous event. There's a large encampment. We can welcome new people. Or we can send them off to the Citadel and we don't ask questions about what happens to them there. And that gets me monies. <sighs> money's probably more useful What to does me. it take? Uh, basically food to give them for the journey, which we have none of. Also, we have none of. Okay, so within two minutes, we need to... No, that's going to take two minutes when we do do it. Oh, I see. And then we have got... The bigger problem is the Rain Spirits Totem. Mm. This is the dangerous. Built by Fishman. So, yes, in 12 and a half minutes, shit's going to get real. It's going to start flooding shit, and uh, villagers are going to slow down, and etc. So, we don't have that to happen. We've got to either burn it down, which I can do with planks, or... We have to find a way to perform a ritual, which also wakes up the rage of the forest. Nice. But only for the course of those four minutes. That would get me a converted rain totem, which is decreases hostility. Wait, wait, wait. What's that? Ancient tablet! Nice! Burn it down! Burn, burn it, it down! down. Burn yeah, it down! The forest down. will love it when you burn shit down. It's fine. We're going to burn shit down with planks we made out of the forest. It's absolutely not a problem. We need the ancient tablets. There is yeah, absolutely no, no alternative. Sorry, I interrupted you because yeah. I thought it looked like a tablet. Now, there is also a unique building we could repurpose here. Ooh. A butcher. So, okay, we can either salvage it to get a giant pile of eggs and jerky, or we can rebuild it to make it into a butcher that could produce oil. Skewers and jerky, and we still need to fulfill the need yeah, for skewers that's being and rebuilt. jerky. That's being rebuilt, 100%. Yeah, yeah. every time that's being rebuilt. Because your need for pie is fine right now, but yeah. Meanwhile, these guys, these would, they would accept veg, they would like vegetables to go away. Although actually, we're going to be growing berries next turn. I was actually, we could literally harvest these vegetables. Mm. There are vegetables, there's just a large pounds of... Um, moss broccoli, yeah, yum. Moss. Is that a real thing? I don't believe so. Ah. Claire would know. Claire would know. Everything's fine. Everyone's pretty happy despite the problems we've got here. It's nearly drizzle. It's nearly drizzle. Beaver resolve is low, but it's almost it's almost spring. There we go. Everyone jumps back up again. The these guys are gonna be at their threshold Ooh. very, very soon. And we're gonna start planting. Over here, we're just gonna do lots of little planting. Uh so it's planting season at the moment. You still haven't done that because you do not have clay. When a trader next shows up, we need to... You know what? Call her immediately. Please yeah. have clay. Have clay. I know that's going to increase impatience, but we're, we're kind of in a good situation yeah. right now. I'm kind of okay with we're that. We're doing good. Yeah. Uh, you, meanwhile, aren't doing anything right now because, yeah, you don't have... You can have... You use stone. Use stone to make bricks. We need bricks. You can use stone to make bricks. We need to find a new source of stone. That's kind of important. Um, you move over here. There's a bunch you could potentially do over here. Sorry, here. You tear that down. Two dangerous events, but it's fine. We need to find... There we go. There's another McJibble. And this is break open all senses. So how many of those do we... We've got 38 tools right now. Whoa, okay. Don't know when that happened, but we do not need fabric or a bundle of reeds. Send it to the Citadel. That's going to the Citadel for 0 0.5 reputation and 10. That's fine. Yep, yeah, go. And some money. Yep, yeah, that's a-okay. Which -okay. will help if we're spending a bunch of money at the trader when she shows up. Which you just did. Mm. And please tell me you're selling clay. You are. Well, that are... looks like bricks. She's not selling clay, but yo, she's selling bricks. And also, she's selling leather. I want literally all the leather. Give me that leather. All of it. All right, that's fine. We can buy that. Um, Bricks as well. Yeah, in all fairness, just buying a handful of bricks just to keep us going. I will accept one more. Thank you. Up to ten. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Fungal growth, mushroom. We're not really focusing on mushrooms right now. Biscuits could be produced in kilns and rainbows. So, okay, you can literally add new yeah. things to existing buildings, which is kind of cool. And multiply grain production. Not really jumping out at me is essential there. What we do have to sell potentially is... We do have spare building materials. We have... Actually, we've got loads of building materials. What happened to the trade goods? Maybe we... I'm not... We need to check on this. You know what? Check on the trade goods as a priority. What because happened? maybe... What happened to the trade goods? Where are we producing them? Was that... Here... 
No, that's luxury. Where are trade goods produced? Trade goods? You turn them off. Trade goods being produced from... I did! We, we never turned that on. It turns out. And also pottery. You, you're allowed to make them out of everything. Okay! That would be why the trade goods haven't been appearing. I, I never maybe, turned them on. Maybe turn off the rest so that it prioritizes making the trade goods because we do need those. We don't need fabric, but we do need more trade. We do, do need training gear on an ongoing mm. basis from our, like, bashing people in the face religion. Mm. Don't forget that. So that's absolutely fine. Yeah, just produce that. And is anybody specialized in... in... No. No, fair enough. I think that might be a race we've not unlocked yet. So, okay. We'll get those trade goods in production sooner rather than later. We have got ancient tablets Look. being worked on right now. As we literally... Pff, wow, okay, violent. Violent, violent drilling very, right there. I like it. Skaven. Like Love it. it. Love it. Wait, is this... Did you actually buy anything from the trader? Is she going to leave? She will leave at some point, but don't worry. We'll get to her in a second. Mm. The butcher's also done. and We can now produce oil. And we can produce oil using plant fiber. Seems weird. Which but... I will accept because we need, yeah, what just one person could do that. Just make a little bit of oil because oil has shown up a few times. Oil is useful. So that's good. But you are right. Do not let this woman leave until she has sold us, at the bare minimum, all of her cocking leather and 10 bricks. Um, maybe you that. could buy, like the the mushrooms as we don't and maybe is that flour at the end with the 30 given that we need to do the pie thing i'm pretty sure we have abilities to make our own flour oh, somewhere enough, i'm enough. not gonna do that um what i will do is I'll sorry am i doing the back seating i now? think we're almost i think we kind of we don't really need parts anymore and parts are really valuable so i'll just sell our parts um and then just take a handful more bricks to to balance the box yeah i'll do that trade i'm fine with that so that's a giant pile of leather. We've also got more perks coming in. A biscuit diet. Farmers have a 75% chance of producing double yield when under the effect of biscuits. Nice. And uh, double the amount of goods produced in plantations. Is plantation what we've got down here? Yeah, I think so, that's right? Plant yeah. yeah, I'll take that. Because we've literally got a plant... We, we, well, we don't have biscuits in production. We do have a plantation already there. And we can also have more people arriving. You guys bring... Yeah, give me more leather. Fine, done. Uh, meaning we also need more housing to keep us going as well. I just have some more houses at the edge of town over here. Make sure they're safely inside the uh, toasty bit of town. That people get very angry if they're not officially in toasty town. Through my houses should be Fair. enough, given they are like extra overcrowded houses. So okay, we're producing ah. building materials. Trade goods should now start being produced. The leech brood mothers that are in the bottom left glade yes. also have a chance of producing leather when you harvest them. Oh, well, that's kind of important because in that case, you, buddy, where is the hunty man camp? There you go. Right, you guys, get over to here. Yeah, that's this looks like it's good quality meat as well. Don't know precisely how it's calculated, but it's saying it's good quality meat. And mm. speaking of which, we need, yeah, more people working in these. You can have another person working in there too. You can, what is, how do we produce jerky? We have no meat and no insects in which to produce jerky right now. So don't even worry about that. And skewers can be made out of, can be made out of jerky. And also mushrooms. I mean... You were just saying she was selling mushrooms. Cheap ass mushrooms. I mean, it might, it might, we might just be able to cheat our way over the line of Utopia. Like, we might just be able to do it. Like, sell, sell her more parts. Sell her more parts. We, we probably don't need these anymore. It's fine. And then, like, one, one, one of you. Congratulations. There we go. Nice. Done. Whatever. Right. So now you can make, you can also make skewers out of mushrooms. Yeah, that's fine. And not jerk. Don't use the jerky. But you can also use eggs, berries, or roots. Turn on everything. Uh, use literally anything you want. And then... Well, the cellar does have eggs. Mm. If we're at, if we don't have anything, you're right, cock it. Let's let's make this happen. Let's 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 just make this happen here. We don't need any of this stuff. We don't need any of of of. The... We have thirty tools. 
just give her all of the money and then like give her give her a tiny bit of extra a tiny bit of extra yep done done right there we go eggs eggs will be fine and also set up one tiny uh vegetable harvesting Ooh, wait a minute the bigger nodes that have the stars like yeah. the 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 meat at the bottom yes uh they are good they are better but they require upgraded camps this is an upgraded camp Oh, is it? Okay, sorry, my I bad. I think it is, it's highlighted. Well, it says an advanced camp, so yeah, that's exactly. fine. Yeah, exactly. It's not the basic camp. This is the more advanced one. And it literally, it is highlighted when we're over. Yeah, them, yeah, I no, I mean, I'm jets. sorry. I'm just, because that came up, so I thought, Yes. Yeah. Um, why can the small foragers camp not harvest vegetables? Surely the small foragers camp can harvest. Well, it's saying over here is where it actually wants to be. I do not know why you want to be... Okay, fine, you can harvest... Is, don't that. these trees just give you shit when you cut them down? That's true. Trees do just give me shit when they when I chop them down. Maybe is... that needs an advance. That's a large patch. Ah, you need an advance. Yeah, fine, and we don't have the advanced building. Yep, good spot. That'll be what that is. <laughs> so, okay. Oof. Keep on keeping on. We just need to get the trade goods under production, which should now actually be starting to happen. Should now actually be starting to happen. The trade goods should come in. The ancient tablets should be done in a matter of minutes. We're still in drizzle on us. We've got all of summer before we've got to worry about the storm again. This is starting to look pretty good. Yeah. All right, clap. While we're just waiting for everything to come together here. Indeed. Shout out to Ro, uh, who gave us five pounds and says, Yay, I'm glad that you're playing this. Uh, oh, that you're playing more of this. Sorry. Also, how are all of you? Oh, I think we're doing pretty well. Pretty well. Well, we've got a very sleepy puppy at the back of the room. Extraordinarily so sleepy puppy. That means we're doing good. Uh, please tell them the story of how uh, he won the, the Time Master Scepter last time. Uh, yes, at, at prox I think this was a, a three days ago. Uh, at a 1 a.m., I was playing Civ, Civ 6, and Ted was on the sofa behind me. And basically, at just about 1 a.m., which is kind of the time we agree we, need, we should stop playing Civ 6, but I wasn't play, stopping playing Civ 6. Ken kind of got, he was like sat down to me, going, <laughs> and I think it was just because he wanted to go outside and have his evening wee. But like, it, it sounded like he was like, John, John, come on, seriously, stop it. You shouldn't be playing Civ 6. <laughs> So we had, we decided officially that the, the Clockmaster Scepter, which normally gets awarded to either me or Claire, whichever of us is more responsible with going to bed at a sensible time, on should, a on that, day. On, should, that, should on that day be awarded to Ted. And get the bakery out so we can start having a look see how we might theoretically make pie. Because jerky is being fulfilled nicely. That's good. Uh, yeah, but you're right that it does go up and down and they need to be all at the same time, which yeah. is quite hard. That's that's why utopia is a nightmare. Before. That's why utopia is a nightmare. We do have. I think we've just found an extra trader, just an extra trader who is in this glade, which is exciting. Ooh. So okay, that's you know what I wouldn't mind just taking a giant pile of meat for free, like straight up. I I'm happy to take a giant pile of meat for nothing. Uh uh, it's it's cheap. It's actually cheap. Well, um, look, look at what else is available and what's at the bottom, though, because... Oil production is... Uh, we do have some oil production going on. Scouts can open chest 40% faster. Kind of interesting. Crystal growth, crystallized dew production. I, I, I'm i not excited about any of that. I'd rather just take a giant pile of the foods and I will trade you tools for those. That will not take many at all. Like, yeah. 11 tools for 40 meat done like just just for just for an influx of meat i will take that and you're gonna also chop down this pretty soon uh we've got a giant pile of yeah there we go and now it's summer officially we have berries and we have threads coming in the farm is doing very very nicely there so that's all looking good we've still got literally this so pretty it is it's very old school seriously where the cock is the, the the trade goods just why are trade goods disappearing did, did you did you not no there's no there's, there's no no limit where are the trade goods going why are we why are we still on zero oh there it is it's gone up to it's got it jumped up to four now it was on it was on zero for bloody ages but once this it's starts four going each. up Huh? Because it goes, yes. you know, we have two and so Yeah, but it, it was on zero on both no, of them. No, it was on zero on both of them. That is true. And we can also choose another blueprint. We've got another building coming in. A temple! We don't need a temple. We've got a punching temple. 
Uh, we could also have a tavern for serving booze. We don't really have the ability to make much booze right now. We have right a brewery now. next to it. Yeah, but if we do that, we won't have a tavern to serve it in. Yeah. Ted's going for a, Ted uh, having Ted's a drink. Gone Ted's going for a drink. Going for a drink. I mean, I kind of what I want to do is I want to have the other. T I want to also have a temple on the other side of town, so we can like have a bit of a religious war going on. <laughs> I'm, I'm having another temple. I'm having I'm having temple two. So we're having a temple and a clan hall right here, just so we kind of hello Ted. Yes, good boy. Uh, so we can just have a little. Uh, we just have uh, another one over here. The problem we've got here. Yeah, is... does that need to be in the uh, in the warmth? Maybe like it could it could it could not be as like you know an example of the the virtue of being cold. Well, are you able to move those benches at all? There you go. Okay, we're just moving the the benches in front of some in front of. The it, door of a house. The virtue of hurdling. All right, we have some very specific religious beliefs in this society. There are the. This is represents the virtue of hurdling, and we'll just pop that there. Here we go. The the giant church, right in the centre. That just needs a handful more. I think it was we were mass missing in. No, never mind. They got everything. They got everything. Right. So now we've got two competing religions. There we go. We've got the we've got the cult of Teddy versus the cult of Tabby. <gasps> I know you've got to choose. You're not welcome in both. I know. Look what I've just created. This I am a high priestess of both. We've. I am like you. Finally, the ancient the cocking UC tablet. The... the cocking tab. Finally, the cocking tablet, which also gets us eggs, berries, and wildfire essence, which I assume I can burn in the fire, right? I mean, that sounds no, like what a does wildfire, thing. What does wildfire essence do precisely? This rare material could be used to light the holy flame in half. Oh, you need it to start new halves. Right. If you want to start a new half, then, yeah, if you want to build a new one, yeah. say, like, over here, then you need it. But I think this society is going to be more or less wrapped up, mostly staying within the range of this half. Though I think, like, if you've got, say, lots of workers off somewhere else, then you could just, like, use them elsewhere. It's another cocky trader. Yeah. This time it's a fox person. Let's see ya. So you, sir, are selling anything good down over here? Scroll production. Uh, lowest hostility by 50 points. Nice. This kind of tempting, actually. I mean, I don't need the other ancient tablets, to be honest. They're worth it. I mean, I've already sold the one we needed. So I'm, I'm happy to just, yeah, sell you uh, sell you a couple of uh, couple of tablets here. Get you down to, like, 16 odd. Yeah, fine. Dumb. Yep, yeah. fine. Give me the... Every time two villagers die, reduction hostility. No, people aren't going to die. My society doesn't have death in it. Yes, re reduce hostility, please. There we go. That's down a bit now. Good, 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 good. So, do you need any other things you're really selling? To be honest, no. I kind of don't. I, I don't think. I don't look at this and think, yeah, those are things I need. I'm, I'm happy just to, to let you be. In that case, so yeah, we're good. We're, we're golden. We're just sort of, uh, we're just waiting on a little bit more fabric. You can produce a bit more fabric. Feel free to, yeah, we're swimming in fabric now. Yeah. So you guys plant. can now produce fabric, and we should have more than enough uh, training gear. I'm willing to lower the limit of that to 30, which should be plenty for the need for dueling. Yeah, people are literally abusing nice. the dueling. I think it's performative dueling. And. Uh, Okay, we've just discovered some new threats. Oh, we've discovered, we've discovered, I think, I think we've just opened two dangerous ones literally simultaneously, including nice. a giant spider cauldron. <gasps> it's, it's a steampunk oh, spider cauldron. It's a Baba Yaga cauldron. Yeah, pretty much. So, okay, we can burn it down with the oil or the coal or whatever that we've now got. That would lead to contaminated food. Yeah, food is going to massively slow down for the course of that four minutes or we can fix it what does it do if only rain punk cauldrons didn't go haywire so often they could be used to revolutionize agriculture spawns field snip Whoa. done yeah you know what we've got and we can use loads of shit yeah use the wildfire we're not using it for anything else then use these water skins mass producing yeah fix it let's get the cauldron on side We've got people just sitting. And it's called Rain Punk, which is very cool. Yeah, that's what this game all is all about. Uh, so okay, there is also a plantation here we could just fix up for just two planks. Done. Send in some humans and lizards to take care of that. Done. There's goods here. 
that we could send back to 0 0.75. I mean, the alternative is mushrooms, eggs. Oh, I did like mushrooms and eggs. Yeah, you know what? We need we need mushrooms, eggs, and oil is actually quite good. Yeah, oil is quite good. Yeah, oil is quite useful. So we'll break I that mean, one open. I mean, literally, we have no way of making any of those things. And a, a Harmony Spirit Altar. We could have burned down, but it would cause all species becoming way less resilient. Resolve drops 500% faster, Jesus. which is a problem because it's about to be storm time. So that would be bad. Or we could try and calm the spirits because if we don't do anything... Also, um, there's going to be some clean up. The skulls. There's a lot of skulls and evil masks, which worries me. What does it get us at the bottom there? Calm spirits, two to global resolve, and also counts as nine decorations of its type. I mean, that's good. I think we should do that, but we're going to need... We're going You're going to gonna get oil in a second. We're about to You're get, gonna get oil like in a second. You're going to get like 30 oil, so... In a second. And we, as long as we take care of this within nine minutes, it's fine. There is also a smelter here for the production of copper bars, training gear, and biscuits. Not really important, to be honest. Or we could just take biscuits, uh, which I am happy to just take. So we're just going to salvage that. That's fine. We'll just salvage you. Yeah, just Very get on nice. with that. And we've also got some more people here. Welcome new people, or seldom for citadel uh which is only 15 gold to be honest but we're swimming in people right now and we're so, not swimming in gold exactly to put too, not to put too fine a point on it yeah we'll just we'll just ship them to the citadel and our dark lady will do whatever it is she does with the people we um send to citadel and we don't ask questions we uh sell to her Ooh, look at oh, it go look at the dance it's beautiful hello it makes such a lovely dance and possibly it, it kills so people the nearby to it it's hard to say Everything's fine. We've received lots of goods. Oh, shit. Our mind just ran out. Oh, this could... Okay, we've got... Okay, slight issue. Yes. Our coal mine just ran out of coal. Okay. Now, the problem we've got here is we have not discovered any additional co sources of coal. Wait, hang on. Yes, we have. The Literally, we just <gasps> found one. Ooh, we literally just found them over here. Yeah, so we need to build another one stat. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of like move it. pretty, pretty high priority. Uh, actually, that just that's that is very lucky that happened right now. That's very lucky, and that also, was that John Luck right there. That is, yeah, that's that was wild right there. We we needed that because we're about to start burning. We're at level three unhappiness right now uh what have we got available wood oil etc etc i'm willing to sacrifice a small amount of coal just to lower the actually it's not making any difference it's not making any difference even now even when we're sacrificing coal we're still under the effect we're still under the full effects of all negative mm. there's nothing we can do um so that's unfortunate i appreciate everyone's really angry and upset right now um if I, if I do burn coal, does it make any difference? Hostility it, you reduced. You know what? It does a little bit. It, even though all the effects are still in play, hostility being at two rather than three is going to stop people from fleeing. And I think the coal is about to disappear. Ah, you can apparently upgrade the coal mines so they give you more coals. Okay, the problem we've now got is, yeah, now everyone's angry. Plantation has no farm fields nearby. Does it not? Blatantly. Oh, sorry, we need to actually tell it to... Uh, we need to construct fields nearby to here. And nearby to here. That's all absolutely fine. So that will become a lovely, lovely forest uh, down the line. Everyone's just building paths and getting on with it. It's almost the end of storm time. Nobody abandoned society. Nobody... Okay, one beaver's abandoned society. One beaver abandoned society. And now it's spring and everyone's happy because it's no longer the storm. We're getting there. Okay. We've almost produced enough trade goods to start turning in bits and pieces. Yeah, and we can start perks. turning in the thing of... Ooh, plus one to lizard resolve for every 70 training gear produced. Well, we are producing training mm, gear on an ongoing basis. True. Or gain jerky for every 10 pie produced. Yeah. Because I just built a bakery. There we go. Building for you, Claire. Thank you. Bakeries must have flour. They cannot function without flour. Flour is essential. And then you just pick what the filling is. Yeah, sure. Uh, so they can be, yeah, biscuits can have jam on top or can be like, have a little sprinkle of herbs. Yeah, rosemary biscuits. Yeah, makes something. sense. 
and ditto for pies. Don't worry about that. So we have to produce flour. But we do have a rain mill. Uh, buh, 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 buh. One rain mill produces flour. That's fine. So we'll just pop that round the back over here. Needs a tiny bit of extra uh, fabric. But we are literally producing fabric pretty fast right now. So that's absolutely fine. Society is functioning. We've almost produced enough cooking trade goods. That we can in... do the first delivery. And exactly. And then it'll go much faster. Exactly. Stop having a cup of tea. No cups of tea. There are so many unemployed people. If, like, if you need a cup of tea, get an intern to make it. Okay, trade goods becomes priority. Trade goods now becomes the I'm going to put trade goods at the top. It happens first. Then fabric happens. Then training gear happens. So now in the event... Oh, there it is! The Church of Ted is ready to go! And apparently lizards are also good in the Church of Ted. So there we go. The two, the two religions are now ready and here and waiting. Meaning as a result of that, yes, there is now hostilities reduced by 20. There we nice. go. Sacrificing multi resources at the same time will progress the effects timer. So okay, this is this is good. This is good. Newcomers are waiting to replace the beaver that left. What a dick. This is too many people. We don't have housing for these people. Um, screw it. Bring me plant fiber. And roots, which we need for pies and stuff. We do. But now there's now we need to come up with more. Can we just upgrade houses? People are suggesting we could just upgrade houses. But I'm not well, seeing okay, an upgrade button. You could just break down. Okay, we can do very deliver at least. That gets me bigger barrels, which was... Hang on, that was... Yeah, just bonus ale and just free wine. And free Very training nice. gear. Boom. Um, nice. But what was I going to say is, can't you break down the that forest? Yes. And then you'll be able to build houses within the that's forest true. range. But there's also uh, this building that's producing building materials. This building that's making bricks. Ah, we do still need those, actually. I think we've still got space to just squeeze in a few more houses. Like, just donced about here. Like, we can have, you know, just you over there. You can just be in the back streets over here. I think three houses will do just fine. We're getting a little bit it's a little bit a little bit slummy. A little bit slummy, but it's all fine. I, I, higgledy piggledy. Higgledy piggledy. That's a nice way of saying slum. Uh oh. What? Okay, so remember how people said to us whatever happens, make sure the fire never goes out. You let the fire go out, didn't you? I'm not gonna say I let the fire go out. I'm just gonna say it happens. Um but... Accept wood as an acceptable fire source. And we no longer need to worry about impatience. So lizards can now take over the fire duty. Because humans just seriously fucked it. Right there. Humans massively fucked that. So okay, we're now... We're now How, do, do we need to do anything special to restart it? Because we have that fire... You'd think so. But it's hard to say. It's hard to, to say what the... We, we, we need to deliver... We, I've, I've, I've asked them to deliver fuel. I think someone's going to get get fuel. There, there we, yeah, we go! It came back on. It came back on. It came back on. We're going to have more coal arriving so soon. But I say that. Oh, it, this, the, the reason is because the old coal mine's not done. We're, d we're slowly delivering shit to the old coal mine. It's... Oh, no. Oh, shit! So remember how I sold parts and said we don't need parts anymore? Because cause we, we definitely don't need parts. And I sold all the parts. Yeah. And I encouraged you. You did encourage me. And you know how one of the special conditions is I can't break down buildings to get their sh Oh, also there's a dinosaur here. Hello. It's a fishman soothsayer. Hello, fishman sooth. We'll get back to the fishman soothsayer in a second. Unless he's made of parts. Do we have oil to... Where the cock is that oil? We're supposed to be getting oil from somewhere. Where was the oil coming from? I swear we had a special event somewhere. With oil. That was no, supposed that to be true. generating oil. I mean, we're also supposed to be producing oil here. But I don't really know what happened. To, what happened to the oil? I swear we had oil coming in from somewhere. We had a special event that was going to yield... Maybe it was here. Yes, there was all this oil here. All this oil... These guys just need to gather this oil. Gather this oil. And then, yeah, that oil, I think, is being taken back to base right now. And then we can... Because in, in, in three minutes... Oh, oh. This takes four minutes, and the negative effect's going to trigger in three. Lol? Question mark? It's fine. We can deal with it... 
before the next storm. And if there's one impatience point, it's fine. Wait, wait, wait. So what? Uh, yeah. We can spend. Oh I, no, I've got the amber for this. I I am willing to. This is fine. Just send people to go and do this. Do it as soon as possible. We just need to. Where is the cooking oil? Where is the oil? Just just get the oil in here. Get the oil in here. Everything. There is zero oil in there. I don't know where the oil is. The oil should be arriving. It's been... Is the oil being burnt like in the hearth or? No, oil is not an acceptable. Fuck. Okay. That okay. That what they were doing is they were burning the oil that we need to to soothe the spirits. So okay, that's that's the thing. Don't stop burning the oil. Um. What we need instead is you can just be deactivated because you're not doing anything anymore. There is also what the cock's going on over here. There's a forester's hut. That's not dangerous. Don't worry about it. What's more concerning is the fisherman soothsayer, who in nine minutes is about to start messing shit up. So either rain sorcery, hostilities increased to plus 75 for every scout in your settlement. This includes idle scouts and workers assigned to this event. Okay. So that would lead to stuff or capture, which leads to the compass of the civilized world is disgusting and natural to the fishmen. Every time ten complex food clothings or service items are fulfilled, two random villages are killed. What? But only for the course of four minutes. And like we don't provide clothes for people, so that's fine. Yes, we're going to capture the fishman and ship him back to our dark lady. we we do have enough we do have enough. Training gear, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's a okay. We can just turn that on. That should be empowered, right? Yeah. Now it's on. Yes. I want you to use that. Yeah, yeah use okay. that. Use that one. Go and capture the fish man. Deploy beavers with beating sticks. We shall send him back to the capital and ex and exhibit him in a zoo. There we go. Go and capture the fish man. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Oh, oh, oh! He's 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 angry. He's angry. We did that. He's doing blood sorcery. So people, some people might die, but we have spare What's people. What's this guy? That is just a forester's hut. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. We can rebuild it to produce resin. Okay, fine. It's whatever. not really that relevant. So he's doing blood magic because I just deployed some beavers with sticks to go and beat the shit out of him. But like, honestly, I think that's fine. Here he goes. And whack, whack, whack. Yeah, we just whacked him with those sticks. Now we have to go and get more. But we're working on it. It's, it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress right now. We're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting we're getting there. We, I say we're getting there. Uh, how did you end up with nineteen idle people? It's it's hard to say. Um, we're gonna go send this to the citadel. That's a free reputation point. I think we just need to wrap up this society. Um, because there's but there's no resources here. Everything's fine. We just need more. Oh, there was some blood magic. The blood magic just killed two people. They were wearing too many clothes or ate too many biscuits. That's yeah. That guy's dead. He he ate a biscuit and I think as a result he he died. I um, think it must be the eating of biscuits because they don't have clothes. Yeah, exactly. The, the society has become too decadent and now it eats biscuits and not just like mud. And as a result, the the fishmen are have turned on us. And that's fair. That's fair and reasonable. Um. Okay. The problem is, in also, the fishmen are casting their blood magic, and also in 60 seconds, uh, chaos is about to happen. Uh, which is fine. That's fine. And one impatience point. Yes. I mean, I think we're actually, I think the, they are actually, I think they've actually gathered enough uh, oil to they've finally. They've now started. They've started working on this, but they're not going to get it done no, before the course. chaos happens. But, like, when, when the calm spirits do kick off, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. Also, we can actually have... Yeah, you guys can work these farms uh, starting next year. Oh, that was more blood magic. That that person was decadent. He ate a biscuit. He did, he really brought this on himself when you think about it. Um, I mean, you did have 19 idle people, so... It's true. We don't... You, yeah, you think I care about these dead people? I have... So I Literally, you're doing me a favor. You're reducing the overpopulation crisis. <laughs> yeah, do your stupid blood magic. You stupid bastard. Ah, life is good. Right, everything is fine. Uh, everyone... Were there any of these people important, by the way? I don't think they were doing important jobs. No, as long as no one is doing an important job, 
is dead, then uh, honestly... Who was... Uh, is anyone still building the mine? Oh, wait, no, we can't build the we mine. We literally can't we're... build the mine because we, we sold all of our parts. What we should do is uh, yeah. call immediately and see if maybe we can buy some parts. If we can buy one part, we can get uh, coal back in. Because, okay, here's the thing. Now we have no coal. Or, like, okay, how much coal do we have left over spare? I assume none because we burnt it during the last storm. Yes, we have none. So what we've got is we have no wood spare. We have no coal spare. We have no sea marrow spare. We do have oil, but we kind of are using it to ward off Satan. So as what a result, are we actually actively fueling the fire with right now? Wood as it's been collected. Oh, I see. That's literally all we've got. <laughs> That's bad. And the storm arrives in, in a minute and a half. Yeah, I can see how that's an issue. It's not an issue. It's fine. It's just it's it's a, it's a mild mild problem. Is that, yeah, there is we that... go. We've got a new thing. A guild house. Look, where people can oh, let's add some flipping income inequality into our society, Claire. Good. We can we can add where people can fulfill their need for luxury. So okay, or a particular nice house, either for humans or for beavers. We've got well, a lot beavers, of coffee beavers. Yeah. We have so many beavers. Yes. We're going to take beaver houses. And uh, your merchant's here. That is true. My merchant did just arrive. We can just about fit maybe a couple of... Okay. We're, what we're going to have to do... What we're going to have to do, right, is we're just going to have to create some slightly more efficient human, human, housing, human housing space. Why are you not... Move! Does it need to be not paused to move? I don't know what you can just go over there. That's fine. We're just gonna squeeze, squeeze a few more, squeeze a few more houses in over here. There we go. That looks cozy. That's now that's higgledy piggledy. Indeed. Not 100% sure how they're supposed to like you know get out of their houses or whatever. Get out. Oh, well, you need to you need wood to move them. It says you can't afford to move them. Oh, I'm am I burning wood right now? Oh, that's bad. Well, on the plus side, these houses are built out of planks, not wood, which is the one thing we do actually have. So you know what? We're just gonna put some beaver, put some nice, sexy beaver houses in. So the beavers will be happy. Um, okay. Uh, how's how's what happened with the chaos? By the way, is chaos happening? By the way, oh, chaos is still occurring and will be occurring for next. Okay, so. Chaos is currently underway, so that's a minus five to happiness everywhere. The lizard is still doing blood magic and will be doing for the next 30 seconds. Um, and and also we've got basically got no fuel for the fire and it is going to be the storm in Yeah, but 20 you seconds. have you have your you have your beaver trader right here. Oh, you can He's not selling parts. He's selling oil. He's selling coal, is what he's selling. Coal is the most efficient fuel. Fuck it buy all the coal. What are the perks he's selling? D I I'm not sure that's relevant, but Glade events can carry more items. Copper bar production well, fine. and barrel production. I was just production. double checking. You know what? Worker carrying more Glade events isn't terrible. I'll take that. Um, especially as I'm willing to sell. I don't know where this crystallized juice is coming from, to be honest, but... The trees. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm happy to sell all of it. That's fine. I'm, I'll trade it for coal. I, I literally will trade it for fuel. We've now got that. What is that, by the way? Purging fire. Ooh. Apparently, blight rot, sit, blight rot, blight rot cysts are a thing that exists. Mm. I don't know what that is, but that's that's a thing. Well, uh, there's oil and there's those big skulls. There is the oil. I think we should just buy everything with, that's here that's a fuel. To be honest, I, I think that's that's sensible. Um, I'll trade you, yeah, one one ancient tablet and then just some money. Uh, yeah, dumb. Okay. Now at least we have, we have at least got some fuel. Oh, you have an order you can complete, apparently. Uh, we've got one more. Oh, we finally, finally got enough cooking everything over here. Good. Let's look at that. So, okay. This means the only order that exists now is Utopia. Meaning everything else is now pretty much up to delivering goods. So, like, for example, we're working... This is... This in... Yeah, in 13 seconds, we get another point. So, at this point, pretty much, we're going to wrap things up by... Could you please just beat this man to death with your weapons? I gave you so many weapons. Just beat him to death and send him to a zoo so we can laugh at him. Please. I'm not 
asking for much here, guys. Um, if I put the coal in here, it makes a big difference to the level that they're under. I think it's worth it. Just keep an eye on... Ah. I think we simultaneously resolved two events. The pie thing? No, not the Python. No, that's an order. I think we have. Uh, I think we must have resolved two events. I think we resolved two events. Also, apparently we're dropping a few frames at the minute. That's weird. Sorry oh. about that. If we've sorry if we've been dropping some frames and we've been a slightly stuttery show today. Uh, unusual. I don't know what. Yeah, nobody's mentioned that specifically in chat. No one's mentioned that, but I am seeing it happening a little bit. So sorry about that if that's oh. been the case at all. So okay, I think what happened was yeah, two events out in the the glades. We just resolved two of them simultaneously. So right, abandon this. <laughs> now we've got parts as a reward and bread. No, that's machinery. Oh, for sorry. Not parts, which is a different thing. Uh, that's what we spent. So okay, um, so long, losers. Enjoy the storm and the blood magic and the chaos. I'm going back to like canoodle with the queen. Uh, you you have fun. Uh, you stupid losers. So we also picked up yeah some extra deeds which we can turn in as well, which is good. So back to the world map. So long, stupid losers. So, yeah, the fisherman gave one favor and the dinosaur gave the other. So, all right, royal resupply. And as a result of that, many who have entered these lands never came back. As is tradition, you can petition the crown for a resupply. So, okay. Vision and embarkation range are increased by two until your next settlement. So, okay, we can go much further. Uh, the crown can easily temper the ambitions of even the most successful viceroys. Four reserve embarkation points. No, embarkation points are not that useful. The range is way more interesting. And the box has no lid. It can only be shattered. Uh, they say opening it before the time is right is one of the most painful ways to part with this world. Five seal fragments, which I think I spend on... No, yeah, closing seals, but we're not going to get to a seal because we're not even going towards one, to be honest. I'll take caravan wagons. So now, oh, that's more cocking like it. Now we've got some flipping stuff going on. So okay, don't worry about that for now. Just, just ignore all of that. Let's, let's go, let's go canoodle with the lady, because uh, I've got deeds to turn in. So yeah, just the things that I've done. Rolling in wealth, a coral forest. That was my first time in the coral forest. Uh, my first time doing the corrosive torrents. I'm still level five, so that's all absolutely fine. Back out of that. Uh, go home. I've, I've got a home. Occasionally, Aunt Laurie shows up. She 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 just exists in my hand. If isn't my favourite net, this is yeah, she's my aunt. Hello, I'm your only nephew. Apparently, we have reason to celebrate. You've established your first successful settlement. No, no, that was my second. Well, this one wasn't successful. You're right. I've done one successful, one unsuccessful. Let's let's just say that much. So yeah, we we abandon. You're right. We did abandon those people the moment they were about to die. But like, we don't know that. Like, yeah, I like the change of scenery and, and the, the, the the screams becoming more distant as you get further and further away from the society I destroyed. So there we are. That's fine. Getting used to this new life quite quickly. Maybe someday you'll join our brothers and sisters on the frontier in the never-ending fight against the sealed ones. Okay, that's fine. Right, over to the McJibble. So yes, now what I've got is I've got food stockpiles and machinery. And I can use those to unlock new things, making my societies more interesting going forward. And uh, machinery in particular is interesting. So yes, that kind of unlocks special things. Like, you know, you need machinery for certain things. So all resource nodes gain a permanent plus one to available charges. Interesting. And also essential blueprint. Ah, we'll just be able to build human houses going forward so we can just have yeah it'll be a starter it'll building, just be a starter right? building which nice. is really cool uh alternatively i was to go up this path i could afford both of these so minus two reduction to fuel consumption halves fine especially as it starts stacking then keep going in that direction plus one cornerstone reroll charge per settlement so if i don't like the cornerstones i can just get mm. different ones kind of okay move up in towards this direction pay amber to reroll blueprints that's interesting, isn't it? That's quite good. Yeah. Uh, more embarkation points, so resources and bonuses before you start a new settlement. That's kind of nice. Over on this side, uh, upgrade your halves to... Ah, the next level of things. So this is... This nice. Is, I couldn't do this previously. Uh, meanwhile, over to here. Trader, traders arrive faster. Establish trade routes with other nearby settlements. Do you really know what that means? But that's sort of interesting sounding. Yeah, you know what? We could trade with our old settlements. I'm going to unlock that. 
So now I've got 27 and 11. And you know what? Human houses. I like the idea of not having permanent human houses. It's just, you know, having a permanent thing. So yeah, if you just go up, yeah, that leads into beaver houses over on the side. You can choose different things to take with you as you embark. Honestly, oh, you know, extra villagers as an option. It kind of feels Ooh, more useful. Nice. Then again, yeah. by, the end, by the end of the game, you're always swimming in more people than you need. So it kind of feels like that's, that's a bit of a waste in a way. Additional options choose from when picking cornerstones. <sighs> That's good, actually. Mm, okay. yeah. Three rather than two is a huge increase. Well, yeah, absolutely. That's that's a really big increase. And that's only 12. It's only 12, but it would also mean I couldn't afford the human house. Yeah. What's the other 12 right here? The other 12 is... that's the, uh, that, yes, the, the that extra, was extra villages. villages. You're not keen on Or there's that. the 18 over here for, yeah, my halves being able to go up to level 2 as opposed to just the level mm. 1. Which is sort of okay. Kind of leading in the direction of uh, mines and access ore veins on deeper levels. Interesting. And that's, yeah, five planks. Uh, embarkation goods are just not that interesting as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you know what? Cor cornerstone pool increase. I'll take that. And then, sure, I'll take villagers. Just so, if nothing else, it lets you move up that tech tree. Yeah, eventually yeah, eventually you're yeah, going yeah, to want yeah, to. Of course, of course. So, yeah, you can just kind of spend your resources in that sort of a space, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, nice. now when you go forward, you're going to be even stronger. So, back we go. Ah, no, no. uh, in the first minutes, a few villagers are extremely useful. Yes. I mean, I think, That yeah. I agree. That I agree with. Mm. So, okay. There's also, yeah, we do have... Oh! Yes. Shout out to Chris, who says there is literally an achievement for completing a settlement and leaving it with multiple unsolved dangerous events Long. ongoing. Yeah, I thought you'd enjoy that. Okay, there is a fish... There's a fishman ritual site that's right next to Blight Watch. Marvelously, a holy site for the fishermen. No one dares pass through here. Orders are disabled? Wait, what? Like, if you don't have orders, how on earth would you do anything? Like, where would you get the reputation from? Like, orders represent a good at least 50% of all the reputation I get. Like, isn't a much bigger map and thus the, like, the, the, glade, the glade rewards are way more generous? That's kind of wild, actually. Uh, no, 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 thank you. Ooh, abandoned settlement. Another Viceroy tried to settle this area, but failed. You start with a small destroyed settlement in your initial glade. That's interesting for storytelling purposes, if if nothing else. Over on this side, though, there is the, Scar the Scarlet Orchard, which I haven't been into before. But that's like, uh, yeah, royal archaeologists and buried mysteries. So you can, like, do yeah. ancient excavation sites. Without orders, you gain reputation from high resolve and loot crates. Uh, I'm bad at maintaining high resolve. My society Fishman generally ritual, collapse. Fishman ritual site is brutal this early on. Yeah, let's. I, I agree. Mm. This, this sounds like a, a, to be avoided. This game is not generally as relaxed as you've been playing it so far. Lol. Okay, I, I could I could see myself being sort of uh, interested in. Maybe just that. oh yeah okay I see it. but look look at the rewards if I'm here the rewards just like yeah some food and some what but if you do the royal fishman you get the good shit yeah right so the tougher that if you go up against tough events then as a result of that yes you get uh you get way you get way 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 nicer stuff but I kind of wouldn't mind kind of you know moseying in the direction of a scarlet orchard yeah very that's only nice. half nine we've got time to do another one yeah of so course. Yeah, this is archaeology on this occasion. So, yeah, we're going to mosey down in this direction. Now, can I actually change my... No, I can't change my starting people by the looks of it. It looks like these are my... Wait, those, those are my caravans. So, is that... Yes, this is what the caravans are bringing along. But I can't change these, I don't think. So, right. Royal Archaeologists. I gain a new essential building, Archaeologist's Office. And I can do digging. The trees, meanwhile, are a bit... Yes, everything's a bit different around here. We've got, like, way more resources, but we're missing some of the stuff we had before. So, if I, like... If I go, like, over here, say, can I get any more... No, if I'm in the Scarlet, then that's all I've got, because there's no other events around here. So, yeah, we'll just go into... We'll go into you. That's fine. 
And yeah, 14 and 14. Also getting a giant pile of experience. That's absolutely fine. So yeah, we've just got we're just gonna be doing digging. We're gonna be doing some digging, Very and there's nice. gonna be a random selection of bits and pieces. We can also have, yes, some new villagers chosen at random. And we can have uh check the natural resources here. So what do we actually you know what this is interesting? We've got stone and copper. Uh stone and copper. There'll be stone and copper around. But still also no clay. Mm. No clay again. Um, there'll be eggs, there'll be herbs, there will be no meat. There will be no meat on this occasion. So, yeah, I'll take yeah, a Yeah, people are saying you pick which cow run you want out of the two. Oh, hang on, yes, okay, I see, I'm clicking on, I'm clicking on the, the, on the differences. Okay. So that top one gives you meat, which you don't have otherwise, but that bottom one gives you what, bricks and people. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I, I'll take a harpy. She yeah, we've not played with harpies before. I don't think we, we get to play with her. I think she's just around. I think possibly oh, new, is... unlocking new species is a thing like further up the tech tree back at the, uh, the enough, volcano sits down. Yeah, we'll take you though. You sound fun. That's fine. So yeah, we'll take you. Right. So I'm. I select which caravans. I did not get that. Right. Sorry. I thought those. I thought those were me. Um, and I'll also take a little bit of just a bit of wood to start us off and some eggs sure why not right let's see what's going on down in the scarlet boneyard which kind of sounds a bit like kayla's in elden ring which scares me conceptually so everything's going to be everything's going to be fine so okay here we go scarlet Ooh, that's no nice. harpies are a new villager type look oh do we have the oh okay Hi, what do you do? Noble and fragile species. Oh, it's like me. Noble but fragile. <laughs> I love you. Claire's more like a lizard. Like, you know, smashes stuff with a hammer and enjoys meat. Good with fire. Okay, who is good with the Whereas crops? I am is noble that... but fragile. I am a noble harpy soaring above Claire in yeah. her lizard pit. <laughs> Good at alchemy and cloth, like all those baking and sewing videos you made. I didn't say I was a good harpy. I just said I'm noble but fragile. A noble, yeah, fragile well, I fairy. Think I'm, you know, I think I'm a beaver because that's a woodworker. And I think I'm the human because that's the ones that do the, the, the growing of food around here. Uh-huh. So, okay. They good at alchemy and what? Okay. Ah. Harpy Firekeeper Ooh. is really powerful, increases everyone's carrying capacity. That's interesting. That's Let's have a look. Yeah, so she started that by default. So, yeah, a global carry capacity increased by five. The beaver is fuel consumption down by 20. Oh, we should have gone over to beaver in the last <laughs> Yeah. Or this is, yeah, bonus, excuse me, to global resolve. But no, I agree. Harpy Firekeeper seems like a good starting point. We might change. We've also got over here, these are root deposits. So, okay, we've got, like, roots, and we'll also be gaining some herbs at the same time. So, as that's literally what's kind of, you know, chilling out right here. Uh, do we have anything better for gathering roots than just the small foragers camp? It's, I think we've just got the small crude version, uh, unfortunately. Small foragers camp there. I don't think we've got anything else that works for that. Hang on, if I actually hover over these, can I... Yes, because you can see which ah, one's yes, So a forager's camp will be two star, but we've only got a small forager's camp. So honestly, we may as well get that underway. Like, you know, get that going. That's absolutely fine. And then obviously, you know, a natural starting point you're never going to not do is just a woodcutter's uh, thing. So we'll just get that and we'll just kind of cut through into our first glade over here. Uh, these are all fine. And ah, yes, trade routes. Trade routes that we did just activate as a new tech. Once you've got a trading post in your settlement, you can access trade routes that allow you to export goods to near other boy settlements in exchange for the main currency of the realm, Amber. So, okay, I can start routinely shipping things on an ongoing basis in order to get some gold back. So, that's that's kind of interesting. And then, honestly, I feel like there's no reason not to just have two woodcutters camp straight away. Like, you're never not going to want two woodcutters camps so yeah there's another one over here especially as i literally did just take like you know i've, I've got bonus villagers that's fine luckily i do still have you know some 
some beavers, which is good. And then, you know what? We may as well lay down the... Actually, don't lay down the schematics for the shelters, because otherwise the wood might go for them first. So we've got this lovely little half piece here. Oh, they're adorable. Very adorable. They kind of look like they're not... Like they're, they're wearing... Like, they're just... They're normal people. Normal booby people. But they're wearing giant swan costumes. Which is kind of odd. But whatever. Um, so, okay. Also, the effects are... Hang on. Cricket mating ground. So, right. 30 insects at every discovered glade. During drizzle. And sun festivities. So, forest mystery... Again, active during drizzle, active from hostility zero. Villagers with this effect have 20% chance of doubling the yield with each production cycle. So to gain it, fulfill the following need, complex food. Oh, okay, we don't know. We're not going to have complex food for a while. But right, the point is, during drizzle, that's when we get giant pile. Okay, so we're going to have loads of insects coming in. That's something worth considering. So, right, beaver and beaver and one harpy and one beaver. And one harpy and another harpy will leave the lizard because I'm pretty sure lizards are good at gathering, but I don't, I think that's like meat gathering. I'm not sure they're going to be good at root gathering. So let's just get this up as well, which is marvelous. And yes, you know, no one's good at that. So one harpy, you know what? Use all the harpies for now. Right. We know we have the one idea that well, the one thing we've got that's good is giant piles of insects. Every time we open a glade, insects come flying in. And we know what's going on. So, right, let's let's pick our starting buildings here. Starting buildings. So, right. We know that harpies are good at... Uh, they're very good at working with cloth. So, we might want to consider, therefore, as a possibility... Clothes. Maybe the leather worker, because it produces more things at, at better efficiency... But that's that wouldn't be a benefit. Working with cloth. Is ah, leather sorry. A, is leather a cloth? Ooh. I'm not sure leather's a cloth. A fabric would be a cloth. Maybe the tooltip? Uh, also, hang on. No, we don't have range right now. Until we've got the range, we know the leather workers really struggle because you need leather for the leather work and we don't have a source of leather right now. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Sorry. So, but, ah, but yeah, we can look into this a little bit more. Ah, okay. That's, I did not realize that was a thing, so that's kind of useful. But yeah, without leather, the leather worker struggles. So until we've got a source of leather, I wouldn't want to pick the leather mm. worker. Meanwhile, yeah, producing clothes, uh, which are used as clothing by some villagers. Uh, so yes, coats, water skins. Again, this is kind of leather tied, isn't it? Until I wouldn't want to take that until we've got the leathers. Provisioner is not bad. I mean, yeah. If you're, you're, you're going to need flour sooner or later. And it, and it would be weird flour. to take bak bakery without a solid flour production. And we can make flour out of roots, which we've got plenty Ooh. of. Oh! Yeah. That's so good. Thank you. That's so good. Foster. Yes. Points out buildings are color coded by their roofs. Uh, so, uh, the roofs are color coded by race, hobby, like purple buildings. It matches their home color. Eh. Okay, so as I expected, yeah, not the leather worker, but yes, to the cloth. Uh, so, okay, we'll take provisioner because we could actually produce flour there, mm. but not the best selection. Okay, ooh, distillery. Can produce wine. A pack of provisions are required for trade routes, so I think the chat agreed with you anyway. Yeah. Ooh, a bathhouse. Like, I wonder if that's like the euphemistic bathhouse or like an actual house with baths oh. in it. It's kind of hard to say. Um... G fulfills their need for treatment. I sounds mean... like, that sounds like a euphemism to me. Passive effects, regular baths, and good health. I feel like we might be a little bit early to be thinking about bathhouses in our society. Like brickyard is sort of interesting because being able to you know produce bricks highly efficiently, but produce bricks out of can produce bricks out of stone. Which is good. Pottery is off the table because there's no reliable source of clay. And crystallized dew is available from uh, herbs, which I'm pretty sure we do have. So, yeah, I'm going to take Brickyard. Uh, and then a good solid trapper's camp. Uh, there is in the society... 
Actually, interestingly, there is going to be no source of insects on the ground, aside from the insects we've just got yeah. flooding in from opening glades, which will do okay as a starting point, but that's worth but noting. But we also have a cookhouse. The trapper's camp's kind of useless here. Like, there's no meat to harvest, there's no insects to harvest. There will be eggs, but I don't want to take this building just for one resource. And then the plantation is never going to hurt because producing plant fibre and berries on farm. There's going to be farmland somewhere. There is actually a superior foragers camp here, hilarious, having just built the bad one, which is kind of delightful, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to take the plantation. The bathhouse is awful. So. I'm going to take the plantation. Yeah. We're going to find... We'll, we'll find some of that stuff sooner or later. So that's all absolutely fine. And now we've got the basics down here. Now we can just get some really simple just shelters down. And when I say really simple shelters... Um, you don't have any humans. No, I've got no humans! Lol. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, they'll come... They'll, they'll show up. They'll presumably. show up at some point. Sure. Let's just get two houses down straight away. Just so there's somewhere for these people to live. I might need a third one, actually, given I brought extra villagers and whatnot. So we'll have to see whether I actually need uh, another one down the line, too. Oh, that's cocking hilarious. Claire! Uh, yes, indeed. Siri says a good strategy is to wait until you have the first royal quest before choosing buildings so you know what you need. Oh, those... I, th I assumed the game didn't give you those until you'd picked the buildings. But mm. if it... Maybe they're on just a timer. And speaking of which, here we go. Three cornerstones, not two. Nice. Surprise, child! One lizard for every 25 <laughs> eggs produced. That's adorable. Uh, there are eggs around here. Now... There are also herb and roots, though, if you wanted to pick the spices. Three clay a minute just feels like so low. It's mm. not going to make up for a lack of actual clay production. I feel like that's never going to be working. So herb and root production goes up for every oh. 75 Whoa. biscuits produced. <sighs> oh, no. Yeah, you know what? Eggs do exist around here. Let's let's take the surprise child and just occasionally have a new lizard. Yeah, we're going to be producing. When we find eggs, we'll produce plenty of eggs as time goes by. So, okay, we've got houses coming up. Everything's going to be fine. We're just getting the basics and society. And, you know, we'll start making decisions as time goes by. Very soon we'll get. There we go. Here come the nice. orders. So, what we've got is keep the lizards happy above 10. They're currently at 5, but, you know, we're, we're literally building houses for them right now. Or complete any Glade event. So, honestly, this is kind of for the rewards. So, jerky is nice. Parts are nice. Four villages is nice. Meat is interesting, because any time the game gives you something as a one-off that you're not going to have a reliable supply of, I don't value that that highly. Mm. I think any Glade event. I'll take That's that. That's just easier. It just seems... It, and the reward just seems more interesting to me. Uh, have at least six harpies. I have eight. <laughs> okay. What does it give you? A bunch of clothes and... Uh, it gives me the herbalist camp Very and nice. 20 clothes. It's literally a freebie. Well, uh, yeah. The alternative is bonus to leather production and a trapper's camp. But I think I've already got a trapper's camp. And some insects. And some insects. I'm taking, I'm taking the freebie. Yeah, for sure. Sure, why not? Uh, and then... Keep beavers above 18 Oof. resolve. That's currently at 13. Beavers are happy, generally not too difficult to keep happy. Gets me more beavers, gets me roots, gets me parts. Alternatively, oh, build lizard houses and build harpy houses. But I literally do not have the ability yeah, to build that for many things. Yeah, so that's going to be very difficult. And then that increases meat production, but there's no meat production on this map. So, okay, we'll take beaver resolve in that case. Uh, so, okay. I'm literally just going to get... <laughs> yeah, if they don't leave... That's such a weird objective. They can't yeah, leave. They can't leave it. outside of Storm. They cannot leave outside of Storm. And Fine. speaking of which, here's a Glade event. Uh, so, okay. Send to the Citadel for 10 Amber and the Queen's Grace. Or break open for a box of grain and a pack of mushrooms. Uh, the problem being, we yeah, don't have anything do to actually do that. Whereas we do have... Wait, do we not have... Do we not bring tools? Weird. I thought we always had tools. Oh. I don't know why we did. I didn't choose to bring tools last time, but for some reason we don't have tools on this occasion. We got parts, 
but not tools. Okay, well, we literally can't do anything with that glade event for the time being. Yeah. So that's unfortunate. I'm not sure why we had tools. Like Maybe humans bring tools. Maybe tools maybe. are a human invention, like humans working with iron to fight the fairies in fairy tales. That glade has stone nodes, which you can use to break the chest open with, but... Yeah, As that's people true. are saying, obviously you want to wait until the impatience is a bit higher up before reducing the impatience. Yeah, but bare minimum, it's yeah. Though this is this is not a basic stone mat. A st basic stone camp is inefficient, but it will get the job done. So we'll definitely get that in place, especially if I've literally got people. Oh, who... your harpy thing is done. Huh? <laughs> it's so dumb, so so dumb. Well, there we go. That's that's an extra. That's an extra freebie. Right there. Now we've got an extra building. So, foragers camp showing up again. A herb garden for producing roots and herbs. A, a small farm for producing vegetables and grains. So, okay, we can... Multiple choices. And... Uh, wait. Do we already take... Hang on. We took the provisioner that produces... We took the provisioner that makes flour already, didn't we? I think so, yeah. Yes, we did. Okay. But wait, what was the... What was the... B -b 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 what were the rules for that? Oh, hang on. Where's the... Ah, okay. What did that use to make that? Do you remember? No, but... No, okay. But we don't want a rainbow. We've already got one source of flour. Let's take... You know what? This is a, a herby and rooty society. Let's take the herb yeah, garden. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. You... You have herbs and roots. Does that mean you can... You need the herb garden to gather them. Is that what you're saying? No. I need to gather at various, like, uh, the foraging camp. But I've already got a basic foraging camp to uh. gather them. However, I can also then grow my own. But that means oh, if I've got I them see. coming in for the wild and I'm also growing my own, it means I've got a huge influx of them, which means I can streamline them into yeah. goods we can mass produce. Because what I was going to say is maybe you want the farm because then you can produce shit you don't have. Yeah, but the thing is, do you yeah. want to specialise in a small number of goods that you can de you can say this is what our society is all about, or do you want to say flour comes from roots, grains, or mushrooms? But you know what? I will I will agree with you. Grain seems really useful, so I'll take basic small farm. Mm. I'll take basic small farm, and we'll see if and when we come across actual you know stuff we can use. But bare minimum. We've got Do let me know if I'm backseating, by the way. I really, I, I think this game is really fun, so that's why I'm like, yeah. you know. Okay, but so we're immediately, <laughs> immediately we're going to start gathering. Annoying. There we go. De delicate and noble. The delicate and noble booby feather women, just with their pickaxes. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the job they were supposed to be given, but whatever. So, okay. Everything mm. is fine. We're just opening up glades. We need to... Oh, the, 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 the beaver resolve is apparently just high enough. Wow, okay, we're flying through this one. This is, we're, we're amazing at this game, as it turns out. Abs mm -hmm. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely killing it. Even more options. Weavers. So, Weavers was pretty good last time. That was good. Uh, Kiln. Then again, should I maybe, like, hold off until the next set of orders come through? Like, yeah. do I need these buildings just yet? I don't think we... They, we absolutely they all do. seem kind of, They're like, all fancy. They're all pretty good. I think we should hold off until the next orders come in. And then we make our decision now because the game, you know, you don't have to. You can just wait. Yeah, fair I'm enough. I'm going to wait. Uh, because right now we don't know. We don't know what's out there. We don't know what's nearby. Maybe you focus on opening more glades then. Exactly. Yeah, agree. Well, while you focus on opening more glades, shout out to Mr. Mysterious who gave us five euros. Uh, and says, I just moved into my first Ooh. flat. Ooh. Something just, something just was here, then it disappeared. A treasure stag. Oh, I never get to the treasure stag inside. I saw this in the video. The treasure stag it appears, then it appears in a, a nearby glade, and you've got like to get to it in a certain period of time. There's no way in hell I'm cutting through all this in four minutes. Not gonna happen. Bad luck. I'm, I can't get there in that point. That's that's just bad luck, unfortunately. Claire. Um. Shout out to Mister Mysterious who uh, says I just moved. Into my uh, my first flat, living alone for the first time in 35 years. I was feeling a bit lonely. It's so nice to have a familiar voice in my ear. Oh, good. That sounds nice. That yes. sounds nice right there. Well, you know, I, I hope it turns out to feel good in some ways as well. Like, you know, I've lived alone for periods of time. It's, you know, there could be, there could be downsides to it. There could be nice bits about it. 
Mm -hmm. You know, there's. I, I hope you discover the nice bit soon. Ah. It's not bad. The Binguin says you can do it if you sh uh, if you uh, use shift to assign individual trees to cut. Yeah, if you literally beeline to well, But, now but I think now now, now there's two and a half. But yeah, minutes. that's yes. we might want to try that later on. Uh, dear oh dear. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. Um. People are amused by the fact that you were handing in orders when there wasn't any impatience. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just too good at this game. That's the problem. I'm uh -huh. just, I'm just too good at the game. I bet you know, just, your, your Majesty. So I, I'm too good at this. Send, send me more orders. I have completed all of them. Please, I, I, I beg of you. I am bored out here in this society. I, I have, we have nothing to do. Uh, oh, speaking of which, that archaeologist's office. So a building designed to help you study the past can be upgraded to locate archaeological discoveries or improve the settlement's exploration capabilities. Okay, so we just need a handful of basic planks and fabric to sort that out. So uh, I do just have, yeah, a crude workstation is just a, a solid start just for the sake of, you know, literally getting the absolute basics set up. We can, you know, we can replace this, uh, replace that later. Uh, so I can just kind of go... It doesn't need to go like in the town proper. It can be out of the way. You you don't need you, you don't you don't need to be in the town's radius or anything. Oh, speaking of which, even more glades. Oh, there's a dead harpy. Oh no. Fallen harpy scientists. Oh no. Okay. So in Oh, they're going to decay in, and and attract blood flowers in ten minutes. So we can rob the dead. Jesus. The harpies are not thrilled about us robbing the dead harpy scientists. But they'll get over it. Um, it's only going to last for four minutes. Uh, which is tempting. And that would get me B.O. wine and water skins. Or we can pay for the funeral. We can't pay for the funeral. And we can't. We can't pay for the funeral at right. all. Right. We're robbing the dead. But we're not going to send harpies to do it. Okay, we're just going to go and take care of that. The harpies are not thrilled. I, that I'll admit, the harpies are not delighted. It does only last three minutes. Exactly. I and hope they don't all leave. And we've got all oh, that big copper. That's copper veins. That is that's herb nodes, but a large herb node, and that's a large dewberry bush. So okay, we'll need proper stuff if we want to be taking care of uh, that. Also. There's Ooh. even more stuff over here, including... Ooh, sturdy boots, 10% faster movement for, like, free. Yeah, 100%. Break open when we can, yeah. Yeah, 100%, just break that open. Uh, Yeah, send them. Go. Well, That's... we don't have enough stone. Uh, We will do. Stone's, yeah, literally, that. stone's Fair coming enough. in so it's fast. We've got in. two people, like, gathering stone right now. Uh, forced delivery. Uh, so they'll just send that stone there. So in just like a matter of moments, there will be enough stone to resolve that. So, okay. I appreciate the harpies are not like thrilled that we're robbing the dead. They're like, not leaving we yet. We would have like paid for the funeral, but we didn't have the money. Or okay. the, the religion. That's true. I'm not sure we needed that. Uh, or, or whatever the offerings were supposed to be made at the thing. That's, I, 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 there, there, were prob there were various issues. There were various issues. And uh, you know what? In terms of just uh, chopping down water, we should chop down this. Because this is inside yeah. the range of... We should, we should maximize the amount of space here. So you guys just get to here. And you just start chopping down all of this. Maybe not. Like, don't. Maybe don't go all the way through till I tell you to, please. Just like chop down this space for a starting point. And you guys, uh, you just move a little bit more in this direction. And yeah, you focus on this side. And you guys don't be in range of. Ah, you might pick a few of them, but it'll fade pretty quick. So yeah. That will just clear out space that we need for the town because a space that's around the ancient half needs to be chopped down. Sure. So that's fine. That's good. The harpies, admittedly, the harpies are now really annoyed and it's about to be storm time. But, like, we, we will be done robbing the dead in, like, 60 seconds. And then we'll have wine and ale for storm time. Exactly. I'd say the harpies get first pick of the wine and the ale. They, they yeah, get... They might not love that. They get, they get first pick. The harpies are not happy... But that's fine. We're going to... 
We're just going to burn a little bit of extra wood. We've got plenty of wood. Okay. It's fine. We're just going to burn a little bit of extra wood so the harpies yeah. don't abandon society. Maybe do another bit of extra wood. No, it, it's going down pretty fast. Uh, it's going down quite fast. Look at that. Look, it's 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 ticking down. It's ticking down. I think we're done. I think we might be done with. Yes, we're yes, done. We're done. Happy okay, again. there we don't. We know we don't. We don't need to make it warm. Now it's fine. <laughs> okay, that's everything's fine. There's oh, there's apparently there's wait. Oh, you can stop cutting trees to lower hostility as well. Eh, okay. Well, hostility is very low at the moment. In fact, speaking of which, the negative effects are anything particularly interesting. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The travel cost of trade routes is going to get more expensive from flooding. Eh, not particularly interesting. Harsh weather conditions, it's possible to reach the Citadel. Gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience after a Ooh. certain point. But so we just have to make sure that's not in effect when we bank the reputation. And greater threat, minus two global resolve during the storm. Added retroactively only during storm. So, okay, but that's when we hit four. We're still a long way from that. Not that bad, really, I don't think. Also, guys, why are you not... Ah, yes, I see. Uh, only up to, like, ten. And only up to, like, ten. And ah, and you need more like... houses as well. Yeah, I just noticed the housing was a bit of an issue. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, you guys get over to here. Yes, we do indeed definitely need new housing. So, yeah, uh, more shelters. Just uh, shuffle them round over to... Well, I kind of feel like uh, yeah, at this spot over here. This is a nice little spot for a house. Just at the edge of town over here. Uh, with four, three, and two, we definitely need at least two houses, I would say. You, buddy, can be like, you know, right over here next to your friend. There you go. You might be a little low on wood, but two more houses should do it. Uh, hopefully once uh, the uh, homelessness goes down, then that will cheer people up enough. If we're lucky, there won't be lizards uh, leaving. We've still got two minutes till the next orders. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, this is this is going fairly smooth. Just get that house out as soon as possible and the lizards should go into positive figures again. As long as they're in positive, they won't leave. I think at minus one, they hopefully won't leave. So there we go. That's, yeah, storm's over anyway. Meaning it's now, uh, yeah, it's cricket time. During drizzle, that's when you want to crack open new things. They'll just be you'll just be swimming in things. Also, there is okay. There were more caches here than I was expecting. Actually, there's no. another there's another cache here I hadn't seen previously. So okay, sent to the citadel. But once again, we've got no cooking tools. We need to we need to make those at some point. Apparently, mm. apparently we can make tools. I uh, didn't realize that. So okay, so stone. But if I did that, I get pipes. I also get traders arriving more frequently nice. and roots. That's really nice. Yeah. <clears throat> and I mean, presumably. Smash that after that. Yeah, hundred percent. We get might be able to buy tools from the trader. Yeah, if we're lucky. Yeah. Mm. So okay, everyone is. Global effects hostility, focused. Everyone is focused from. Okay. So this is in the event that people have eaten complex food. I wasn't aware they were eating complex food, but I'm not sure what the game counts as complex food. Yeah. Maybe shoveling some insects in your mouth counts as complex food. <laughs> Who knows? The point is, we shall very soon have... Oh, bloody hell, I think more people are arriving. Uh, newcomers. Obviously, yeah, we don't get humans on this occasion. We just get more harpies. Bow, chick, bow, wow. Admittedly, I mean... I'm fine with sexy blue delicate ladies. I know. But like they're wearing, it's like they're wearing giant dumps, like albatross, like seagull onesies. <laughs> their outfits I mean, they're are not. so dumb. It's just their wings. No, I don't think it is. I think it's their outfits. Okay, if that's their outfit, then it's dumb. Uh, I will take a tool and uh, pottery. But if we kind of, if we just kind of go and look at them, like uh, if we just find one that's there, like look. I don't think that's their wings, because they've clearly got, like, distinct arms. I think that's their, like, cloak and outfit. Mm. I think that's their... Because they appear to have distinct arms that are not the wings. I think they're wearing incredibly dumb outfits. So, okay. This is fine. And speaking of which, yes, like we were just saying, we should probably... Complex food is anything cooked. So, in this case, it is the jerky that you find. Oh, the jerky we picked up. Right. 
Now, where's the small trader? Because we should definitely, yeah, a tra I think getting a trading post out pretty early on is never going to be a bad idea. Just snick that round back over to here. That's fine. Just get that in production too. It's that close. It's raining constantly all season. Same reason that humans wear half a boat on their back. That's true. There is a lot of rain in this society. That's that's definitely that's definitely uh, not untrue. It's okay. Just pop a little bit, a few more people into uh, dots around here. You just get out of the way, please. You just you just move a little bit. You just move a little bit. We've cracked open. Oh, we've already cracked open this, which is good. This is, I'm struggling with the, the layout of this society. Struggling with the layout of the society a little bit. You just go next to your neighbour right here. Okay. You just start, yeah, chopping in this sort of a direction. That's fine. Just open up this area a little bit. There's a dangerous grove over here. We're not in a rush to necessarily get into that. So what's the glade event you were just looking at? Yes, there's one. I think it might be that. Um, it's that drill again. So once again, generates... Uh, actually, on this occasion, it's generating coal, not copper. Which, honestly, I think is actually more useful. The problem being... Mm. We don't have the tools for it. We do have the parts, but I'm kind of scared of committing... Then again, you know what? Coal veins is pretty valuable. Getting coal in early for the fire is nice. I'm willing to ha hand over a handful of parts to make that work. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Investigate that. That's a okay. And do we have... Here we go. Another uh, cornerstone. Economic migration. Your settlement is one of the wealthiest in the realm. I don't know where this rumor started. It's definitely not true. Newcomers arrive at 15% faster and bring 10% more goods for every level. And guys, pause while I'm reading this, please. Thank you. I assume the game auto paused, but it does not. Um... Okay, bring 10% more goods for every one level of standing you have with other settlements on trade routes. Oh, that feels like we're not even trading with anyone yet. Don't worry about it. So, in the event that, yes, you get you get water skins in the event that everyone's uh, reputation point goes up through high resolve. I'm not good at keeping society happy. And an odd talisman made from the talents of a phoenix gained two wildfire essence for every two completed dangerous or forbidden glade events. I'm going to be honest, I'm not thrilled by any of them. You could... I could take the money. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking the money. I'll, I'll just take 10 amber. Especially as a trader literally just arrived. So that's good timing. So, okay. All buildings have storage capacity up by 10. That could be kind of useful. Uh, bonus to flower production. Bonus to grain production. I mean, we did, we did say take the small farm. Mm. We can produce more grain. It's kind of nice, actually. Kind of nice. And unfortunately, she is not selling tools. What she will, however, sell me is just a handful of basic bricks and fabrics to get us started. Mm. Like, which I think is, I think just five of each, literally just to get us started, is not bad. And we're swimming in roots. I am willing to sell her, like, a handful of roots just to basically make that deal go through. Uh, that was more than I should have sold you. There we go. That's fine. Uh, yes. I'm happy with that. Just some yeah. basic goods to get us going. So we can build some more advanced buildings in the in, in the near future. And get on with basic production. She's also selling insects and whatnot. Uh, do I have enough goods to get the nine amber I would need for bonus grain production? That one, I'll admit, is tempting, but I'm not really sure what I'm going to... I mean, I've got some wildfire essence that I never use for anything. Some people say, John, no, don't ever sell that. What are you doing? No, John, stop. Uh, but I'm going to anyway. Uh, so, okay, I need... I need nine. I need nine of those. I'll keep two. I'm going to do everything. We've still got... We can sell a handful more roots. And a handful of insects that we're picking up loads of. Yeah, I'll take that trade. I'll take that. That gets me up to 19. That lets me buy the bonus grain trade, trait, and then we're golden. Because at some point we will... We'll find farmland. There's going to be farmland there. Speaking of which, hang on, what are you? That's a small reed field. So, okay. If we need reeds, we could gather that down here. Uh, but I don't think that's particularly an important thing. Right, we're just, you know, letting time tick along. And, oh, hang on. Here we go. It's order time. 
Everyone Selling else. wildfire essence is a solid move, says Chris. Oh, brilliant. I, I haven't upset everybody. What? So, okay, objective. Reach standing level one with a settlement on a trade route. Well, we do want to investigate trade routes. That gets me amber, some wildfire essence, and parts. But box of tools is kind of arguably more interesting, isn't it? That many eggs will also get you extra lizards. Ooh, does that count towards that, do you think? I mean, I don't know, but given that... I think that, that was like gathering or harvesting. Money. You know what? Buying your own money works, so fuck it. Sure, why not? I mean, I'm just assuming it works. I'm going to say... You know what? I want the box of tools, so I'm going to take this one just because I want the reward. I think seven tools early I think games would be nice. it's also easier to... Yeah. One dangerous glade is going to be pretty simple. Yeah, we just need to hack into a dangerous glade. And then we need either get up to... Okay, this time level one with two other settlements... Same basic deal, just more difficult. Or 10 packs of luxury goods. Which we don't have anything that can... Carpenter, artisan, or press. You say we don't. Ah. Let's see if we've got a carpenter, an artisan, or a press. So, I quite liked having the weaver last time. And a pack of trade goods is never going to hurt. Then again, lumber mill can do the same thing. But can also generate planks, which I think you use more often. I will take... I will take the lumber mill for number one. And... Okay, we didn't get the things we were after. Rain mill again. Kiln to produce. Let's just check what the recipe for coal is. Because being able to produce our own coal... I mean, turn wood into coal. And it's efficient. And it's quite efficient. I think just the ability to turn yeah, wood into coal makes fair. that worth. Like, I think that's worth it. And yeah. bricks and jerky, not bad either. Honestly, I think the kiln strikes me as a really solid building. So, okay. Now that we know that's a thing, back to here. So, we, I don't want to take this having no way of completing it. Mm. So, in which case, I'm going to say, you know what? Reach How level one. How do we do that? It's something to do with the trade post McJibble that we just made. Uh, trading post. Trade routes. Here we go. So, I can trade with the Smoldering City or Greymire or Blightwatch. Basically, I just need to arrange... Okay, hang on. Let's look at this smoldering city. Look at Greymire. Look at my warehouse. So... Okay, what am I doing here? Hang on. Sell to grow... Ah, okay. They're looking for particular things. They're looking to buy things for money. So what they're looking for in particular are packs of provisions... And something else. So, okay. The Smoldering City is willing to pay me on a regular basis for a pack of provisions and some planks. Which now, I've, can make both, I've got yeah. a good lumber mill and I've got a good provisioner. That's that's not bad. That's not bad at all. The other societies are also looking for the pack of provisions, but they also they want more advanced food to excuse me, to be honest. So let's not worry about that for now. Let's start working towards doing a deal with uh, the... We're doing a deal to Smoldering City. Like, all we need is the lumber mill and the provisioner down, and we will actually be ready to go. So, yeah, the lumber mill can be produced pretty much immediately. So, that's absolutely fine. I'm happy to just kind of pop that down in the centre of town, kind of, you know, facing right next to the warehouse, because that's where it's literally getting its resources to and from, so it can... Resources can be transferred around... Uh, and the provisioner. There you go. Same basic deal, but we'll have you. I don't know if, okay. You have to go. To, you have to go to the back of the lumber thing, because otherwise you don't fit. You ever need more planks and more fabric, but that's fine. And we are. Hang on. We've got a basic. We've got a basic scruffy down here. We've got a basic scruffy that's making some planks and some fabric. Ah, uh, uh, John, it is a one-off. Yes. Uh, not on an ongoing basis, the, commer the commerce thing. Oh. Uh, yes, okay, so the pack of provision is where you consume yourself to make the trip to go sell them the other stuff. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. So if you open up the trade route, yeah. you always need a pack of provision because you send somebody ah, to like, yeah. Ah, they're consuming those. So that's those. the idea. Yeah. Is, yeah. But it's not on, reg on a regular basis. It's a one-off. However, mm -hmm. uh, da -da -da -da, they change every season. They change every season. Okay. Well, you know what? Having a lumber, having a lumber yard and a provisioner in town yeah, 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 is yeah. not a bad thing in the slightest. Well, yeah, so but I don't get... think you've actually taken the order, by the way. 
I quite possibly haven't. Uh, don't worry about scrolls or a pack of trading goods just yet. No, I've not taken the order yet. Uh, I'm just getting the basic set up first. So first, let's get some planks set up. We will take planks up to, shall we say, 25, but then no more. Which is fine. And then we can't build this until there's a few more bits of fabric anyway. Uh, you do not produce planks anymore. You may now stop producing uh, that. You can keep producing fabric, but for the time being, there is no way for you to produce more fabric. Could you sell me some basic... Sell me some more fabric, please. Just a little bit more fabric. Just ten, just to get me started. I will trade that for roots. All right, there we go. Done. Nice. I love that you're, like, using potato as a currency. Basically, yes. Yeah. So, okay, now don't worry about fabric. And you can still produce... Yeah, produce some bricks. Just make me a handful of bricks. But, like, don't don't worry too much about it. Just make me the odd brick. It's inefficient, but we need... We need some bricks to get us going. And that means the provisioner is now underway. So we're now nice. going to have that. And all we need from the provisioner is just a handful of packs of provisions. And that will also make you some flour. It also makes nice. flour. And right now we do have some grain. We don't have an ongoing supply of it. But can also, more importantly, make flour from uh, roots and mushrooms. And roots we are swimming in because there's so many roots over here. Don't worry about barrels. Do not worry about uh, packs of provisions can be those insects. Those insects will make excellent packs of provisions. Delicious, delicious, crunchy protein. So yes, you're allowed to make that. Make that up to only need like maybe like five. Let's say six. Mm. That's that's it. If you need to, it's your top priority. And then make flour. We'll need flour sooner or later. Just make yeah. ten flour as a starting point and then stop there. And that's absolutely fine. So you guys just work together on that. And society is running smooth. And a treasure stag appeared nearby. No, it didn't. It's gone. The treasure stag is definitely gone. Well, it's gone a while back, actually. It's, it's, it's gone for it's been gone for some time. Now we need to start hacking into yeah, uh, some form of. Is that Ted? No. Oh, I thought Ted just made a grumbly noise. Right, it's summer. We need to. Is that down there? Oh, that's coal. Oh, that's nice. We've now, actually got. That was Ted making a noise. Now we've got some coal. I will gladly pop a mine straight down because coal is just an excellent fuel. Uh, coal is fantastic fuel. So just pop a mine down over there. That's absolutely fine. And we will also, if there's anyone who doesn't currently have a job, just get a basic path down. Kind of, you know, just going through town here. That's absolutely fine. Just going up to, crucially, going up to the uh, main building. Like, what's more important than anything is there is a fast path linking the mine to storage because that coal needs to be banked fast all right in a perfect world we will have this mine operational before uh the next storm mm. and that will actually be pretty good and speaking of which right copper vein trees can generate copper in uh no dyes and like stringy mcjibbles so, okay, that's that's of interest. We would send two of you and one of you just to fill up the mines. That's absolutely fine. So, get on with that. And that will generate, yes, uh, uh, coal. And that is really good because once we start, yeah, utilizing coal uh, routinely as opposed to wood, it means we've got so much more wood that we can use for our plank operating and we're producing planks. Okay, this society is working better already. I think we're starting to... The basics are starting to click at this point. The basics are starting to click, all right? It's all fine. Uh, what are you guys doing, by the way? I feel like you guys are just kind of standing in the middle of nowhere, not doing much right now. I think possibly the best thing you could do would be... You know what? We do have a dangerous glade right there, and we were saying we literally need to go into a dangerous glade. Just crack it open. You, you, you get working on that. This society, this now isn't working on anything, or rather, it's not because you guys are out of. When you say you are out of, no Wait. one's using this building. You've got stone. Use the stone to make bricks. Yeah, just tell them to not use the clay, maybe. Yeah, use the stone, guys. Yeah. What's wrong? Weird. Idling. We have twenty-six stone. Take the stone. 
to the thing in order to... Oh, it's because it's at the limit. Mm. It's at the limit. Okay, we don't need any more of that. Fine. Put it to sleep for the time being. We, we can we can assign them more important jobs. Like, for example, getting this beaver working in woodworking. Right, and there we go. We might have ourselves a free temple. Ooh, nice. Free temple. So we can salvage it for a giant pile of incense and scrolls. That's useful for various effects and also free money. Or it's just a free temple. I mean... Free temple's pretty damn good. Free temple's pretty damn good, I would say. I, I think we should definitely just have a free temple right here. So, yeah, we're going to rebuild that. We've got the supplies, I think, for that. We also have a giant pile of free stuff around here, including steel pickaxes for superior stone handling. We do not have the tools uh, for this. So, honestly, I'll just take bricks. Tea! And tea and pies. Pies, tea and pies. Tea, tea and pies. 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 <laughs> Claire's British now, in case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, right, trade routes. Uh, yes, don't worry about that. So we'll check for tunnels, somebody says. Yes, there's mis there's also mysterious... Okay, more importantly, there is a stone tooth termite burrow here. Ooh. So in 13 minutes, nothing can stop a hungry stone tooth termite swarm from feeding. Destroys all stored no building shit. materials. That's bad. If we burn it down, which takes... Okay, we could use wood, wood or, yeah. or coal. That's going to cause termite infestation. So all harvesting and planting are 50% slower, but only for these four minutes. That's it's not terrible. Stone tablet, that gets yeah. us ancient tablets, which in all fairness, an objective may well ask us for. And or, if not, they sell for good money. However, what they can also do is, ooh, for parts, which is dangerous, for the effect, we'll have a minus four to global resolve for four minutes, which is kind of bad, especially with the storm about to arrive irritatingly. But it would lead to a tame swarm. Gives insects every minute. Yeah, but you get insects when you open new glades. Yeah, but this is insects on a regular basis over time as opposed to per glade opening. Mm. I actually think that's worth it. Uh, we just need to find some people to do it. Uh, so taming them is good this early, yeah. Says Chris, I who's would, been giving a I lot would of agree. Uh... Yeah, I'm just gonna send two people over to tame it. We're gonna send two lizards over for taming, even though it's using up parts. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but I think it's it's the best option we've got. So we're gonna tame, and this is going to really hurt global happiness. I think we're gonna have to. Do we have coal? How much coal do we have in society? Well, you can... I think you can stop chopping down woods to help with happiness during, like, a storm. Or... Yeah, I mean, we can also just burn additional coal, though. Speaking of which, where is the coal actually going right now? Like, right now we're burning woods, which I feel like we shouldn't be doing. No, seriously, guys, where's the, where's the coal? Please force a delivery. You guys should definitely be producing coal. Where, where is this coal? There we go. There's some coal. It's a little bit of coal. It's not great. So we're slowly burning some coal here. I'm concerned that the storm's about to arrive. And oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to. Especially as there are actually homeless people right now. So we should uh, build some more houses like right now. Uh, one more house right there. There's no one to build that house because everyone's got a job. Uh, we need more people in a perfect world. No, that's the uh, the trade outpost. One of you guys. There's definitely one of you guys who is uh, here. Yes, you are now going to be a builder instead. You're going to now be a builder in order to build that house. Oh, uh, result is really low because that event showed up at a really unfortunate time. We have so much wood. I'm going to do some wood sacrifice, which is just going to slightly stabilize this. Right now, we've got so much wood. Can I'm you stop woodworking for a minute? Like, stop harvesting of trees, because that will help with I the resolve. I think we're okay. That uh, will help with the forest. Okay, one harpy did just leave. But that's fine. It's all fine. Everything's going to be... How much... We do have some coal, but it's not helping that much. We've got no oil and no anything. Please, just just everyone chill out. Okay, well, I'm building new houses for you right now. Okay, just 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 chill out. Okay, work. Wow, fussy plebs. 
Mm. These fussy plebs are leaving in big numbers. Okay, but you can either burn more wood or you can, like, pull, stop the event. Okay. Well, we'll get, we'll get more people back in. We'll get loads of people back in in no time whatsoever. There's a new cornerstone. So, okay. Mushroom production up. Receive three packs of provisions for every new villager. Mm. Three plant fiber per minute. You know what? Plant fiber is a really good mm, base yeah. resource. I'll just take that. That's fine. We've also just opened up a second termite <laughs> mount. This one I think we could just burn down. Wait, check if it's the same thing or not. Yes, it is. Oh, fair enough. But then again, Sorry. it would also give even more insects per minute. But I'm getting really concerned yeah, about the lack of do, parts. That's too, too I've, I'm, I'm getting it. Part. Yeah, what one is Best fine. Of both worlds, one, really. one is fine. One is a okay. So I'll I'll just accept fungal growth perk eggs and stone. That's that's okay. We'll see if the eggs give you some lizards for the lizards that have left. And then we've also got a free furnace here. So that is copper bar bricks and pie. Not I don't consider that a high priority. And here we go. Six new people. If I can give them enough food. And they're happy to accept roots. Congratulations. There we go. We're just literally going to offer these. There we go. Basically, screw the people who left. And by the way, dangerous glades have been opened. Uh, Are we still in storm? Huh? Don't deliver it straight away if we're still in storm. We're not in storm. We're in drizzle. Oh, fair enough. Sorry. Uh, so that's a bunch of free stuff there. Including a giant pile of tools. Woot. Which is very important. And right, so let's see what we can do. In particular, yeah, this has all changed recently. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. you guys want a jerky and that. You guys want plant fiber and two. So, ah, you can see which ones you've definitely got because you've got that. So, wait, do I have ale? So, did I pick up? Oh, yes, I do have ale. I picked up some ale. Didn't you pick up ale of those harpy corpses? Yes, the harpy corpses. We can sell the harpy corpses. Yeah, we well, could. <laughs> so, okay. If I just kind of, yeah, if I want money, I can do that. So, I mean, let's focus for the time being on how much plant fiber do I have, by the way? Uh, where's plant fiber? Plant fiber. Yeah, there you go. But that's kind of important. I will sell the ale. I'll sell you 12 ale. And, and, yeah, the pack of provisions for four. So that's now being... Ah, but we don't actually... While well, we're officially sending it off with someone, we don't actually have to commit a, a villager to it by the Luxie of it. So that's, that's now just... Nice. So that's now just happening. And presumably that's going to... Yeah, that's going to lead us. So, okay. We never actually... Yeah, we need to get up to level one with two settlements. So we just need to keep an eye on those settlements as time goes by. Oh, blah. Okay, so this is the one we're not taming. Lol. Good. Good, don't good. tell the other borough. Don't tell, yeah, That's what we're doing. Very good, good, good call. And more importantly, if we had the people for it, yes, one person, this one, this one lizard, can officially now be working, can be working in in the sense of religion. Though we need to have incense and scrolls to make this church really functionally do anything. Right now, it's functionally not doing anything. I don't think. What's in that cache of stuff? Pies and tea. My kind of church, oh, but yes, not that of course, kind of church. Of course, of course. My, Sorry. Abs absolutely one hundred percent my kind of church, but uh not the right kind, unfortunately. So okay, we can also gather more plant fiber and more berries from over here. And more importantly, and what we I think we should do is get a farm. Uh get a farm set up right here for getting this in play. Like I feel like that's pretty important, but what we really need is perfect. More people, absolutely spectacular. So either three people with planks and copper, or five people but bringing less interesting food. I'll take the five because I feel like all of a sudden we do actually like you know need a whole bunch of people. That's actually yeah. There's a whole bunch of stuff we could do here. So do we have the stone? We do have the stone to break that open. Do it. Get it done. So that's happening by itself right now. Uh, we're going to... Yes, we might be able to get a little bit of planting done uh, this season. It's going to be a little bit hard to do. But we might be able to get some of it down right there. You're just chopping a path open uh, in this regard. There's a nice bit of open space over here. We might be able to expand the town a little bit. 
in this direction. Uh, you just move a little bit more over to here and just start opening up this territory. A that'll be bit. nice real estate. Yeah, that'll be really nice real estate. Like right next to that, when it's open, right next to the church. Yeah, the people who invest early in this property, they're going to make a killing on that. Mm. Uh, you have run out of uh, stone to work there, but that's fine. There's more stone to be worked here. And uh, speaking of which, we need a brand new path going down in this direction just leading over to this bit of the world uh just to help out those individuals are you guys yeah in a minute and a half we're gonna get another six people in as well nice. so we're gonna be swimming in people very, in, very no, good. in no time at all and we're swimming it in uh yeah we're swimming in uh wood for the time being as well so we can get plenty i'm gonna build like a whole bunch of housing right now over here on this side uh just to make a little row of houses because i think we're going to be needing quite a few houses uh down yeah, on this side point. so i think we're just going to build like yeah six houses now very nice nice little row of them and everything Clap. uh Clap. yes indeed Clap. shout out to Clap. Sh Clap. shout out to shoestring theory who gave us 20 dollars uh, and says, hey, John, Claire, and Ted. I'm so happy I was able to catch a stream on my birthday. Thank you for years of entertainment. Nice. Happy, happy birthday. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear shoestring theory. Happy birthday to you. There you go. There you go. Right, so we're just slowly working in the right direction with a couple of societies here. I'm just sending them the odd goods here or there. You guys aren't doing anything right now because, yeah, you've, there are enough in existence. Now, I can make scrolls. Hey, what do I need scrolls for? The church needed scrolls. Yeah, 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 it did. Now, using wood blended with either pigment or what? Wow, you can literally just write in wine on wood. Nah. So, yeah, fine. That's, that's, that's holy shit right there. Now, pigment comes from nothing I've got, and wine comes from nothing I've got. But honestly, we do need this. Yeah, We fair do enough. need this. So, literally, just to make, like... If we make eight of these at a time, let's just set the, the limit at 24, and we'll see how that does. So, you guys can now start working on that. And that will mean the church is able to provide education by, like, you know, pointing at things and saying, like, Hey, look, here's, we've written wine on shit. So that's 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 now that's legit, and we're gonna have one priest of each. That's very ecumenical. Exactly. So this is all going to be fine. Uh, by the way, we've got no humans, unfortunately. Humans are the like the specialists when it comes humans to humans. Be farmers. Humans are very good at being farming. Uh, screw vegetables, just grow grain. We do, however, need uh to free up some space somewhere. How many people are working in this right? No one's working in this right now. Jesus. Okay. Uh, we're so we're still lacking in people, but that's fine. In 20 seconds, we're not going to be lacking in people. We're not going to be lacking in people. Uh, nothing's glowing over here. I know you all left, you traitors. But that's fine because we're going to have. Uh, there we go. Every, I think they just all joined society. So now, as a result of that, uh, you guys can start just doing the choppy chops. Uh, we can actually have, yeah, one more lizard over here because they are good at that shit. They're good flame keepers, uh, which is great. We do have a trader uh, right here right now, which is good as well. You guys are getting on with that. That's now entirely taking care of itself, which is positive. Uh, what else needed more people? You could theoretically do with more people. Uh, you are already fully stock to you guys if there are beavers available then do it though to be honest you are probably ready to move a little bit oh uh, where's good to this is good territory to crack open that's good territory to you are refusing to go anywhere aren't you is there something over there you'll just squeeze it there just crack open this. Crack open this so we know what's going on over here. That's absolutely fine. Uh you guys do we have any other way of making bricks right now? I think we might have, like, one. You just get on with, like, the odd brick production. It's fine. And Mr. Trader can offer us wood cutting. Nice. Wood cutting is nice. Builders construct building. I mean, buildings just pop up anyway. That doesn't feel particularly interesting. All packs of goods, 33% faster. That's quite good. I mean, but speed isn't the thing. It's, like... It's getting the resources here, like the speed of production. Yeah. Reinforced access, I think, is the good one there. Yeah. That, I think, is the winner. 
to my mind. So as a result of that, I am willing, and once again, they're not selling parts or tools. Yeah, but you got a big, big thing of tools recently. <laughs> <laughs> I sure do. That's what the ladies always tell me. Thank you for pointing it out, Claire. Um, All right, fine. I meant a big, like, delivery of them or whatever. <laughs> I just need six of these. I'll sell them some copper bars. Oh, I'll sell you some water skins. I, I doubt we'll be needing that, to be honest. Um, right, there we go. Do that trade. And then I can buy... I mean, I think wood wood cutting being faster is just an inherent fundamental good. Oh, yeah. That's never going to be a bad thing right there. And in just a moment, the termite infestation will be completed. It's now summer. Did we get any... I don't think we got any farming done this year, unfortunately. Uh, we do have the slightly unfortunate... Like, to get to church, you have to walk over the farmland. Just because that's where it is. But, like, let's, let's say this is, like... This is a church about, like... Church is a moral thing in this society. Yes, Wait, but... Re no, farming is a moral thing. No, I that's, think... That's Roman. This, that's very Roman. This is a community garden which is tended by the flock. Ooh, that's good. That's thank very you, good. Well that's done. Good you can tell you're a good Catholic girl. I was going to say good at storytelling, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, we're working on these standing levels. That's going to take a bit of time. Let's see mm. if we can find something a little bit easier here. So, right. Profitable trade... So complete four trade routes <laughs> worth at least... Okay, let's not worry about the trading here. Let's not worry about the trading, damn it. Let's instead uh, cut through the forest, discover four glades. Easy. And on top of that... Pickle Pickles! goods productions. Yeah, Claire loves pickling things. Oh, Claire, actually, Claire specifically likes putting things in jars. Your, your, one of your hobbies at the moment is put things in jars. Yes, but that includes pickles. It's true. Right, I'll take that. Yeah, we'll take uh, just... We're growing cabbages next year. <laughs> That way oh, I can do we be get like... red cabbage? Hmm? Do we get red cabbage? Yes. I like red cabbage. That's my Me favorite. Too. It's really good. Uh, okay. Once again, five trade routes worth 11. No, screw that. A clan hall and also training. Oh, those are both difficult. Yeah. I mean, Oof. five trade routes worth 11 amber is oh. so much. I will just work a deception. Clan hall will show up at some point. And that gets me the training grounds cornerstone. So at that point, plus one to lizard resolve for every 70 training gear produced and also training gear and also jerky. We'll take it. Those are some difficult ones. The glades is easy. The standing level is just a matter of time. Uh, because we are, we're, we're working in that direction right now. Go over to uh, trade routes. We're already like, you know, almost halfway there. Nice. With, with Grey Mirror already and Blight Watch. Uh, you guys want uh, some mushrooms. We've got... Do we have mushrooms? I thought we had so many mushrooms. I thought we were, like, flogging them mm, I think cheap. we might have used them. I may have already used them for something. And, well, officially, we've got nothing we can sell Use right now. Use them to, like, make flour or something. Poss Ooh, that's possible. No, I was using roots. It was roots we were using for flour. Speaking of which, um, there are still some roots here. But you're probably ready to move pretty soon over to the next. And, oh, do not miss, by the way, there's copper veins up there. If we need copper at any point, we've got a good selection of uh, copper available. And we can also pick herbs should we need herbs. So, okay, we're just building buildings. Everything is fine. We'll just, yeah, every time, just don't forget every season, check the state of the trade routes. Because, yeah, people are saying they refresh each season. Mm. So we just need to keep an eye on when ones we can fulfill show up. Which will be absolutely fine. And, yeah, in the meantime, just keep ticking over more and more items you are sad about something probably because yes you are up to brick limit but that's fine didn't we pick up a kiln which can make ah can make yeah coal and decent bricks uh i will take that let's put the kiln down you buddy can just be deactivated we do not need you anymore uh because a kiln can make bricks more efficiently uh, which is good. You, by the way, can keep chopping down the same things, but just move a bit closer. Uh, we're not doing any farming this year, but next year we will do farming. Uh, uh, the homelessness crisis is about to be solved. We've just built more houses. Turned out it was that bloody simple. Uh, all along, <laughs> there is a furnace here. Hang on. The furnace, if we were to fix it, is copper bar production. I mean, honestly, it's pretty easy to sort out. I mean, I may as well just send three little sexy blue women to, to fix it. There we go. Sexy blue women solve can solve all my problems, in fact. Though, oh, we need to leave we need to leave one 
unemployed because unemployed people are builders. Otherwise, no one there is no one to build all the new houses and shit. So okay. Yeah, it'd be a bit easier if you could just assign a person to building and then you don't have to, like, remember to leave a Maybe person. there is a way to do that, but I don't know it. Also, well, apparently, the chat, blue, let us know the blue people are apparently very easy to keep happy. I've been basically nothing for them, but they are happy enough that they are generating a tiny, tiny amount of results per minute. That's because you keep telling them how sexy they are. They are! Look at them! They're blue! I know. Everyone knows that the sexiest people are blue. All right? Just like the Smurfs, John. Okay, the Smurfs are kind of an exception, yeah. but, like, but Mass Effect understood that for some, when you want to make a species, when you want a species of, of alien ladies, and you want to indicate, hey, it's I mean James Cameron it's, agrees hey, with it's you. It's okay to do the fuck on these ones. You <laughs> oh make them God. blue. You make them blue. <laughs> All right, blue is the universal color for shaggable alien. All right, except in Star Trek where they went for green. Maybe it was, it was a different time back then. Yeah, all right. Chill out, James Cameron. <laughs> I thought you were about to say James T. Kirk, but all right, fine. I'll take either. <laughs> oh, oh, was that a Ted noise? I don't know. I thought I had a little Ted noise back over there for a second. Right, we're working on the stone. That's it. Uh, okay. You guys aren't doing anything right now, but that's only because, yes, there's no need for you to do so. But you know what? I'll, I'll increase the the limits on your flower and whatnot and speaking of which how are you doing on insects you may also use eggs if you want to to make the packs of provisions that's that's acceptable to me okay it's storm time and it's also flooded roads so right travel cost of trade routes increased by two just basically do not start a trade route Unless I've got no choice but to start it now because they might be good trade routes. Obviously, now the trade routes show Lol. up. Lol. So the packs of provision cost goes up. But we've got plenty of packs of provisions, which is actually fine. So we've got the herbs. We've got the plant fiber. But then that is the... The smoldering city isn't really what we're working on. We're working on the two, the two, cities, the two cities I already set up. Um, in particular, the plant fiber is pretty easy to get done. It's pretty a bit expensive, but then we are producing these pretty effectively too. So I am a happy to send, yeah, uh, 24, 24 plant fiber. Yeah, do it for nine gold. Send that off to Greymere, my very first element. That was the one that was in the video. So we've sent. Oh, hi, Teddy. Hi, Ted. You um, just did a big stretch, you guys. One thing I should build, by the way, is the rather exciting, sexy thing about this particular area, of course, the archaeologist's office. There is apparently, yeah, we can do, like, archaeology. So I'm going to get that done right now. And everyone's holding pretty steady here. No one's in the red. Like, this storm, no one's pissing off and abandoning me, which is great. So, all right. Clan, while well, we're just waiting out the storm and putting up the archaeologist's office, over to you. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Faru, who uh, has been a member for 40 months and says, Hello, guys. I haven't seen you in a moment. I loved the 2023 MATN Awards. Lol. This year, I have reached absurd numbers of games that I own and know because of John. Nice. Love it. Yeah, that's what we always love to hear. And also shout out to Three Rings, who gave us $2 and says, Hey, guys, here's a little ad block tax for you. Well, thank you very, very much indeed. That's very much appreciated. Oh, very nice. From Gretchman, who gave us $10. Day five of telling you to play Star Control 2. Lol. Because it's your favorite game and you don't know it yet. I think it's day five. How do people keep track of this? Love you, John. If you're well, struggling on day five, you're going to struggle to make it to 1,230 because I will check. If anyone tries to repeat this trick, I will check all of them. I will go back. I can search for the game name. I can check you have done it every day you claim you have done it. Yeah, I think Librarian Seth is actually in chat. So if you want to ask for advice on how to do it, uh, the man himself is here, I think. Yeah, the legend, the hero. Uh, yes. Uh... I need... Um... Oh, I've only got five. I've only got five flipping uh, lizards. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to. We'll put lizards in later. In that case, right now it's just the sexy liaras who are going to be working in the kiln. So those are going to. They're not going to be producing solid amounts of coal. Yeah. Really solid amounts of coal. And honestly, I'm happy to have the the limit of coal quite high. Like, let's keep the amount of coal that we have available in our society. Like at a good 60, uh, yeah, 75. 75. Produce bricks. 
out of stone. Uh, that's I fine. Think you need to, yeah, remove the brick. You can no. That just means you can use either. That just means you can use either. Use uh, uh, use as you wish. Bricks can sit at twenty, and jerky can sit at twenty. Burning insects over wood, and I'm happy for you to do all of that. That's going to be a really productive building for us. Actually, that's going to be a great building for us. I mean, and you could make a second kill next to it if you ever wanted. No. Yeah, potentially. Or maybe upgrade it. And can we just? I think we can. Now we can just destroy the. I mean, the crude workstation just makes bricks, planks, fabric, and. I mean, okay, we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave it there in case we ever need pipes for some reason and we can't make them elsewhere but like this is going to be a ludicrously useful building for generating huge amounts of coal jerky bricks everything and then they can just go straight next door to the thing so that's going to be a huge amount of like good quality food like yeah. jerky in particular is preserved dried meat produced by okay i think that's for everyone i'm not sure that's like a particular i'm not sure that's like a particular thing that's like one race likes more. I think like lizards like meat. Yeah, uh, but I was gonna say um, the the building that gives you pipes. I think pipes are often an option that you can use instead of tools or uh, parts. Yeah. So that it might be worth building some just so you don't have to use your tools or parts. Might be right. And let's get another person over onto the farm. Let's just make sure everything is as it should be. And yes, you want the carry capacity up, which until I'm really concerned about impatience, which at the moment I, I'm okay with, we're going to be cracking, we're going to be cracking on with a whole bunch of bits and pieces here. We just need to keep cracking open glades and we're going to be doing that. I mean, we're, we've got some good open stuff, open space going on here, though I think, yeah, it is probably time to start thinking about that as more of a priority. So you guys just open up this, open up this, that's two more glades. And that is... Oh, blimey! Ooh, harpies and lizards like jerky. Harpies and lizards. Good. Oh, that's big. That is a That is an archaeological discovery. Very nice. So, okay. Royal archaeologists are certain that phenomen a phenomenal discovery is hidden here. The queen offers a generous reward for unearthing this ancient skeleton. The event is multi-stage, includes uh, excavation, conservation, and reconstruction. That's okay. really cool. Now, speaking of which, the archaeologist's office, which is... Blimey, it's got levels... Building design to help you study the past can be upgraded to locate archaeological discoveries or improve the settlement's exploration capabilities. So level one. Am I choosing which perk to take here? Reveals location of the closest archaeological discovery. Carved in stone. Secret methods of dealing with threats are engraved on ancient tablets. Scouts work 10% faster on glade defense for every two reputation points gained from completed glade defense. Or stone tablets reveal the secrets of ancient strength. Scouts carry an extra four additional items, move seven percent faster. Ooh, that's kind of good. Yeah, I'll I'll take that. So I've taken that, and now right, and now you need to start spending money in order to keep this being upgraded. So it reveals the location of the second closest archaeological discovery. All metal is permeated with malevolent magic from the forest. Every two hostage levels ground. Ooh, tool production. Do we know how to make tools? We do not. Yeah. That's kind of tempting. And minus 10 hostility for every ancient tablet. Yeah, is, so they stack that's, nicely. But that's minus 10. Yeah, but you have, what, two ancient tablets at the moment. By the end of the game, I think we're going to really wish we had those tools. And, like, we're already at one. Mm. Okay. To do that, we need, yeah, pipes and some planks. Done. And then finally, level three... Reveals the location of the furthest away one. Learn much from the ancients. This knowledge has its price. Any villager lost will be prevented at the expense of... Oh, definitely not. No, tablets are more important than people. <laughs> Great. You think I'm joking, don't you? Well, no, I don't think you're joking for the game. Mm -hmm. for, for the the thing is, as, as, as a classicist, we have a particular... During the... Um... The particular nastiness, I'm sure it still is, but during the particular nastiness in Syria, when ISIL moved in, mm -hmm. there were various museum curators who functionally gave their lives by virtue of the fact they chose not to evacuate. They stayed in their museums and right up to the point where yeah. ISIL arrived, they kept trying to preserve the history. Yeah. Of their society, uh, dating oh, back millennia. Oh, but that's the choice that the person is making. That's not a choice that the overlord that is making for their people. And that like, was I think there's quite a difference. Incredibly between... noble. 
incredibly okay, noble. But I think there's quite a difference between the, the incredibly noble thing you're referencing yeah. where people use their agency to do something beautiful and yeah. noble mm-hmm. and like what you just said where was I just, just about resource management. Where I, just, where I decided to, to take that choice away from our archaeologist. Uh, <laughs> yes, you will get more tablets from that dig that you're doing. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. So, okay, archaeologists have learned a lot about culture. All workers gain a 10% chance of producing double yields for every two completed dangerous or forbidden event. That's kind of interesting. But we probably can't afford that anyway. No, we can't afford that regardless. There we go. Ah, we got real and heavy for a second there. There we go. <laughs> uh, another instance of wait, is John English or what? <laughs> We've got a few people. So, okay, if we want to salvage this for oil, packs of provisions, bundles of leather, wildfire essence, or the first stage of the process. So, okay, obviously we want to try and excavate this. So, the way you excavate something is just like in real life. You toss roots or eggs at it. And, and and you build brick. Okay, so we're building like... Wait, was... so you could toss insects at it too. Yeah, I could. But uh, insects are not uh, but much. They... Roots are coming in way faster. Oh, fair enough. Roots coming in way faster. So we'll just get you guys working on the excavation. There we go. So you guys are going to get working on that. That's nice. We've also got, yeah, we've got coal coming in. We're burning coal. You need to keep an eye on wood supplies. Uh, just make sure that, you know, the wood doesn't start dropping off too fast just because we're burning so much of it all of a sudden. And we are we are burning a lot of it all of a sudden. Yeah, this is true. Chris, Chris Whitmore say, points out to, to <laughs> the, the, the importance of the complaint tablet to Anus here. Yay! I mean, you know. That's worth Gotta dying protect to shed. protect. Gotta yes. protect this thing. I, I, I would hope that if I had in my possession a work of Menanda and I could give my life to protect it for future generations, that I would choose to do so. Well, I would hope so too, mm-hmm. that I would do that. Mm-hmm. You know. Ooh. But, like, that's not what you're doing in the game, sir. Excellent. Crowded houses. That worked well last time. Oh, strange roots spread across the land. Wood production is increased by one. Harvesting and planting is slower. No. Take crowded houses. More people in every house. Let's let's wood, get wood, rid of more people in every house. Also, one camp now has nothing nearby to it. That's fine. I'm pretty sure we have more yeah, roots. Yeah, up there. Yeah. I was just checking there weren't any more, but, yeah, it looks like not. Okay, we're running a little bit low on the root production. It's it's fine, but we could definitely do with a little bit more on the root production. Well, you need to open more glades anyway. I do need to open more glades. That's definitely true. Uh, you need to go to here. We want nice straight paths. Damn it. Uh, so that's fine. So, okay. Everything is running pretty nicely here. We do have more people arriving. Good. Including nice. planks and reeds. Not many people. Way more people. Close planks, root. Yeah, take way more people. We should have the space for them in the society right now. That should well, be especially fine. since you've done the thing with the houses. Yeah, and now we are... Oh, yes, of course. We literally don't have any humans uh, anymore. So we don't need to worry about uh, that nonsense. You guys are currently not doing anything because society is to a nice little level. Okay, let's, let's, let's look at what we got going on here. Let's look at what we got going on. Ooh. Temples, taverns, a harpy house specific harpy houses we do have 12 harpies and if we just keep them they look they look like one they're pretty easy to keep happy their threshold for happiness is only like 16 if we keep them happy mm. then they're going to be worth then that that's just going to be generating that's just going to be generating reputation for yeah, 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 yeah yeah like honestly i can see the the benefit of just going for some harpy houses like uh clearly we need we need more uh cloth. fabric yeah they're like clothy houses uh, the bathhouse by Luke's of it is particularly happy for yeah. from the purple roof, people were saying. So harpies are happy with that. Yeah, but people were also saying that it's the worst passive. Yeah, uh, I think game. we'll take the harpy house here. Yeah. We'll take the harpy house and we'll actually build some specific harpy houses. So yeah, that needs nothing but fabric. It's basically yeah, made out of fabric. Now, how are we even making fabric right now? When I say how are we making fabric right now? Are we making fat? I don't think we've got anything that makes fabric right now. I mean, we've got the um, we've got this tiny. This is why we don't destroy these buildings down over here. We can make fabric highly inefficiently. Do we have anything better that can make uh fabric? Uh, that's the harvesting, the mill rain collector, brickyard, kiln provision. I don't think we do. Okay, so for the time being, yes. Ah, uh, we don't have a weaver 
or anything. So, oh, that is true. We can also make this way better. Now we've got all these people. We should just, like, there's no reason not to just get down four decorations. Some benches. Exactly. Just basically, yeah, just one, two, three, four. Congratulations. Society is now happier than it was. Uh, which is yeah, weird. Because you can eat your lunch in front of the half. Yeah, exactly. So you guys just basically get here and do nothing but make fabric, which you can make out of the plant fiber and make that up to 20. Yeah, that's fine. Just make some fabric. And then as you make that, we will simply slap down, yeah, just basically a series of harpy houses. This, this can be like a harpy district over here. We'll put down like three harpy houses, each of which holds uh, three people. So you know what? One more. No, 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 John, you have extra, you have the extra space in the houses, no? I think that applies to oh, that, normal houses. No, you know what? Let's let's let these first three build, and we'll see whether they hold three or four. Because these hold four, but I don't know whether that only applies to that only applies to the houses. Hang on, the it does say all houses, not just everything in the housing, not just all shelters. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. So you guys are just producing fabric. Which is fine. We're building the benches, meaning in just a moment that's going to be as soon as that's done. There Yay. we go. That's now live. Uh, we do not have the ability to go to the next level. We didn't take that upgrade. So that's absolutely fine. So the harpies are already at 16, and we're still in drizzle. There's no reason it will go down. And we're about to give them specialized houses that they're going to cook and love. So honestly, this is this is going very nicely. Actually, we're also oh, working we're on the. we're in drizzle. You should check the uh, trade routes. Uh, you got a very good point. Thank you for the reminder. Trade routes and nothing we've actually got today. They oh, they want stuff we don't have. So that's fine. It's almost summer. Ah, uh, but you've got standing level with one of them. That'll be Greymire because you sent them something. Uh, yeah, we just sent them time. something during storm, didn't we? Yeah. yeah so Greymire's so now need up to, focus to one. On Blightwatch, really. I can actually uh spend money to unlock additional things, but I feel like we do not need to worry about that for the time being. Uh, so yes, and our provision packs should be, uh, fine, because we're just producing them as need to be. Flour should be A-OK. -okay. Just feel free to increase that to 25. We're going to need flour sooner or later. Uh, you guys have, right now we have no real functional way of making barrels on an ongoing basis, but that's fine. Everybody is nice and happy. Everyone's also eating complex food, probably because of all that jerky. Here comes the grain. No. Nice. The grain's going to be harvested. It's okay, we're swimming in grain all of a sudden. We just need to figure out, you know, precisely what we're going to do with all of that for the time being. So you guys are carrying that, and here we go. We're about to have the harpy houses. The harpies are actually getting less happy fascinatingly but you guys are about to move into like you know dedicated amazing super houses so you, you that should be absolutely fine here comes zorg the trader hello zorg all right buddy what are you offering uh trade wise you're offering woodcutters moving 20 percent faster and any farmer carries five additional items <sighs> all building storage up you know what farmers is kind of nice then we've got one farm he's also selling pies He's selling pies. Interesting. Is any of this. I will take farmers being able to carry more shit. Because I think what happens is, like, sometimes the farm doesn't even get fully planted. I think if farmers can carry more stuff, they'll be able to do that. So, okay, here come the harpy buildings. Harpy houses, harpy houses, harpy houses. Let's just remember to check how many things are in the harpy house. You done? Only three. Mm. So, harpy houses do not count as regular housing. So, in which case, one more harpy house in the harpy. It's okay. The harpies get to live, you know, right next to the temple, right next to the farmland, you know, very close to the fire. They, they, they are the special citizens. We like them. Also, I've decided they get, they get a special path. Special little path. Special little path for them. Because they're my sexy blue girlfriends. There we go. That's it. It's very important. It's going to be really disappointing if we eventually, like, you know, aliens come down and they're blue and they're not sexy. It's going to be so disappointing. And we're going to have to explain that to them. Like, that's going to be an awkward conversation right there. Very awkward. Ooh, what? What's that? That's just Zorg the trader, who we already... No, I know it's Zorg. I meant what's the uh, stuff in the glade. Oh. Uh, oh, yes. We just opened up this and... Oh! Oh! Um, 
mildly concerned about that. Also, are we done with the archaeological site yet? Uh, no, because bear in mind that has multiple bloody layers to it. Though I think at this point we can't... Wait, can have you even started it? Yeah, that we've done phase one. We oh, did phase okay. one to expose the bones. And now we could, at this point, salvage it to, for it to end. Or we could keep it going deeper into yeah. the archaeology. So yeah, I think these are now better, better rewards than we would have had before. Or we keep going and get to the final stage and also get a an ancient tablet, which I think we need for something, question the, mark. The more of them you have, it gives you... A... But if we, if we spend tea um, and coal... Or planks, yeah. Um, well, coal, coal we're now got churning in off yeah, the kiln, which of is very good. You guys can now get on with that. So that's now. So and I think you found another one. And we've got ah, we've actually just found yes a we've got a basic um, glade event here. Nothing too dramatic here. So this is just the offering. We can offer tea to it. We can just literally pour tea, and that will generate um, decreased hostility. Not bad. I mean, hostility gets nasty eventually. Alternatively, that gets me incense, pottery, you kind and of herbs. need for the church, but that's not it's a an one -off. ongoing basis. I'd rather have the... Yeah. We've never done it, so it'd be cool to see what it does. Yeah. So we'll just pour tea on that. And then we've also got another archaeological site over here. But yeah, you see, the rewards aren't as good. You can, like, dig down, and then you get better rewards to salvage, or you can just keep digging over and over. So we'll leave that one for now. It's not urgent. Let's... Let's look at the giant more from below. Mist worms. Where there is one mist worm, soon many more will follow. Destroys any stored food in 12 Oof. minutes. So, okay. We can basically feed it, leading to heavy fog. So, at that point, yeah, danger and forbidden glade warnings are disabled. Active only when the corresponding glade event is being worked on. So, okay, that doesn't seem that dangerous. Gets a sea marrow, crystallized juice stone. Or we chase it away. Cooked and raw food in the warehouse disappears rate of four items every 10 seconds for four minutes. That is vicious. That is really nasty. But then again, it'll eat all the jerky, but then we'll just make more. Like, it's also eating the raw food. Uh, hmm. I mean, it will basically eat everything. It will eat everything. There's yeah. nothing we can do. That's a, I think that's a bit too much. I think we just feed it. Yeah. And we just get... And it just goes away. We'll just feed it. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just feed it... We'll feed it some bugs. We'll literally pour 15 bugs down its mouth and that will be it. And then we'll get some stone that's and... That's not so bad. That's not so bad, really. No, I don't but think But yeah, so. let's not... Yeah. And then there's also... We have just enough tools to send a 0 075 citadel and not enough tools to send this to the, the uh, full one, yeah. yeah so we can i'd say therefore we send you we'll need more people but i think possibly there might be more people coming uh yeah in pretty soon so don't worry about those for now because there's no oh, time hey, on them new orders new orders so okay deliver 50 copper that one's easy that's incredibly easy and it gets me parts and tools alternatively need for leisure fulfilled no <laughs> copper or easy Copper ore, that's so easy. Um, and then, deliver wood. We could do that immediately. Deliver provisions. We could do that pretty much immediately, too. Meanwhile, we do literally, we don't have the means of delivering yeah. luxury. Wow, that's two easy ones. That's two. Right, I can literally deliver both of them instantaneously. Very nice indeed. Right, well, that's good. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was about to happen, but that, that was a thing. Also, did I ever look at the... Um... The summer trade, the summer trade routes. I did, but it did. We just need something for Blight Watch, uh, and apparently they just had just had copper ore. We might be able to have. Maybe we can just get enough copper ore down there. Was definitely there's been copper ore around. There's copper ore up here. Not that we have any people to work in the copper mines, to be honest. But we may as well get it down. We've got a good. We've got a good copper mine right there. Yeah, but you might be able to like take somebody from somewhere else yeah this is doing its job already we're just carrying the tea over there and we can also do more farming over here so okay we've got so much grain coming in right now we don't really have much to do with that aside from the the kiln uh wait the provisioner packs of provisions can be no not made out of flour flour can be made out of grain in fact you know what start using that we've now we're now swimming in we're now swimming in grain save the insects for other stuff because uh, the packs of provisions can't be made out of that. 
yeah, that's fine. Uh, so that's now going to work a bit more efficiently. I've no idea why the harpies are being miserable little so-and-sos right now. Hey, what? What's, what's going on? Okay, let's hope we get something we can do with the... Oh, no, this is this is, this is is precisely what I wanted to see. Bakery. I was just saying, we're swimming in grain and flour right now. We're swimming in grain and flour. And then we can just mix in roots or bugs to make biscuits and pies. Very nice. I think it's got to be bakery, surely. Yeah. What is a cooperage? Uh, what even is that? A copperage? It definitely not. Copper. That doesn't Cooper? say copper. That definitely says okay, cooperage. Fine. Produces barrels, coats, and tea. I mean, producing tea is kind of nice, but I'm not 100% sure what a... I've, no, I've never heard this Okay, word. a cooper is a person trained to make... Trained to make wooden casts, yeah. barrels, vats, buckets, tubs, troughs, Coopers, and other similar barrel containers makers. From well, I think I think things. bakery. Let's let's go for bakery society. Mm. Bakery society because the well, alternative obviously is obviously I approve. The other society is cookhouse can also make biscuits, but we struggle a bit more with skewers because we don't have a we don't have a good. Yeah, I think it's got to be bakery. So our society is now bakery. Our society is now bakery. -y. Which is absolutely great. So we'll just put a nice little bakery on the edge of town over up here at the very edge of town. That's fine. Uh, we need a handful more planks and a handful more things. Where is... Hang on, why on earth are you guys not producing more planks? Get on with producing planks, you lazy bastards. Right, get on with that. Uh, go back over to uh, wood supplies. Oh, the woods. Okay. So the thing I was saying earlier about how I was a bit worried that the wood supply might get a little bit out of hand at some point. Start the... Out of hand like we run out? Or... Yeah, getting it's, it's certainly collapsing a little bit. So we'll just keep an eye on that. You guys are digging up this thing. That's, that's Yeah, maybe we progress. have too many people doing too many different things. And so we don't have people for building and or excavating the doing wood. Doing the basic, yeah, doing yeah. the basic jobs possible. I mean, uh, also, we're currently producing a little bit of fabric. We could do with actual proper fabric production. Okay, so Lizard Resolve is low. How much spare? We've got so much spare coal at the moment. I am willing to offset this, and I'm willing to eat coal sacrifice. That pushes us back down to level 1 hostility, and it means no one leaves. And we are mass producing coal right now, just like make more just make more i appreciate that eats our wood supply but like it's keeping society together society's holding together nicely this from this coal we can we can ride out the storm on the back of the coal production between a coal mine and a kiln that's just pumping stuff out all the time this is working fine this is this is actually working really nicely this is this is solid i'm this society is running way more smoothly Speaking of which, I think the mine just ran out of ore. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. So that's the that was the coal mine down here. So that's fine. Almost drizzle. Okay, turn off the coal. So you guys, that gets deactivated because there's now nothing here. That's fine. So now we just have a little bit of a luxy roundy. There is also we can just harvest reeds from here. Don't need to worry about that. Was there any coal around? So we can uh, we can harvest a giant pile of copper. There was copper bloody everywhere. Oh, and the bakery's done too. Okay, way more importantly, we've got oh lizards enjoy bakering because they it's flamey and they're they're into flames. So okay. Did you just say bakering? Yeah, bakerying. Yeah. I enjoy making up words. You're aware of this. I do know that. So okay, herbs and also uh yeah roots generates biscuits, flour, together with insects. We are getting a little bit low on insects too. The insects have been have been kind of, you know, eaten a little bit. Let's not go past 20, guys. Work up to 20 and then like no more. Because you're producing 10 at a time. So this is this is, you know, fairly simple work. And don't worry about pottering. That's absolutely fine. So uh, no one is everyone, no one's homeless. The you're about to go up towards 17. They like drizzle. They really enjoy drizzle. And in fact, they're gonna they're gonna enjoy drizzle so much, they're gonna be generating. Ooh! There we go. Just Ooh, check the trading routes. Yep, changing routes. Thank you for the reminder. Oh, before we do that, though, we've also got cornerstones. Free grain a minute, free clay a minute, plus two to leather production. But once again, we have—I've never seen this ranch 
that's supposed to exist. Let's just take extra grain. Because we're now in the flat mass flour producing uh, business. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, speaking of which, now we're actually using it. I'm going to increase the cap on flour a little bit. Trade routes, like you were saying. And nothing but the smoldering city, unfortunately. Nothing we can... Ah! We might be able to. Blightwatch will buy biscuits in a minute. And we are in the process of flipping biscuitering yeah I yeah know. we are in we are in we are the we are the bisque the the the, the biscuit, you know specialization people and food is apparently low maybe you can put the biscuits at a higher priority because you don't want the now food is apparently low so i feel like maybe a berry plantation would just keep kelp keepers going mm. uh yeah but, uh, i think a, a nice berry plantation down over here is a good shout though. Actually, hang on. Is that is that coal? No, that's stone. Uh, that's stone. That's a big stone deposit. Have you guys? What did you guys end up doing? Have you guys? Okay, you guys have got that there. You guys can. Ah, that's nice. Right, let's get you here. This is a much better spot for you to yeah deal with all of this right there. And then we definitely, I would say, would like a plantation right about hereish. And then this has all got to be turned into farm fields. Uh, whether we'll be able to get any of this planted this year, unfortunate. Kind of a shame I didn't notice this previously. But if food's getting a little bit on the low side, then... Okay, let's also just check where we are with... Yes, all of my flibbly jibblers. Um, we just need someone to be more focused on producing wood. And we actually... You know what? Step one, we can optimize... Uh, just to buy straight up, yeah, bringing you guys here and just saying, hey guys, you're not opening up glades. You are just chopping down wood that's nearby to the warehouse and then you're mm, taking it to yeah, the warehouse. Yeah, that's yeah, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah. And we only need one more glade open. And on top of that, we've reached the final stage. So, okay. Now we've reached the final stage. I think this is the final stage now. We can, if we were to salvage now, now we get tools and incense and planks. Or... We get Harmony, the reconstructed skeleton of an ancient species of snake, grants sea marrow for copper ore production. Is it we we feed we uh, feed no. the skeleton something? It's worth two two uh, points of thing. I think what it means is that every time you produce copper ore, you get free sea marrow. Ah, yeah. And on top of that, I get a I get a medal. So we're doing that obviously. <laughs> Of course, because you get a medal. I want a medal. I know you want a medal. I, want a medal. I deserve a medal. Hello. I've done science. Oh, I think Hello, Ted might puppy. want a. I think Ted might want his little outing in the garden. You want a medal. Hello. Hello, Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, have you come for a cuddle? He's Ted's a come boy. for a cuddle. Hello. Oh. Hello, good boy. Hi. Excavation. Right. So excavating that. This obviously just doesn't do anything anymore. Whether we can just... Can we... I swear there's a way to destroy these, but I'm not sure how you do it. Is there a... Ah! Destroy a building. Here we go. I can salvage a small number of materials from this, which I couldn't previously. Hello, Ted. Yes. Oh, we if do love you. If you come out you. from under the desk, I'll take you out for a tiny wee outside. Hello. Hi. Hi. We love you. Sorry, I'm cuddling Ted right now. Yeah, fair enough. Cuddling Ted. Ted is being cuddled. Hey, Papa. There we go. We already checked the... He's just sitting between for... us underneath John's desk. There we desk. go. Hi. Hi. Okay, careful because you're, you're Very bumping close. his head into the desk. Uh, come on, Ted. You need to come out from under the desk. Come on. Come, come on, honey buns. <laughs> out from under the desk. There we right, go. I'll take you for a wee... Ooh, Foster says... Uh, um, was recommending excavating it like before you decided to do that. Uh, but said it's very pretty when it's completed. Ooh, well, that's Obviously the most important, important thing. That's the most important thing. Okay, we're suddenly swimming in people with okay, no bye. jobs. Uh, you guys don't do... Do you need plant fibre? Actually, I think we need plant fibre for something. I just can't remember what from. He did a big stretch, which is highly important. Right, we're just going to chop that down. Fabric. Yes, we do. We have no good way of making fabric. Is the and downside? Scrolls. That's true. 
And then, yes, we've got you guys. We've got... Oh, that's a giant pile of biscuits and copper ore, which I'm pretty sure we need. Right, well, now we've got people coming out the wazoo. Just send my little blue sexy friends to crack this one open. Yeah, that one's fine. But now I think we might just have... Yeah, now we've actually got enough tools. As this isn't actually that interesting, woodcutter can carry five additional items. I mean, that's that's kind of interesting. It's kind of nice. But, like, I feel like for an entire point of reputation, I'm willing to ship the big thing off to the Citadel. I'm okay with that. So that's all absolutely fine. So you guys get on with that. Nothing is... Oh, no, sorry. That is built. It just... We never, we never put any order in it, lol. Uh, okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. You guys get on with that. That is now, yeah, we're producing copper. Somebody is going to want that. We just need, yeah, more. I mean, wood's coming in. Uh, we're, we're burning it fast. We're burning it fast. We've also got, you know, we've got plenty of coal. But the amount of coal is now definitely going down. For the simple reason that, yeah, now the coal mine is, is gone. And I don't think there's any more. And have we ever found any... Okay, you could gather more things there, but we, we've still not found any more. Okay, we've not found another source of roots. That is a problem, actually. That that could be a problem. You are... Hang on. You're, you're working on growing stuff here. Okay, you've definitely grown some stuff here, which is good. You guys are definitely... Yeah, you're planting as much as you can. You cracked open that. I'd like you to move to... Yes, here crack open this small glade which is fine as soon as we open the glade we get yeah a bit of a charge uh, and more things in we're about to have ah speaking of which oh excuse me even more cooking people right give me some copper bars that's fine we don't need that many people there's no um, no there's no homelessness because we bought we built loads of extra homes for these people these people are happy they're generating you know tiny bits of extra reputation as time goes by and we can now fulfill some orders. Good. Trade routes. Let's see what we've got. So, Blight Watch is the important one. I think it's actually slowly ticking down over time, isn't it? I think it is. We've got 13. Okay, you know what? We've got 13 of these. We, I don't think we need them. Let's send three. Let's actually sell those right now. So, that's going to be... It's going to take more time, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to take more time, unfortunately. Um, But, send that right now. And you, that's grain. And we do have excess grain at the moment. So just for safety, send, you know, maybe just one. Just to make sure this, this stays topped up. So we're sending both of them. And that should get that sorted out. We've got another glade opened up. We've still got no training gear. We've got no training gear. You're not producing anything. But that's fine. The only reason you're not producing anything is because there's nothing worth producing at the time being. So that, in all fairness, is good because that means no one's... You're not making planks. And if you're not making planks, the wood supply will stabilize. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. So as soon as that's done, that should get us making connections. This, then we should get making glades. And, oh, blimey, that's pretty. Oh, that's sexy as anything. So, okay. Marine remains can be found near copper veins. Gain 10 sea marrow for every... Ah! So all of a sudden, this copper mine is also sort of producing, like, yeah, it's also producing sea marrow, which we don't really use for anything, but oh, that's so cool. Oh, Claire's going to love that when she gets back. Right, so obviously we had to put it on a gigantic rotating platform. That was a really important part of the process. As, as you know, obviously it's, it's all about the, you know, giving it a, bit, giving it a good bit of a wim wham wazzle. Uh, actually, you know what, this furnace... This furnace that I've been kind of ignoring this entire time. And apparently is actually open. Oh, okay. That's fascinating. I didn't know that. This furnace can produce some bricks, which is fine. Uh, Yeah, which is fine. You can produce like bricks up to, I don't know, 25 bricks is absolutely sufficient. Copper bars. Need to just put, yeah, a little bit of, just one bit of coal in. Don't, don't burn the wood. Use the coal to create the copper bars. That's useful. And you can also create pie. We've got flour. You just need a filling. The problem is... Ooh. Okay. Herbalist camp. Okay, hang on, hang on. Herbalist camp. We have... We do have, right here, some, you know, vegetables. 
Put that there. That's that's good. So then you can you can you have berries? Berries! Yes, have berries. So okay, that's that's actually really good. Because we are actually growing berries as well. Berries are coming in. Berries coming in. That was a very quick little break. There was some snuffling. There was a bit of snuffling, was there? Hey Claire. Check yeah. this shit out. <gasps> oh that's I so know cool. you'd like that. We had to obviously put it on a gigantic thing. Obviously very important. So, right, okay. Ted's uh, kind of behind your chair. I will watch out for him. Right, let's just make sure we get everything here. There may be... You can get that. There's not much else here. So you may as well gather this little bit of... Uh, yeah, just gather this here. Grain and just gather it. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, okay. there is definitely something that's been digging in that new uh, in Ooh. that new vegetable bed that Ooh, I made. Oh, has Ted been snuffling at that interestedly? Oh, yeah, he was checking it. Oh, you've done the glade thing. Yeah, we've got a new thing. Oh, that, that was only just, only just this second, in fact. It must, I think it must mm. be that over there, though, because I can see eggs. Oh, and they sell before. tools. These guys are indeed selling tools. We're, yeah, you know what we could do with some more tools? I think, you know, how much is this tool? Oh, tools are cocking expensive. Let's look at this first. So, advanced smelting, don't really care. Two additional beavers come with each group of newcomers. That's fine. Advanced rain collector. Okay, rain production, uh, rain engines in production. The type of collected rainwater depends on the season as tank capacity. Okay, so it just this just collects a giant pile of rain if you're using rain in anything. I don't think we really are at the moment. So I'm kind of okay with any of those. So instead, I'm willing to actually spend quite a bit of money on tools. Because tools are just functionally victory points. Yeah. Like really, when you get down to it. And we're also, yeah, producing, like you were saying, now every time we produce copper ore, it's also producing sea marrow, and we're producing copper ore from giant piles of copper mines everywhere. So this is, this is just, it's functionally free money. And we've got ancient tablets, but I'm pretty sure they're doing something. Yeah, I think they're doing they're, something. They're doing something good for us. So that's the, so we're gonna, we're gonna leave them, leave them be for the time being, and then just pop that over the line. 15 tools. I will take that. 15 tools is bloody sexy. Yes, yeah, so we just got this up here. Giant pass of eggs. Ooh, that'll get us new lizards. Now, did we ever actually collect the... Uh, wait, what are the egg harvesting McJibbles? Do we have a good egg harvester McJibble? No, this is the gatherer. Uh, which is the yeah, small trapper's camp? We never got a, like, a good trapper's camp. But before we do anything... We've got a whole two new buildings to select. Oh, nice. So the scribe for producing good scrolls. We're already producing scrolls at a reasonably effective rate. Weaver. Nice. A fabric has been a problem for mm. a long time. That is that is definitely true. Um, so we could produce clothes, but honestly, let's just check out what you use to produce clothes. Fabric. So right now, fabric production is so terrible yeah. that Weaver has got to be the first pick. Maybe if we want to do the clothes down the line, then... Guild house. Okay, well, we've only got one temple right now, so a need for luxury is kind of cool. We've already got jerky coming in. Barrels isn't something we urgently need. We really do not need the scribe. Let's look at the guild house quickly. So, wine. Wine generates luxury. And on top of that... Hello, Ted. Hi, if you Ted. just heard a good grumble in the this background there. This is why he's not allowed to stay in the room when John records a video, Merchants by the come way, way quicker. And according to custom, a small part of the amber that goes for each guild should be repaid to support the locals. Gain plus one to global resolve every time you sell goods worth 75 amber. It's not great, but you know what? I'll take it. Unless there's a way to make wine here, there's not. I'll take this, and we will look for a way to, to make wine. We will look for a way to make wine. Because that seems kind of cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. So, one weaver. Uh, we definitely need a weaver. A weaver can just be shoved over here in the corner. That's fine, because then you can finally be deactivated, because that means we will not need you anymore. Um, aside from maybe, like, making a handful of pipes, maybe up to, like, ten. Like, just, just one pipe production facility. Like, one person just stay here and, like, make make pipes. Just, just, just... Ten pipes, just so we've got some pipes. That's that's it. That's that's all we need. It's, someone's making copper bars over here, right? Yes, you are making copper bars. That's fine. Uh, don't go crazy on the copper bars. Just twenty is sufficient. Bricks twenty-five. Pies can be limited. I can't believe you're going to put a limit on pies. Pies can be limited quite generously at thirty. 
That's absolutely Ooh. fine. Yes. Anna's in the chat now and says, I didn't hear a grumble. Please move the microphone closer to Ted. Aww. Stone production, leather production, herb production. We are we are actually growing herbs. So there's now herbs growing down over here. You better have two people, right? Actually, it's summer right now. So, wait, why have you guys... Where's the... Oh, maybe they've already... I think they've already been harvested. This is reducing. This has got this coming down. We do have... There's the glades. Sorry, you were right. We did get the glades. So there's another one. Now, hopefully, what I'm hoping for here is wine production. Have you checked trade routes yet? I mean, it's hard to say whether I did that or not. Uh, this is at one, and we've actually got one off to Blight Watch already. It's, I'm just, oh, I'm just that's waiting. fair enough. Just if you're wait waiting, then that's fine. Yeah, so Blight Watch is the important one. There is, in theory, mm. I could... Oh, the only th other thing they want is that. Oh, so I'm hoping in one and a half minutes, that will be the end of it, because I just sent them a load of materials. So hang on, this was also a good quality trapper's camp. So, you know, can way more effective. Which is good, because I think that might be small eggs and large eggs. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree. You can... Yeah, actually, yeah, you know what? That's actually perfect for this location. Let's let's get that in let's get that rebuilt right now, and then we won't need to build our own trapper's camp because this will perfect. already be a superior one. So that's actually ideal. And then Clanner Hall, I doubt we're gonna get, but that's fine. We're about to get standing level. The skeletons alone are worth so much. You are good at making cloth. So that is now your job. Your job is now to make cloth out of plant thread and take the cloth up to 30. That's plenty enough. So they have now got a very perfect job for them, which is ideal. And then, yeah, I think as soon as this completes in 56 seconds, uh, let's just check everything's fine. Uh, fuel levels are okay. Coal level is not as good as it once was. Everyone's at minus four. I'm going to sacrifice... You know what? I'm going to sacrifice the sea marrow. Which is... Has not made anybody happier. Sacrificing the coal has. But the coal is not going to last that long. The coal is going to go down. But we are also gathering more. You guys better be... Yeah, coal is your highest priority. Please keep burning wood to generate coal as fast as possible. This coal is gonna... It's might just just last the night just last the night and okay that building like we were saying come on wine production no exactly what we wanted to see exactly what we wanted to see now surely wine is made out of any container plus berries and we are growing berries nice very nice this is yeah absolutely no question uh it is uh distillery so okay that is very exciting so okay distillery can just go straight over here towards the back of the main town. That is lovely. So that goes down and then, accordingly, we have got ourselves the guild house right there. And we have got all the materials. That apparently wants to be in the nice toasty bit of society, I'm guessing, given it's specifically flagged as such. So, okay, guys, I'm sorry you need to move a little bit. Uh, just kind of, you know, squeeze, squeeze yourselves in somewhere. Squeeze, squeeze yourselves in. Like, right over there. That's fine. That's that's fine. You you can move too. You can... That's that's still, like, you know, it's, it's pretty toasty over here. You, 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 you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Just be... There we go. You can be... By, that, that's an improvement. That's, like, the nice bit of town. It's a nice bit of town right there. And you just kind of go right over there. And that's got to be space. That seems like it would house. be. Oh, yeah. yeah. Loads of space right there. So that is that is lovely as anything. So we'll just kind of put that right in the town centre. Very nice. So we've got wine. We're going to have wine coming in. And this is going to be luxury as well. Everyone's just about holding together here. The, the coal is going to wear out. The coal is worn out. Now everyone's resolve is pretty bloody low. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit of wood. It's only got to last the last quarter of the storm. Uh, but that's fine. I think this is probably going to... If we're lucky, this might be the last day. Because... Here we go. We just need... You guys can use water skins. Uh, I don't know where we're getting water skins from, to be honest. This is, this is a finite limited resource. But that's okay. So you guys just work on producing wine. And you can make wine up to a pretty good solid limit of like 30. Excuse me. That's all we need. Um, drizzle water we don't have. So don't worry about making porridge. Do you need... Oh, you can make barrels. Oh, you can make barrels here. Meaning you can... Oh, well, that's just perfect. 
they make their own barrels. That makes sense. And we've got so much crystallized dew. That is just use the crystallized dew. Plus planks, which how do we have no planks? Okay, we must be producing planks again soon. That's that's fine. And then make them up to just like 20. That's fine. So that's good. That's that's spectacular. And then you we just have one person of each race represented here. So that's generating a whole bunch of bits and pieces, which is lovely. And as soon as we have wine, which is going to be coming in really soon. They're just getting the supplies right now. Wood is in trouble. Uh, you go down. Coal goes back on. Just burn the last of the coal. And I think no one's gone home. Is no one going to go home? No one's going to go there home. They are home. They are home, as it turns out. Ooh, this is making connections is... Uh... Hello. Yeah, I think that one, that one yeah, finally came exactly through. Hello, what Ted. You said. Hello. Hi, Baba. Hi, Ted. So, family gratitude. Actually, sending water skins. No, we don't need the water skins anymore. So, yeah, global production speed 33% faster. Yes, I will take it. We don't, we're not relying on traders right now. Cooking steam. If you leave rainwater for a while, it begins to release a pleasant and warm vapor. Food production speed is increased by 10% for every 50 units of drizzle water. We don't have the infrastructure. Very, we do not have the infrastructure for that. Hi, Ted. And more importantly, we can Hi, deliver Ted. this, which is up to one and last couple of pairs of orders. So let's see if we get lucky. Do you have 16... <laughs> Got 19. <laughs> yeah, so, and Utopia is real hard. So. so basically, screw Utopia. Screw Utopia. That one's a freebie. And do you have 18 lizards? I do not have 18 lizards. Hello. <laughs> Are you being a very, very clingy potato who wants cuddles? Okay, let me just pull my chair back and then... Come here. Okay, discover two forbidden glades at roughly the same time. Yep. Yeah, oh, you might have just heard a little rumble there. That was Ted. Hi. So, okay, are we now producing? We are now producing wine. And wine should be produced very shortly. And that should make everyone very happy. Once we've got, like, everyone's luxury. Because right now, okay, hang on. We Actually, we never sorted out incense. We've, like, we've never been able to actually... Everyone, like, shows up to church and is like, well, this isn't proper religion. There's no incense. Apparently, this is a very Catholic society. Everyone be here would be very disappointed with the CV. Uh, but we do have so many scrolls. So education has been fulfilled. So everyone's happy on the education front. We're just getting, yeah, loads of wood coming in. You guys just get over to here and just chop all of this down. And a Quaker, just no incense, all education. <laughs> then Get we've got dead. ourselves, yeah, amber, large berry basket, so berry yields up, and <laughs> okay, tea production. Hi. Hi. But there's the, Ted is just being a very little wanting attention boy right ah. now, bless him. Uh, you are no longer needed for anything, right? Yeah, you're really not needed for anything at this point. We have a handful of pipes, but we don't need them. Hello. Training gear, don't worry about. If I could open up two glades in two forbidden glades, specifically in quick succession. Okay, you know what? I think we can do that. You guys, cut through this very narrow spot here. Where's the other... Where's the other chappy? You've been fed, right? Yeah, you've been fed, so you're just chill. Sorry, I thought you were talking to Ted for a second. He has been fed. You're over here. Where's the other nearest, hi. simplest? Oh, buddy, hi! Ted is climbing up onto Claire at the Sorry, moment. Sorry, did you want to be a lapdog now? No. Hi. Ted's getting many. Okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go and settle you down. Yeah. I'm going to go pet you until you fall asleep. Ted, Claire, Claire and Ted are Come on, pups. There we go. He's Come very on. keen for attention right now. Well, I can't get up if you stay exactly Ted, right you here. Ted, you have to move so that Claire can get up to give you a cuddle. Hi. Okay, there we go. We figured it out. Hi. We figured it out. There we go. Good job. Shh. Yeah. Now, we need to set up a second danger. So you're cutting through here. We need to come up with a secondary dangerous lair to cut through. This looks relatively cut through. That's that's quite a narrow cut through. That one is, yeah, that's three beavers. What we're going to do in order to slow this down is we're going to make this a little bit wider. We're going to make this a little bit wider because it's clearly a narrower gap. And we want them to be done at about the same time. And also we're going to turn that off for the time being. That's fine. 
So there should now be plenty of wine being delivered to the warehouse. I mean, there's not at the moment, but like there should be, there should be soon. And then the wine should be delivered here. That's going to deliver a lot of. Everyone's very happy. Everyone's, everyone's looking like they're very happy right now. Their needs are, you know, the basic housing, uh, biscuits, pies, clothes. They don't have clothing. They, they look like they've got clothing. That's fine. I'm happy with my if my sexy blue girlfriends all walk around naked. That's okay. That's that's. I just make it with wine and pies. Yeah, they're this is happy. this is accept. That's perfectly acceptable. You need to have people working for you. Apparently, ah, that counts as alchemy. So you guys are good at picking. Uh, picking that nonsense and you know what uh, i think we can do with another one uh, another herbalist camp here because there are some amazing berry bushes over here and now we know that yeah we've got some amazing berry bushes over here if we just basically crack open i mean all we need to do we're almost done like either we need to crack open the two forbidden uh, glades which I think is going to happen by itself. Or we need to crack open literally any glade. And then just find anything we can ship back to the settlement. Because uh, yeah with the harpy housing in play. Especially once the wine starts coming in. Once the wine starts coming in. And the wine is going to start appearing pretty fast. And by the way the wine should be your priority actually. You should uh, you should definitely be doing the wine as the, uh, the absolute priority here. So we've got plenty of barrels. Wine should be coming in first. Why are you making more and more barrels? Stop making barrels. Oh. Two species at once and happy. Oh, that's flippin' do. That'll flippin' do right there. 0 0.1 of that. And then 0 0.3. We are gaining 0 0.43 reputation per minute. This society doesn't even need forbidden glades. It turns out we're just amazing at this nonsense. So, okay. Let's just, you know, help myself to uh, read. Leather. Leather is good. In we go right there. So, this is... Society is functioning. Society's actually cooking, working. It's summer. <laughs> why? Where, where is this wine? Where? Where is the wine? Why do you have so much wine here? Just, just. No, seriously. Where? Have you? If, I know you guys are producing wine. So wh where is it? There you go. You're producing some wine right now. That's good. I just, I just want I just want to complete this with, with I want to complete this just using happiness and oh there we go there's there's thing number one we've got forbidden glade number one over here so we can just ship back okay we can ship that back to the citadel and that's it we we've won we've won right there that's absolutely fine there is also a fuming machinery that could be fixed up to produce a makeshift extractor so counters at full decorative converts it into clearance water ah. It's, it's just a type of water. More good farmland over here as well, which is good. And now you guys focus overwhelmingly on chopping this down. The question is, when you say forbidden glades in quick session, there's no timer on screen right now. Discover at an interval of 450. I'm surprised there's no timer on screen. So we've just discovered one forbidden glade. Oh, wait. Was that dangerous but not forbidden? Oh, wait. Dangerous. Dangerous. Is there a difference between dangerous and forbidden? Yes. Dangerous. Dangerous. Forbidden! That, right. That has, uh, that has red around it. Yes. That, that, okay. Yeah, I, I did not, see that. I didn't notice that that was, that yeah, was a, yeah. that was but a The chat was like, I ah, didn't, do we tell him or no? I didn't notice. Right. Well, we've learned something there. We've learned a very important thing. Okay, we've learned something very important. And also, we, we've learned we need more cocking wood. I'm just getting a third woodcutter's camp out because screw it. We just we just need another one. Just get that down over there. And then, guys, just start chopping. Like, just just chop. Chop, 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 chop. That's that's what we're going to do. So, hello, Ted. You okay under there? Yeah, he's fine. He just needed to be, you know, he just needed me to stay and hold his hand until he fell asleep. That's fair and reasonable. And now, he, yes, he really got, is a baby. We have got so many berries coming in, which Ooh. is amazing. Really, really good. We've got so many herbs coming in. We're growing our own grain. We're growing our own herbs. Society is calm. It's, it's life is wonderful. We are the, okay. The first society I made tonight, that was a mess. I will give you, that was a complete and cocking mess. This 
This is good. This is working. Yeah, this is work much better. This is working, damn it. This is This is working and doing really cool archaeology, and we don't need to find two forbidden glades because we are going to win without completing those two objectives. Yeah, we, we, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say, hey, your majesty, here's here's some shit. Here you go. I'm gonna send it just send some lizards down to just go and, you know, dig dig and up she's that. She's so patient with you right now. Yeah, she's super chill with me. She's, I've I've just completed so much with it. This society has functions damn it this society is function now admittedly we have discovered a petrified tree it looks so cool though i wouldn't consider that like you know he oh i like i, I want to know who lives here oh drizzle wing nests definitely nothing could go wrong from trying to try to, to harvest those excellent there's a good foragers camp as well it's just a petrified tree here a strange tree that's been turned to stone by the rain in 12 minutes the sickness of the petrified tree spreads destroys all stored woods well, that's bad. Alternatively, we could... Oh, we could heal the tree. By pouring tea on it. By by pouring tea on it, yes. Leading to... Oh, well, that's that's just lovely, too. We need just slightly, slightly more, slightly more, slightly more, slightly more. Oh, by any chance, are you selling tea or herbs? Nice. Right, just, 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 just sell me all of... Sell me just a giant pile of herbs. That's fine. Also, I've decided to buy some as a thank you. I'm just putting together a little nice. hamper for the beavers. The beavers like that shit. I've got I 89 amber. I think it's the lizards who like the pickles, actually. No, it's beavers. Oh, Lizard, I'm sorry. Lizards like meat. They like meat-based stuff. Um, so that's all absolutely fine. Also, reputation 0 0.5. I could, I could just buy victory right now. But no, I, I have decided. Hang on. Guys, 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 guys. Where's where 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 was the where was the thing? Hold hold off on that. No, you know how we're gonna win. We're gonna win by healing the sick tree. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to heal the tree, okay? Because that that feels proper noble like, doesn't it? That yeah, that feels good. It does as well. That feels properly like a good noble thing for us to have done and also you know screw these screw this little screw this no no we're, we're harvesting we're harvesting the big eggs we're, we're going and harvesting the drizzle wing eggs damn it all right that's that's absolutely a-okay and you know what we're gonna do we're also gonna build a a ridiculously massive road made of like stone in order to like link are uh, the new tree so that visitors to our society in future can come and observe the tree and go oh shit that's a nice tree yeah that's that's what they'll say that's a nice tree good job they healed it yeah uh by the way are you selling any coal or anything uh would have been nice if you were selling coal um planting crops is faster yeah that might theoretically help actually biscuits can be produced elsewhere that's kind of useful it's never gonna flip and hurt Never gonna flip and hurt. No, okay. So we got, we got one more. We've got one more winter, one more storm to go through. But I think honestly, everyone's pretty, pretty chill. We've got plenty of coal to get us through the night. We've been making coal right now, everyone. You guys, just you know, get, get just keep focusing on building, uh, building paths and whatnot. You guys have no right to be miserable. All right. Oh, I built there's you custom an achievement. Houses. If you do the victory buying instead, there's an achievement apparently. That's no, hilarious. No, I, that, I don't consider I know that acceptable. Do it. I'm not doing I it. Know you're not gonna I'm, do I'm it. going to win by healing a magical tree. We're going to heal the magical tree no, because we're that. good people. And also because if we don't, then it destroys our wood storage. Yes. Well, we'll, we'll win before that's happened anyway, but... Mm. Uh, also, the scouts are idle in a large abandoned cache. I appreciate that. They don't need to be here anymore. That's 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 fine. They can they can go and they can go and do something else. They're welcome to like you know fix up this random machine by plugging wildfire essence and like stuff into it. I, I don't care. Or, or just smash it. Smashing it is fine too. They can just, they can just... They yeah, can't. you get tea if you smash it. Hilariously, they can't actually smash it. There's nowhere to tear it down. They, they need storm water. They need some form of water. We do not have any form of water. But that's fine. The machine, the machine does not matter. It's almost a flipping day. The, uh, the coal has got us through the night. It looks like it takes about 30 coal to get us through a storm. So that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. So we're just going to uh, turn off the coal there. There we are. Coal supplies are fine. It's now drizzle. Everyone likes drizzle. We might theoretically... We might actually win from just beaver happiness. 
Alright, the beavers are just so damn happy. It reminds me of my prom night. Um, oh my god, and... John. <laughs> Alright, you guys are welcome to just uh, tether's part. And hey! the tree has been healed. I have healed the tree. Third time's a charm, three games. Uh, and in the score of target for the first time, uh, I'm going to game with two dangerous blade events still active. And apprentice archaeologist, we reconstructed uh, the sea serpent. Spectacular. Right there. Life is, life is wonderful. Meaning as a result, yeah, there's now trade routes. Oh, shit, they're now actually proper, like, tradey. They're proper trading together and shit right there. So, the question is, is this actually close enough? to get to. No, this is not close enough to get to the bronze seal, uh, which is like the final boss. The whether I could even possibly get to it in this rotation, I do not know. But don't worry about that. We're not to, we're not we're not launching into another society, uh, not launching into another society today. Uh instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap up by just moseying on into here. I've got four deeds turning. That should be just enough for me to pop over to level six. All right. right. So she's not worth anything. That's got to be worth... There, there we go. go. Now we've hit level six. Citadel upgrades. Artisan new building can start showing up. A press. We've heard that mentioned. The monastery. Uh, a trader who might show up with more luxury items. Mm. Last year, so a new trader choice, potentially. A new exploration expedition cornerstone. More frequent caravans as a cornerstone. So yeah, just new stuff's uh, showing up. Just take that too for another 50 XP. But more importantly, that means, yeah, now we are at level 6. Oh, a whole that's bunch, a lot. whole bunch of new stuff just showed up. Now, yeah, we don't have any of these artifacts. I'm assuming those come from, like, the more dangerous events. Like, we yeah, probably would have... I think we would have got those from doing the, um, the really dangerous uh, fish person event where there were no orders, which was, uh, yeah, wild. But yeah, we've also got, yeah, uh, walking speed upgrades, 2% speed for Queen. Yeah, 2% reduction in Queen Impatience and also paying Amber to reroll blueprints. That one strikes me as really quite significant, actually. Mm. Being able to, because by the end of the game, Amber is incredibly common. You can make so much Amber. Mm. So the ability to just say, you know what, I don't have those blueprints. I wanted this particular thing. I needed, like, wine production. Let's get wine production in. Uh, one more cornerstone reroll, which is, that one's kind of nice. This one was, yeah, all resource nodes, permanent plus one to available charges. So, yeah, these last a little bit longer. I feel like, yeah, my only concern is, because I'm at 45, not 48, I can take you. But, yeah, honestly, I feel like the amber for rerolling is, is so good. I've got to take that. Yeah, but that. then you can take one of the 18s. Then I can take the eight, one of the 18s. The 18 and three, which is, yeah, the human house being permanently available. Just like, you know, the ability to say, hey, you guys are going to have dedicated houses. If you have to play a happiness game, like if, you know, the orders are terrible, like having dedicated houses and not having to waste unlocks on them, uh, like your reputation unlocks, just strikes me as really good. So that strikes me as a positive thing too. And obviously that leads into, you know, beaver houses, uh, lizard houses, harpy houses, and then bricks, essential building, fox houses. Okay, there's foxes coming up in the future. And then even you can change uh, starting abilities of the species as time goes on too. And then it just keeps going because this, this, this game is catastrophically weirdly huge. Like wildly weirdly huge. There's just there's so much shit going on here but yeah that's that's us uh, kind so of wait do you all the um, do the other two societies just keep going on their own while you're not there yes they're just doing their own thing but when the bar at the bottom has filled up in full yeah. it will be they will be wiped out well do you want to go and see how they've done in your absence no because you can't we've got... you can't do that oh you can't do that that's sad no, they're they're just doing their own thing uh, and we're not quite in range. We're not actually. Uh, we're not actually in range of uh, the McGibbly Jibble. We I think we need to go one further. And I don't think I'd be able to make it this rotation anyway. Like uh, I, I doubt I'd be able to. Like I've got enough seal fragments in theory to break into this ancient. Uh, the end of the cycle. If the seal is within your embarkation range, you can try and reforge it. I mean, in theory, it's possible I might be able to make it there. Like, if I did this one here and did this one quite fast. Because you can see my first society took a long time. And since then, it's progressively shorter. 
like they they've got faster and faster mm. and like eventually it gets to the stage where you can like you know get all the way out here that's like how fast you can start moving from society to society well yeah because obviously upgrades. once you start getting more upgrades once you start the upgrades going the upgrades start going crazy and i think possibly this one was a tiny bit closer and i kind of you know i looped around to get to a special event around here which kind of slowed me down a little bit so i doubt we'd be able to make it to that and maybe just maybe like if you are officially close enough to it then actually and if you do break one, the, the cycle duration goes up permanently. Nice. Which is kind of cool. So at that point, yeah, then you will have more time at next time to go even further. That's clearly how it works. So, all right. Claire, how are you doing, by the way? Woo! Ooh, okay. Okay, well, then we're going to have a nice little chat at the end, aren't we? Yeah, I'm so sorry. You've just, This has just been a little bit... You've really enjoyed this one, haven't you? Yes. And oh, and you would dear, and you dear. and you were, had to do a bit do a bit of TED management. Yes, TED management and a lot of chat management because um, let's say people were just a little bit frustrated. Oh dear. That you were still discovering the game. I'm sorry. And figuring things out. I'm sorry, anyway. I did my best. Shout out to Mothfoot who uh, gave us uh, $9.37 and says this chat is sponsored by my awful job because this stream is a better use of time than listening to co-workers pontificate on things that they don't understand. Oh dear. Sorry, I was running out of breath, but I'm assuming that that kind of conveyed the frustration mm -hmm. uh, nicely. And uh, let's see. Enrico says, uh, I bought this game after watching your video. Thank you for recommending it. And gave us uh, 20 uh, Brazilian reais. It's a really interesting game. I Here's the thing. I, I don't... I feel like there's so much in this game. I still don't know whether it would have been on my games of the year list. Because this was mm. obviously last year's game. I still don't know whether I would have put it on that. I feel like it's one of those games where there's... Like, I admire how much stuff there is in it. But, like, I still feel like I still don't know it well enough to be able to evaluate yeah. it like that. Which I think is very interesting. Yeah, shout out to Nishaiken who gave us two dollars and to uh, Chris P. Bacon who became a new uh, channel member. Uh, and also shout out to uh, The Alb who gave us 20 pounds and says Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Yes, I'm still indeed. I'm still used to saying 2024. That yeah, feels it's still it always it always takes me to at least February to feel like yeah, to, yeah. to feel normal talking about the the new the new year number. Yeah, Augustus gave us ten dollars and asked, uh, "Can we pet the pup?" And, and Ted has been well petted. That don't was worry. just before I went to pet Ted for a long while, a lot so that worked. Of and Ro White gave us two pounds Hello, and wanted Rona. to know about Ro White. Yes. Uh, wanted to know about the difficulty level in this game. Uh, yes, I have seen this. There's, I've been playing all of this on Pioneer, which is, like, normal. And as a result, like, you know, there are negative effects coming in. If you want to play it on, like, Settler, then, yeah, you get more positive effects and, like, very few uh, negative effects. And also, villagers eat less food, so it's oh. easy to keep atop things. Or you can go up to, like, harder things. But, like, as I understand it, this also affects, like, um, the rewards that come in. So, yeah, like, if, if you play in Settler, you get, like, way less. But, like, if, say, for example, probably, like, if you want to make a rush for this thing, then you'd, like, maybe you'd say, okay, you know what? I'm going to just do this on Settler because there's going to be... Is it literally... Yeah, there's literally... It's literally a shorter game. There's less reputation points you need to kind of get. The village is eating less food. There's less that needs to be done. So you'd probably you'd probably do that at that point. You'd kind of make a rush on the lower oh difficulties. Oh my god! But if you go for the highest difficulties, you get way more rewards. Hey John. Yes. You see where it says locked at the bottom? Yes. Chris says there's like twenty further levels. Well, the, not difficulties, surely. Well, I think it like might five be five difficulties. I mean, by le I think by levels. Chris, please elaborate. I think they mean these levels because you can see here the levels go up to eighteen or so. Mm. I think they must. I think they must well, mean. Well, I level. I've asked them to elaborate, so we'll see what yeah, they say. Yeah, they must mean that. Uh, shout out to Bitter Magic who gave us twenty uh, pounds and says hello, John, Claire, and Teddy. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying this brand new year so far. Uh, Claire, any new recommendations for sci-fi fantasy uh, and LGBTQIA plus friendly fiction? I'm afraid at the moment I've actually been reading uh, like more like classic older stuff. Like I've just been stuck into uh, the Anne of Green Gables books. Mm. And because those were written, you know, I don't know, like 1900 something. Uh, they're not, you know, 
I mean, they're definitely not sci-fi and fantasy, and they're definitely not, uh, they're definitely not queer friendly, uh, you know, but that's what I've been reading right now, so I don't have, like, new recommendation, but I will have to say, seeing John play this game tonight has Lol. really, really made me, uh, want to go back and reread, uh, the fifth season series by N.K. Jemison, which, like, I know that's not new, and I know you probably all know about it because of the many Hugo wins, but that is, like, you know, books about a sci-fi fantasy world in which uh, there are seasons, uh, but, like, very dramatic seasons that basically have a lot of catastrophes, and there's a Lol. Uh, quite a few uh, canonical queer relationships in uh, those books. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I would definitely recommend that. And there's uh, also recommendations in chat, so I would go check those. Mm. Chris confirming, yes, it is actually that many difficulties because it's like Hades, where you can just add more and more and more and more and more. Because Hades like technically has, like, I don't know, 60 difficulty levels because of like the heat thing and i'm guessing it works like that yes yeah 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 because apparently it's a prestige thing yeah uh very very nice indeed uh shout out to uh foster who's been a member for 28 months and says happy new year everyone Against the Storm was a last minute addition to my favorite games of last year. I've played over a hundred hours and I'm loving it. Nice. Yes, indeed. I mean that Foster and also Chris, uh, who was just uh, uh, just talking now about the difficulty level, have been yeah. really helpful with uh, with advice this stream. Yes. Uh, Chris has been a member for 13 months and says just a quick thank you. I've been re-watching Subnautica, and it kept me calm enough before a job interview that I got a job! Nice! Subnautica is such a fun series. Very, very nice indeed. And also, Chris gave us five pounds and says it's awesome to watch you discover the game. It's enjoyable, never really frustrating. Thank you for managing chat, Claire. I'm not sure how sarcastically you were supposed to read that. I feel like that might have had a layer of sarcasm behind it, lol. No, I don't think so. John... They spend a large amount of their time watching you that they uh, don't have fair. to. I think they like you. Fair enough. I think they're genuine because you're quite funny Aww. and charming. Oh, Flash, what what do you want? I just like you. Oh, uh, fair enough. You're weird. Well, yes, but I've been weird in the exact same way for like, what is it, 15 years? Mm-hmm. Oh, we're coming up on the anniversary, We are, we are, way. blimey, I know. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh... <laughs> Shout out to Moken, who gave us 200 Norwegian kroner. Mm-hmm. Uh, and says, hello there, Master Ted and Lady Claire and Servant John. Lol. That's what it says. <laughs> Master Ted, I re- uh, remember your Servant John saying that he likes theme park games. If you would find it in your best boy heart, could you please tell Servant John about dream park stories? Dream Park Stories. That I've never heard of that before, which is strange. Mm. Is that like a, it might be a really old one? That might be like a really, really old classic one. Sometimes people do recommend it, like the older, really old classics. And Chris confirms in chat, not at all sarcastic. Oh well, that's lovely then. Yeah. Uh, oh, another person who was very good at his game and good with their advice is Ancient Hydra, who gave us ten dollars and says. Uh, OMFG, after being a fan of your content since I was introduced to Fallout 4 YOLO in late 2021, I have finally been able to catch a stream live and you are playing one of my favorite games. Nice. And they got super involved in chat, which oh, was really good. lovely to good. see. Good, 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 yes, good. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Uh, Can you attempt to... Well, I'm just kind of curious, like, in theory, on the lowest difficulty, how fast can you just... Are you going to speedrun it? I'm going to try and speedrun it. Come on, speedrun it! I'm going to try and speedrun it. So additional wood, additional... Adi- yeah, just additional wood and stone. Literally on the lowest... Put it the lowest difficulty. So there's less negatives and more positives. And there's le- you need less reputation points. Because I think if you literally just get to the, the thing, you can repair the thing. So on top of that, yeah, villagers can just not consume food. And the the yeah, this is just it's just look at this. It's just nice farmland. It's really it's a really nice forest. This is just you know a super nice thing. So let's see if we can like you know properly get this done. 
in a flipping hurry. We're just going to go straight away. We're just going to go, yep, two of you guys. That is, what even is that? That's Oh, that's clay. We've got flipping clay. No. Nice. Wild. We've actually got clay on this occasion. Actually, uh, wild there. Uh, a small forage camp. Actually, you know what? Let's just uh, quickly just check the things. Uh, carpenters, weavers, brickyards. A proper forage camp. Well, we know there are vegetables here. And we know there are roots here. Uh, yeah, I'll take a proper forage camp. That's literally... Uh, well, literally, there's a nice one. Uh, the press that we just unlocked there for production of oil. Smelters, artisans, brickyard. Honestly, the brickyard strikes me as solid. Just the ability to produce uh, bricks is good you will need bricks dotted about that strikes me as a useful starting one and yeah a classic small farm that's absolutely fine uh as well just for producing that grain yeah that's a good uh solid one there so a proper uh foragers camp uh which we can set up uh right there just to kick us off together with a do you need mine for clay is that is that how clay works how do you Oh no, clay's being gathered by a stonecutter's uh, camp, which once again, we can just pop down over there. So okay, we just get everyone going, everything's going to be fine. And then we just basically try and, yeah, speed run, put it up to, yeah, the fastest speed. And, and then we see just... if we can, uh, yeah, find the, the right uh, Ooh, orders human, and stuff. Humans are back, by the way. Humans! Humans are flipping back and humans are very good at farming. Ooh, so and they you can... can make them human houses now. Exactly, they can have proper human. No, I suspect, I think human houses probably need, yeah, they need more advanced materials. Oh, so base fussy plebs. I think you know the um, the harpy houses needed like fabric. So I think it's just like uh, I think it's just like uh, you just need uh, a special material of some description for each type. So all right, get on with that, you guys. Though no beavers, which means our wood chopping is going to be less efficient. But we kind of offset that because uh, we've obviously got um, the royal woodland. This is good wood, so it generates stuff faster. So that's actually, uh, that's just fine. Clap. Uh, yeah, shout out to Cherry Cook Boy, who uh, gave us $5 and says, I've been playing this game nonstop for the last months and I was going to ask if you'd heard of it and you found it on your own. I'm proud of you. <laughs> nice, proud, nice, interesting yeah. concept. Yes, indeed. Uh, and uh, shout out to Antoine, who uh, gave us $5. Uh, and says, hey, John, I just had my first kid last year, December 13th of 2023. Uh, I'm posting in the Discord some pictures of little Miss Everly Marie. Uh, so 2024 uh, looking 100%. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Congrats, Antoine. Uh, and uh, yeah. Have a small farm, have grain and vegetables. <laughs> I thought you were responding that. to the super chat. Yeah, also, buy a, your child a small have farm. Have a small farm with your kiddo. Discover two glades. Easy. Yeah, fine. Discover mm. two glades right there. And then uh, harvester's camp and stonecutter's camp. I'm pretty sure I've got a stonecutter's camp. I don't think I've got a harvester's camp. Hang on. Check which buildings are doing it. I do have a... Uh, no, I have a harvester's camp and a stonecutter's camp. Right, well, then, then we'll just take those and then build those things, and that will be fine. And uh, every newcomer group has to edit your videos, uh, plus do that. Game one, tablet, every. Com Ooh, ain't time for every completed Glade event just for free. Is, every two, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Yeah, screw it. We'll take that right there, and as I've literally got these buildings, we'll literally build those. We've already got the Stonecutters camp. Uh, so yeah, we just need to build a harvester's camp at the point when we find either plant fiber or reeds. Right now we haven't found either of them. But yeah, we'll just chop through some things and we'll get those done pretty easy. Vegetables coming in, everyone can just eat the vegetables. This is off to a strong start. Claire? Uh, yes, indeed. Shout out to Oman Gaming who gave us $10 and says, Nothing bad happens when the fire goes out, says John. Is this when we tell him that there's a cornerstone that erases all his current fuel in order to amp up future wood production? I think I saw that, actually, and I yeah, turned yeah, it down because yeah. it was terrifying. Yeah, well, that comment came in after that happened, but uh, I think they had uh, just showed up to the stream, actually. Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Rancid, uh, Rancid Kip gave us uh, 10 pounds and says, Hey, I'm curious if you guys are into theatre. Uh, it seems like there's been a lot of interest in Greek me in Greek myth 
And I was wondering if you're going to see uh, Hades Town. Did you catch the immersive show, The Burnt City? I did not. Uh, I uh, I honestly don't get to the theatre much. I used to be in the theatre. Like uh, I used to be way into theatre. I used to be way into theatre. Oh, you know, you used like... to be into proper theatre. I used to be into silly theatre. Well, uh, I used to be into both, but mm -hmm. um, the thing is, like, yeah, just because, you know, well, first of all, with COVID, like after after that, you know, during that and and since after that. I've not really gotten back to the level of going out with, with friends mm. to events That's that I true. used to do before. That's true. Uh, but, like, theatre in London is very expensive. It's very expensive. Like, it's, it's really, really, really expensive. Really, really expensive. That's I true. I mean, you know, I, we've seen, like... Uh, we've seen, I think, Les Mis most recently. Yes, and that, that was, was lovely, yeah. Be that was great. Um, sea marrow deposit. Okay, apparently gathered by Stonecutter's Camp. Fascinating. Also, bleeding tooth mushrooms. Nice. Are gathered by the... Is that gathered by the very specific thing we needed to... No, it is not. That's a shame. I was hoping it might be. Uh, right. But that's also a large, so... Ah, yes, it might be a more important thing. And also, there is a large destroyed caravan. I've seen this one before. So, yeah, if you loot this thing, people get a little bit um, scared for the time being just because they're afraid of whatever destroyed the caravan. But it does get you a giant pile of really good starting resources. Or you just turn it back, but we literally have none of those things right now. So we're just going to loot for the time being. Um, um But, yeah... Uh, I've not seen uh, Hades Town or the Burn C the Burn City either. I just I would love to be able to go go more, but it's just like you you get into town and then you're gonna probably eat in town and then it's just like it's just really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> dear oh dear, uh, mushrooms no, are the, the, herbalists. No, I, I would also mushrooms. Sorry. Herbalist camp, as you need for the mushrooms. The herbalist camp, yes. That's small, though. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the small one, so it wouldn't count. Yeah, so that's absolutely fine. Also, there is also another hidden thing down here. Do we bring any... Sometimes you have tools, sometimes you don't. It's all very peculiar. Uh, but yeah, if we break this open with just a handful of rocks, bare minimum, that will get us, yeah, some bricks and meat to start us off with. So we'll just crack on with that, and that is moving in the right direction. In fact, there we go. We've already cracked open two glades. Moving in the right direction, uh, right there, which is a free point of reputation. And we only need to get 12 to complete this. So on this occasion, we're starting to, yeah, get a more clear view as to what's going on. Rain mill is, I mean, rain mill is just, yeah, rain mill, uh, we don't have the grain yet. So we don't need to be worrying about mills or bakeries or leather workers. Oh, in fact, we don't need to, all of this is a little bit on the uh, unnecessary side. I mean, I guess rain mill will be useful when we do have grain, which we will be having. So we'll take that because I don't have the money to re-roll at the moment. Speaking of which, yeah, we need to just find some farmland. Just need to find some farmland so that we've actually got the ability to uh, grow that grain. Because that's clearly going to be the, the center of everything before we're done here. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Let me see. Also, I think I left us without a firekeeper. Sorry, that's that's probably bad. I appreciate. Uh, shout out to uh, O Man Gaming who uh, gave us five dollars and wanted to know if you ever came to grip to grips with Dwarf Fortress on your own time. I'm not asking for a stream or more videos or anything. Just curious if you've if you've ever got it. I tried it a couple of times. It didn't quite click with me in the way that some other stuff does. Like, you know, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 eventually did. Dwarf Fortress didn't just ultimately quite click with me in the same way. I'd say it's bad or anything. It's just, it just didn't quite, quite work for me in the end. And yes, we did unfortunately lose a harpy. They got too unhappy during the, uh, during the looting event. It is now stormy as well. It's a bit of a rough start in a way. It's kind of unfortunate that we're still during the event of uh, the uh, the looting during a storm. Uh, hopefully we won't lose any lizards. If we do, well, we should gain some new people soon. So that should be absolutely fine. Just need to find, uh, yes, the harvester's camp for yeah, plant fiber or reeds. At some point, just to find some plant fiber or reeds. Claire. Uh, yes, indeed. Uh, shout out to... Uh... Shaney Thrias. Mm. Cool name. Excellent uh, name. Who uh, gave us 10 euros and says, Hey, John and Claire, I'm finally on hormone therapy. Hooray! Here's to a brighter future for everyone. And of course, trans rights. Damn straight. Absolutely trans rights. 
Uh, and speaking of, actually, shout out to Hannah, who um, gave us $5 and uh, commented last week about surgery and says, uh, John Clairette, the surgery went well. I'm super tired, though, so it's nap time for the next week. I will catch the stream later and have fun. That seems legit. That seems very legit. Yes, yeah, seriously. I'm so glad to hear it went well. Uh, and yeah. You know, well, once you have the energy to listen to this stream, we'll be here. Mm -hmm. Uh, dear, oh dear. Lol. Uh, shout out to Adam who gave us five Canadian dollars. Excellent dollars. And says, happy Thursday after last week's Civ stream. I'm thinking of trying it out. Do you have any tips? Have fun, be nice to Claire, and please pet Ted for me. Keep your cities growing, production is king. All right, if you've got, pl if you're still growing and plenty of food and you've got plenty of production, everything else will follow. Very, very nice indeed. Now, what do we got uh, in this city? Well, we've got more people arriving, which is good, together with the apps. Just accept as many people as possible, because right now it's a bit on the low side. Unfortunately, we lost our uh, one. Our uh, one little uh, sexy blue lady, but she's back now. She's back now, and you are just gathering all of this together, and that's going to increase carrying capacity, which is marvellous. Right now, we don't have the... Ah, 10% uh, faster movement speed is spectacular. So 100% will just get that done right there. Go, lovely. Working on that. Everyone's got housing, right? Now we need one more house, including... Now uh, we don't really have the bricks for a human house yet. You guys are just stuck with uh, basic houses for the time being. Sorry about that, guys. You're just going to have to make flippin' do. And you, this is harvesting food, and lizards are enjoying harvesting food and meat. So yeah, we've got some, we've got some good starting resources here. Good starting resources here, and more coming in too. So okay. Newly discovered resource nodes have more chargers. Five for small, 15 for large. That's pretty good. More lives with harmony. B -b 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 Every glade event solved by making decision marked as empathy. Lowest hostility by minus 40. Okay. It's kind of interesting. Cost of knowledge is high. You see the contents of undiscovered glades, but discovering dangerous or forbidden glades kills a villager. Oof. We we're going to do it, we got you? plenty of villagers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got plenty you of villagers. You were just saying you were short of villagers. Yeah, but now we're going to know precisely what's in every That's single true. one. And it's yeah, only... and you might be able to catch one where it's like um, mm. a group of people. Yeah, what we need more than anything is... Does it flag... Does it actually flag uh, farmlands, though? Because it may or may not flag farmlands. Oh, it flags a dewberry bush. And patches of broccoli. I'm not sure whether, yeah, it actually includes... Fertile soil times 14. Ah, you're right. Excellent. What we're looking for is, yeah, for, and there's fertile soil in the nice, the nice soft, the nice soft and kind. And a hermit. So that is precisely what we want. You, buddy, are our priority for the time being. Just take that out. We'll cut fruits there, and then we can get farming going. So, yeah, honestly, I think that's worth it just for the level of information and like that you, we can gain. You, it's only a problem if you get into the dangerous glades. Yeah, exactly. Or when you get into the dangerous glades. Rather. Exactly. If we just ignore them, it won't be a problem at all. So that is all absolutely A-OK. -okay. Yeah, small encampments, etc., etc. Yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. Mm. So, okay, we've also got, yeah, more boxes over here. That's oil and shovels for... Ooh, move fasting, moving faster on roads. I mean, do enjoy roads. Do you got to enjoy roads. We've got plenty of... You love of yourself a road. The roads are nice. I mean, with yeah, we've got faster movement and also faster roads nearby. You just said you needed more uh, things to work on. Well, that's fine. You can help yourself to sea marrow. Admittedly, I'm not 100% sure precisely what Sea Barrow does or is, but I'm sure it's all absolutely fine. And you need to probably need an extra person, don't you? Yeah, you 100% need an extra person. You notice we don't go into the dangerous glades. It's not your problem. Everything, everything absolutely as it should be. And because you are around over here and we need more wood just to keep everything going, you just get over here and you guys just start going in this direction. But don't go into the glade, otherwise people die. Okay? Just don't go into the dangerous glade. It's fine. Absolutely fine. Uh, and shout out to Pete, who gave us $20. Thank you very, very much indeed. Sorry, do you want to read those first? Not very good. So, okay, you want uh, coal. We literally don't have coal. 
You want eight for you want goods. Oh, that's a tricky one. Luxury goods. There are various buildings that can produce luxury goods, but coal literally doesn't exist. Now it could be produced from a mine. Well, then again, if we have the the using the kiln, we can just make coal. And building materials is relatively easy, and we've got the rain mill. Yeah, we'll take you. Not the not the easiest selection there. And luxury goods again, lol. Meanwhile, happy harpies. And four aesthetic decorations. Okay, we, happy harpies shouldn't be too difficult to sort out. And aesthetic decorations is... We can literally just slap them down, like, right now. That's, yeah, literally just, just put four lamps. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Lamps. This this one this one house has lamps outside it. Job done. And there is yeah, there's the farmland and there's the foxy trader who is trading Okay. Uh roots every time you discover a new glade. Fine. Uh gain six packs of provision every time you discover a new glade. That's more interesting. And a proper trapper's camp. I've already got a proper trapper's camp, so I really feel like I don't need another one. That's I... pretty good. I mean, we've got... We already picked up ancient tablets. We don't need these for well, anything, do we? Well, you've got the, like, the flamey McJibble at the bottom. Yeah. So, I feel like if I just kind of trade these out for... I won't... I'll, I'll trade all but one. And then, if I want to buy this off you with your own money, then I need, uh, yeah, seven, 17 of these. So, just take that up to uh, 17. And that's okay. Then I just need to get the value up a little bit. I don't really want to get what wood's going to become a problem down the line. We're swimming in vegetables for the time being. So that's a okay. We've got loads coming in. There we go. That's fine. Do that trade, and now get packs of provisions every time I move, Very which will be nice. useful for all of the rest of that. And more importantly, need to get down a small farm to begin operation. You slightly in the way, buddy. You're slightly in the way. Slightly in the way there. Yeah, there we go. And the uh, farm fields. All of that, please. So, right, just get that underway. And also, yeah, get. Yeah, now we're going to be doing a lot of walking along this path. Get some basic paths down. Good, 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 good. Claire. Uh, yes, as I was saying, Pete gave us $20 and says, hey, John Claire and good boy, Teddy. He is a very good boy. He is the best boy. I just got back from a work trip to Boston and I found that I knew the geography of the city pretty well from playing Fallout 4. Nice. Have you ever visited a city in real life after exploring the city in a game? No. Uh, I've done it the other way around, of course, with London and Watch, in Watch Dogs Legion, which is cocky hilarious because so Also London and Pokemon. Oh, London yes. is a Pokemon game. And, and more importantly, Stoke-on-Trent and Pokemon. Um, right, just great. And also Seattle in um, in The Last of Us. Yes, there was all sorts of bits and pieces. And, and of course, again, in, in small scale in, in uh, The Crew too. Uh, everything, it all works out beautifully in the end. It's hilarious that Soho is one street. The entirety <laughs> of Soho is one street with a few rainbow flags on it. That's Soho in Watch Dogs Legion. Mm -hmm. London is proper shrunk down. It's hilarious. Mm. So, okay. All we need to do is, yeah, we're almost through. Luckily, on this occasion, yeah, everyone's much happier. We start planting here. Humans are good at planting. We just do nothing but grow grain. The small farm is already completed. So, that's moving in the right direction. We just need, I mean, let's could build the harvester's camp. And then we can, like, we can find somewhere to put it later. In fact, you know what? Harvester's camp. We'll, we'll use, we'll use our, our psychic knowledge here. Harvester's camp is, we are aware, plant fiber or reeds. So I just need to find some plant fiber or some reeds. Uh, that's that's literally all we need to do. A uh, flax field. Is that, I think that's, that's plant fiber, that's right? Plant that's fiber. the same, yep. like, a... Uh, yes, it is. So, drawing. in which case, guys, let's get over to here and crack that open. That's what you're doing now. Lovely. So, all right. You're moving in the right direction. We've got ourselves new buildings here. Plantations. Don't worry about plantations for the time being. Trappers camp we definitely don't need. Uh, then again, a herbalist camp. We've got, we've got berries dotted about. Yeah, I'll take a proper herbalist camp because we've definitely got uh, a proper... We've got proper berries here and proper things too. So, actually, I can just fit both of you. Very nice. In a single thing, which is kind of good. Though, ah, you need you need proper 
Yeah, you need uh, proper uh, wood. Oh, no, you don't need proper planks. You don't need, you need, you need proper planks. You're fine. So you're just going to go through there. Everything's looking, yeah, and this is all looking fine. During drizzle, we're going to plant a huge amount of grain. Get the grain coming in. Then we just need yeah, a handful of coal. I think we can generate coal. No, brickyard is for bricks. We'd need a kiln. Or something. And a pack of uh, building materials is... I can do that at the makeshift post. It's not very good, though. That's the uh, that's the downside. I can't do those then. And the... Uh, actually, yeah. And then the rain mill can... As we've got, we're going to have flour coming in pretty soon. We can have, at that point, just uh, slap a rain mill down there. But we're definitely going to be needing a little basic crude workstation. Just for the sake of kicking us off with the basic materials because we can't even build the uh the rain mill yet we don't have the planks or the things i don't think so we're just going to get that there in particular yet yeah, the fabric we don't have do we have more people yeah yeah we got a handful more people showing up we will need more so just don't go into that so yeah literally just planks things literally just take five uh just ten literally just put it to just get it to ten so we've got enough to build any given building that exists and yeah you've got you've got plant fiber for that you've got clay yeah we actually do have clay on this occasion don't use stone and there we go you just get on with that lovely uh yes and if you have any like purple buildings yeah if you put harpies working in purple building they get happier so that works with our eh. goal of making the, ha the harpies happy uh, can I check where you guys are working from? Oh, blimey. Okay, yes. One of you is working in the ancient half, so that's fine. So the other one doesn't need to work uh, Doesn't need to work there. But one of you can be in here and just get on with harvesting that right there. Though we are still desperately in need of more people. We've got the cornerstones coming in. One new villager every time you discover a glade. Very nice. Which is going to offset the dead person. If we open a glade, a dangerous glade, a person dies, we get a new one straight back again. Bang. Yeah, we can pretend that it was... Uh, exactly. I just yeah. said, oh, that was, that's Tim. Tim's always been here. What are you talking about? Yeah. How'd you ever heard of this Steve person? Oh, silly name. Anyway, shout out to Critical Maz, who's been a member for nine months and says, my university papers uh, for 2024 just got approved. I'm officially a student again. Nice. So, celebrations. Also, apparently we had, we had a giant thing of... Um, plant fiber up here that I just completely didn't Lol. see. So we absolutely did not need to dig through into this glade. But the opening glades is going to get us new things, so it's new fine. People now, yeah. Exactly, so it's absolutely fine. We've already got the aesthetics. We just need the harpies to get up to uh, 14 happiness. And actually, that's true. You were We were just saying, weren't we? That harpies, uh, yes, harpies will be happier. That's why I told you about it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. So put them uh, in there. We don't have harpy buildings, unfortunately. Uh, but you know what? Just to keep the humans nice and content, we'll put one human house down just to mess with them. I'm not sure we've got anyone who's actually uh, functioning as a builder right now. So as soon as we open the next uh, thing, someone new will arrive. In fact, I'm pretty sure someone just did. So now we're there. Yeah, they, uh, the symbols disappeared. So that's all working. Hello there. Who are you guys? Two new people. Welcome them. Give them mushrooms. They they can they can just be they can be mushroom people now. That's absolutely fine. We need uh we need two new people. We desperately need uh new people at the moment. So yeah, this is all making a fast little progress here. The harvester's hut will be built in like no time whatsoever. I need both people working on you. We just need one of you working here for gathering so that we can just continue building and yeah in no time we'll have the harvesters camp done ha ha happy resolve now we've got them working in a purple roof building once we've got them fully mm. settled and especially once we get some better food going on should be no trouble at all what do they like for food i don't know what they like for food actually Ooh, does anyone in chat no one could tell us i suspect they will so okay uh leather <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot of wood you got there. Uh huh. Don't worry about scrolls just yet. Do we need building materials? I don't think we need building materials. Just don't make... you like? Oh no, it's traveling provisions you get whenever you find a glade, right? Exactly. Just get flour up to thirty, and that's absolutely fine. We do have our. Uh, we could do with one human working in there. So one of you works in here. 
human works in the flower things because human be flipping farmers and speaking of which you now change over to this job and you help out with the flower production so that should mean we've now got grain we've got flower oh, we there's are there's a species panel that you can open apparently check ah. the panel by pressing the arrow next to the portrait now for the time being instead uh, Deliver 35 mushrooms. We've got a herbalist camp and we've got... That's we've five got 50, harpies. We've got 50 mushrooms. Look. And they will also come with giant piles of coats. So we can literally auto-deliver. Which also gives me giant piles of these individuals. Great. That's an extra point right there. Uh, complete eight trade routes. Absolutely not. Pack of trade goods. Uh, I think that's probably easier. We seem to keep an eye out for anything that can generate trade goods. So, smithy, lumber mill, weaver. It's pretty common. One of those will show up pretty soon. And then, uh, yes, need for clothing fulfilled. I bet, look, we're literally... Yeah, we, we just ju got we just, those free clothes. We just got a giant pile of free clothes, which is therefore going to make that, yeah, dumb. I bet everyone's now going to just go and get the clothes because we've just picked up. How many how many clothes did we just get? Like loads. Like, no, no that's vegetables. That's, <laughs> that's vegetables. They're both green. Clothes. 20 yeah. clothes. So there we go. So it's already seven, eight, nine. Just go get some more clothes. Someone just go and get some clothes. Hey. Oh, that has to last two minutes. Oh, shit. Oh, but shit. But you've got those camps finished. Yeah. And the camps are at least finished. That's true. And more people are arriving as well. More people who I bet need clothes. So, yes, the camp's done, which is good. That's just some extra machine parts. It's never going Very to nice. flipping hurt right over there. You guys just stay stay fulfilled. Just, just keep your fulfillment. And you guys are good at this nonsense, uh, which is fine. You guys are already doing that. Do you need more? Yeah, more stuff needs to be done uh, here. We already got two people down here. We've already got two people doing it that job you guys can just yeah we've got more over in this direction uh you guys just keep on and keeping on honestly the best thing you can probably do is at this point you guys can just move back over here and just get on with yeah clearing out the space that we need for basic living around our starting fire which is I mean, yeah. okay once it's not storm anymore you could look at if there are any more purple roofed buildings that you can build just to make the harpies work it there so they're happier. Quite possibly and speaking of which, one absolutely core cool building we should just get back down now uh, is where are you? Trading post. Mm, yeah, of yeah, course. Just, just get a trading post down because we want to have you know, traders showing up because mm. traders might literally like pack of building materials and call and speak of pack of building materials. Let's see if we can get something that makes a pack of building materials. That's a pack of trade goods. But we do, we do need trade goods yeah, too. we do need that, We yeah. do need trade goods too. And in all fairness, planks being produced is solid. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You're always going to need um, planks. And a harpy house. Very we nice. Need ha we need harpy happiness, don't we? We need happy harpies. We need happy harpies. Harpy house, go. So, okay, that is perfect. You are now not in range of anything that you need because there is now nothing you are actually required to do so okay deactivate you until we find some more stuff that can kind of uh work with that so in which case how much do we have of we've got some but not a huge amount of cloth so you are making more cloth right now brilliant take that up to 20 if we want uh happy harpies we've got 10 harpies in society so three houses should be just fine. Just put one and two and one at the bottom over here is fine. Uh, so okay, you guys will have we'll have more we'll have more coming in. There's literally more cloth coming in. So after the storm's over and especially yeah, they'll get much can, happier. I mean they're already get, at seven during already, the storm. They're at seven like, during storm. Good. Storm's gonna end. I think they're happiest during drizzle. We've got ha good houses. We've already got good houses coming Look in for that. them. And need for clothing is almost fulfilled. Three, two, one, done. Alright, so that's fine. Frequent caravans, rich glades, uh, just more in deposit, and people are feeling oddly rebellious. Global resolve for every impatience. <sighs> Interesting. I mean, there's always going to be a bit of impatience, but like, not that much. Mm. Anything that, incre any honestly, anything that does global resolve, I'm willing to accept. 
Like, I, I'm okay with that. So that one's done straight away, together with, you know, being better at making... Uh, there's and just extra part of free fabric, fabric for, the houses. for the houses, which is going to make it way easier to get the happy happiness done. So that's going to be like those are going to be thrown up in no time whatsoever. So that's going to that's surely going to push up happy happiness a fair way because they're going to move straight into those houses once they, like if there are specific houses they'll take them. Moving twelve to eleven, I think they might need some food before they might need some specific food before anything else. Unfortunately. So, ah, speaking of which, we've also got ourselves a lovely person who's just arrived. Uh, would anyone, would you like to maybe, like, sell me some nice food? No, this guy doesn't sell nice food, which is a shame. Workers aside to Glen events carry extra items. That's never going to flip and hurt. I will gladly sell you both of, yes, my uh, ancient tablets, which I don't need for anything else right now. So take that over to, yeah, 15. Trade, give me, yeah, more carry. More carry is great. That's absolutely fantastic. And wait, did I just click on the wrong one? Thirteen. Oh no, sorry. I need to. I need to. I need one more McJibble. Uh, just just one more thing for just one, one more. Yeah, fine. I gave you a good deal. Scouts pack. Great. More scouts doing more glade events. Glade events are great. And if they can be cleared up faster, you can be moving on to the next event faster. So life is good. And also. All right. Next to the portraits on the left. Yeah. Uh, you can check the eh. specific species tab. He wasn't doing it on purpose, guys. There's just a lot going on. There's so much. There's so much shit on screen, guys. Seriously. So wait, you can see what harpies want to eat. Yes. Uh, education. They'd love jerky. They'd love some jerky or some biscuits. They would love some jerky or some biscuits uh, or some pie. Jerky biscuits. So they're not pie. picky, basically. No, they would love that. They they'd like some services. They they'd be happy for that. They they'd love they love pie. They've got harpy housing, but it's not quite enough. So I think we just need to get them some uh, some nice food, which is fine if we're very lucky. We've now got ourselves the ability to. I mean, yeah, you can f pick one of those two harpy buildings and make them work in there. Yeah, but that's gonna mm. generate. Ba, 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 ba. We don't have the great... We don't have a brilliant selection. Can we just get a one re-roll for free? Yes, one re-roll for free. And bakery. Very nice. Everybody That's loves a bakery. Wanted. Bakery is precisely what we need. We're swimming in flour. We're good. We've got good grain production right now. The bakery is spot on for what we want. So the bakery is perfect. You guys aren't doing anything right now because flour is already presumably like at its cap, and you don't oh you don't therefore need any more flour, right? Where's flour? Flour. Yeah, flour. Yeah, they don't because no one's using flour right now. But now we're about to start using flour. So mix flour with uh, berries in order to make biscuits, and mix flour with meat in order to make pie you can also use insects if you want or eggs eggs is eggs is fine too make any make any pie of your choosing we ideally need yeah some more berries coming in at some point i think we saw there was some more farmland whenever we find some more farmland we'll just grow berries at it at a plantation do we need, do we need pottery or yeah uh i don't think we do right now but we kind of may as well get <laughs> Do we have 500 wood? We should, we should at the bare minimum just get like, just have some pots sitting on side, uh, which is available. And then literally just have uh, like say 25 biscuits, 25 pies, and that's all we need. And then that'll just keep things uh, going on. You guys can work. Actually, lizards, sorry, lizards like working with fire. So you guys can work with that. And that is going to lead to Trapper's Camp has no deposits nearby. That's absolutely fine because I think we saw... Well, there's eggs there. There's eggs there and there's some eggs here as well. Uh, we'll let you take those eggs. I think they're a tiny bit closer to the town centre. Not spectacular, but, you know, it's just keeping eggs coming in. It's all as it should be. You guys need... There is and nothing for you guys to gather right now oh if yes. you click that button yeah it just shows favor to that one race and then they're happier oh right well that's that's acceptable to me that's pfft. there we go we're just gonna, thank you chat just gonna say yep yeah, we're just we're just okay racism racism fixed it excellent 
Uh, okay, so that's just uh, bigger pans, more biscuit production from bigger yes! biscuit pans. Yes. There we go. And now you can stop favoring them if you want. Yeah, now, now, now you're no longer favoured. Lol. Bye. <laughs> They're not happy about that anymore. That's a shame. Uh, but yes, that's also... useful. Ah, the lumber mill is definitely not a bad mm. call in the slightest. I definitely would like a little lumber mill. Oh, but mill. it upsets the other races if you do that, obviously. Yeah, but I think it should hopefully have all stabilized at this point. Just so you... humans yelling about affirm affirmative actions for harpies. Mm -hmm. Just like getting all red in the face and always stop it. Excellent. So yeah, just do some planks in that regard. Don't worry about scrolls. Do we need trade goods? We did need trade goods. We absolutely can use some trade goods. Trade goods uh, can be oil, can be... Oh, flour. We're swimming in flour. Just just send flour. Just send cocking massive piles of flour. Uh, six flour generating uh, those trade goods. Just get the trade goods up to, I think it's we 20. Pies. We, we're generating so much flour. We've got like a massive grain farm that's constantly being churned into flour. We do not but need... But I want pies. <laughs> There's already so many pies, Claire. You're fine. Uh, I promise that we are not going to run out of pies or biscuits for as Ted. As you can promise me that we're not running out of I can make... savory pies for dinner and biscuits, berry biscuits for dessert. I can make you that promise. And Good. I'm going to increase the flour limit as we are now in a world where flour is now in significantly more demand. And we are just cooking biscuits like crazy. I would like ideally some more... Yeah, some more. That's moss broccoli. Would moss broccoli be an acceptable... No, we need berries. I mean, we are gathering some berries here. Ideally, we would need... We would like more berries. I wouldn't mind a little bit more on the way over. That's a uh, small encampment, small marrow deposits. What have we got nearby that's actually going to be useful? Berry bushes! That wood, 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 wood. is that's what precisely you wanted. what I wanted. Put you sideways. And you guys cut straight through there, please. Yeah, literally just straight through. Berry bushes and fertile soil. That's going to be our berries. And the black treasure stack. Yeah, that is going to be... I don't know, who no, knows? running away He's going to He's going to piss then. off somewhere, yeah. yeah. So, okay, it's almost storm time. But everyone's like, so you know, cool. everyone's over 10. So it should be fine. And then we've also got ourselves more orders coming in. So, okay, four trade routes worth at least 10 amber, whatever. Rain collector... And Two then deliver, deliver drizzle. I think I've got rain. I think those are just neutral. So I think we can just put them down. So yeah, I think that's absolutely fine. Um, and then farm fields 24. We've got some farm fields already. And then deliver packs of crops. Or need for clothing fulfilled 40 times. We don't have cloth production anymore. And we have no way of producing leather. So uh, go for uh, crops over here because we're definitely... We working. already have, yeah, 10 fields and we just opened something up that had fertile land in the back. I doubt it'll have a whole 14. No, I think it might be yeah. not enough, but that's absolutely fine. Would you guys like... Uh, yeah, just give me a widespread of people. Everyone's resolve is a little bit on the low side right now, but we've got 500 wood, so I'm willing to just uh, boost that by just tossing some wood into the fire. That's absolutely fine. We do not have coal right now, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, this trapper's camp has immediately run out of things, but there is another egg over here. It's not much, though. A little bit low on supplies in that regard. We're chopping through into... Yeah, the berry bushes are kind of critical. Uh, and once we've we've got that done, we'll be in good shape. I might just put up, in fact, a second uh, harvester's camp over there. The packs of trade goods are already being produced. We're already kind of halfway there in that regard. We're just t we're just stuffing flour in bags, and that's that's working fine. Game's like, yeah, you know what? That's legit. That's that's one hundred percent legit, right there. Give me more options, more things, more plant fiber. Thirty meat every time a villager leaves is. Oh, cannibalism! Yes. <laughs> I was wondering why you weren't more excited about the I did. name of I, that I just thought it was like, I just was like, I thought it was the queen Ooh, like... trade goods. Yeah, I thought sort of like the queen was just like, oh, you know what? We're sorry that guy left. Here's, here's like, here, we're sending you some pies. Like, no, no, we're eating him. Right. We, it if, might still be in pies. If someone, try, if someone tries to leave society, we just eat them. 
and then bake them into a pie. And then bake them strange into a pie. Meat pies. Brilliant. Just bake them into a pie. That's spectacular. Oh, dear, I love oh, dear. it. That is, that is uh, absolute love it. Shout out to uh, Rowena. He gave us ten uh, pounds. It says Claire just read out my super chat about difficult difficulty. Uh, yeah, from Royal White. And John said, hello, Rowena. And Claire said, Ro, John got my full name right. So many people get that wrong. Thank you, John, for saying it right and for knowing it. Hmm. Yes. Well, I don't know if uh, it's the same Rowena. I think, yeah, just because the patron cast uh, has been, the patron cast uh, thread is out. Uh, and we've got a Rowena on there. So I don't know if uh, you're the same uh, the Yes, same I Rowena, assumed it was. I thought yeah. it was, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm pretty careful usually about like only saying the name as it's written, just, just in case, you know, obviously. Uh, but, yeah. Ah, ability to make tools mm, and luxury goods. Now, honestly, I can't, no, I can't resist that. We've we've had so few instances to actually uh, make tools at one point. Screw mm. it. I'm getting, I'm getting that carpenter. Uh, right down. Roast right. harpy with potatoes on the side. Oh. All rosily to cannibalism. And why not? Now, I when say. you open a new glade, you can feed the dead guy to their replacement. Nice. Yeah, now if you run out of food, just open a dangerous glade. Damn straight. Right, more random houses. And just one shelter as well for the lizards who don't get their own dedicated house. Everyone else does, lizards don't. Uh, we don't have enough. Ah, we're just shy of machine parts, unfortunately. Judge so many machine parts by any chance. Gosh darn it, I needed machine parts. That's a bit of a shame. But bare minimum. Three incense for every route. Biscuits can be produced. We're already producing biscuits. Sorry, we don't need that. And building storage capacity. Not the most important things in the world. Uh, I will trade you ancient tablets for uh, berries. Which we do need, so that's absolutely fine. Yeah, we do need berries. That's absolutely fine right up there. We're almost through to the berries. Speaking of which, there's the berries and the treasure stack pissed off, and I don't care. Actually, we might for once have a chance. We might just have a chance here. Like, that's that looks pretty That looks pretty skinny to me. Like, if we... And you can be very specific about which trees. Yes, if you want to... Uh, yeah, if we were really, really slim it down. Really, really slim it down. Like, that, just those. Literally just them. That's so few trees. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. Uh, and I want a herbalist camp right here. Oh, we can't do the herbalist camp. Uh, you guys, in that case, we're just going to move you up to here. You can just fit in there. And I want more path as well, just to lead us over in this direction. That is not going to be enough. And we're just also going to have to squeeze a flipping farm in there. <laughs> squeeze the tidiest, tidiest farm. Sadly, it's got to be. Yes, just, just squeeze. Squeeze a farm in there. We don't have we don't have the materials for that either. What are you after? Oh, you're just after planks. We'll have planks in no time whatsoever. Then just just all of that. That's never going to be enough to get the uh, the farm fields, unfortunately. But it's going to be... We'll get there. Then we just need the rain collector to finish up when we find more machine parts. Once we've got the... You. Can you make machine parts? You can make tools. Which is kind of good. So bare minimum, yeah. Just wood and tools. Just feel free to crack that up to like 20. Don't make planks. We've already got a good source of planks. And luxury goods. We have scrolls. I'd say convert scrolls at a rate of 4 to 2. To just 10 packs of luxury goods. Because at some point, someone's going to ask me for those. Someone's going to come along and be like, Hey, get, give me some luxury goods. So when I've got some luxury goods, we'll be in good shape. Uh, so that'll all be absolutely A-OK. -okay right there and i just need to get some coal from somewhere call immediately yeah that's fine over you come don't care about impatience did i take rebellious by the way there's no, uh, i don't think you did i no. did it oh boo come on guys just chop faster just you're, you're so you're so nearby and there he is the chappies arrived because we don't have beavers coal there we go nice 
I just need, yeah, I just need enough, uh, I just need enough materials to basically put that in. And then we just need to make sure that nobody's using this for anything uh, of note. Stone, crystallized dew, crystallized dew per berry. Uh, I can do without. That's absolutely fine. Uh, and then stone, you guys can have a little bit of stone. That's absolutely fine. And then just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. There we go. Right. That now make sure no one uses it. Okay, it's not okay to put that on the fire. Okay, do not put that on the fire. So we've got the coal. Now we just need the building materials. I think that's like the carpenters now. Oh wait, no, it's not. Rain mill. Uh, the rain mill could apparently have been doing this this entire time. So planks. Instead of making flour. Or fabric. Uh, or bricks. Any of the above is fine. So that is actually your priority up to a volume of, was it 10? I think so. I think it was only 10. Uh, you can make 20 just in case it comes up again in future. So that's absolutely fine. It was fine. eight, yeah. So that will be, yeah. So we'll have, we'll have plenty spare uh, in future, which is fine. So that'll be done in no time whatsoever because I've set that as the highest priority. So you guys, yeah, right now you're just finishing off a pack of uh, bricks. You're just going getting more supplies. And there we go. There's the first two. It's not the most efficient in the world, but it's not bad either. So that'll be done in no time whatsoever. But yeah, we just don't have machine parts right now, unfortunately. Uh, which is a shame because we also need, yeah, we need more planks over here. But there should be a lumber yard that should just be producing, yeah, trade goods. But the treasure also... treasure stag's still around, or... I think the treasure stag may have... Pissed off, yeah. The treasure tank may have pissed off, and now there is nothing here but something very, very bad indeed. But I'm kind of okay with that because a large abandoned cache and a medium abandoned cache. And a big shelter. And a big shelter. Which I think might mean like a house for more people. If we just produce enough tools we might just be able to just barge in and just basically get like multiple reputation points like right there like nice. straight off the get-go let's see if oh, we get some of... nice easies uh have at least 16 lizards we've only got five right now complete any glade event and cover a forest discover two dangerous or forbiddens that's easy we'll, we'll do that like by default basically and then deliver for oh gosh darn it how many have i been selling this entire time but I mean, then you've been selling a lot of them trade goods i've got 22 and i've got six that's basically ready to go trade and luxury is already almost ready to go uh where were we producing the luxury goods right here there we go increase the uh cap on that to 12 uh so that's absolutely fine we've got more people arriving and these people are delivering food with us right there so we're just going to crack into the um forbidden terrifying uh glade that's going to come with a giant pile of treasure so we're just basically hacked and straight. somebody dying and someone dying but also someone replacing them i, d I don't know who this steve is i don't know even know who you're talking and also about some right meat. now i don't know who you're talking about there we go important delivery is ready to go straight away that's worth a point so there we go um then if we just yeah keep going on luxury goods will be ready in no time whatsoever and then we'll just see what shows up uh, What shows up here. Dangerous Glade, we also need to be... Yeah, if we just hack into a second Dangerous Glade and then go into any event whatsoever, you guys are... Yep, yeah, you know what? You guys, here's a second Dangerous. Because it doesn't say Forbidden, it says Dangerous or Forbidden. Yeah. Cut through here, and there's a second Dangerous. And it says, too dangerous and any Glade event resolved. So you get over to here... And vegetables and grain is both fine. We do need some vegetables. So that's absolutely fine. You guys are gathering the McJibbles. So we're just moving in a very positive direction. Crowded house. Uh, more houses. Yes. More houses. Boom. That's going to sort out. There we go. Uh, homelessness has been resolved by simply cramming more people into each house. Simple. Um... Packs of luxury goods are almost ready to go. Sadly, we did run out of some bits and pieces. There we go. We've cracked into the dangerous mega thing. Now, someone might theoretically do some slight blood magic. There could be a little tiny bit of blood magic uh, here. All we need to do is batter him with stone. Batter him with stone. He's going to do a little bit of blood magic. He's going to do a little, little tiny bit of blood magic i'm just gonna send you know, he's blue they're blue they'll figure it out there we go 
So that's all absolutely fine. And while he's doing that, we're also going to uh, crack open this. Just send more blue people in. Which is fine, just to make sure we've got enough. He's doing some blood magic now. He's 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 annoyed. I'll give you. He's annoyed. And then the carpenter, who's just the absolute MVP, is just desperately making more and more luxury goods and more and more tools, like, all the time. Are we even out of... Ah, oh, I think we're out of the ability to make more tools. We're out of the things. Here comes the blood magic. But trade and luxury are finished. Yep, trade and luxury is finished. So that's another one right there that gets me one more building selection uh right there so artisan is any of that useful for anything in particular can i make uh machine parts and it does not look like it no. unfortunately so i'm gonna reroll. nice uh, distillery smelt up making copper bars ah uh, but i don't have any casual the ability to produce the copper basket. I need the copper ore. There is no copper ore in this region. That's the unfortunate downside. So we do have berries. We do have many berries. Eh, distillery. Why not? That's fun. Uh, the blood magic is slightly killing a few people. Few people are dying during during the whole blood magic situation. There's, some people are, 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 are dying due to excessive decadence. They really kind of brought it on themselves, when you think about it. Can accommodate any villager, won't satisfy the need for species-specific housing. Has to be built near a half. That's seven residents, but it's not near a half. Well, that's bloody useless, isn't it? Absolutely bloody useless. I think it wants you to build a half, but then, yeah, presumably you're 34 be tools! Okay, this is, everything's fine. Just... Everyone stop being decadent and stop having your needs fulfilled like for just a second while there's so many people are dying But then again, so many people are really ha mysteriously happy So many people are mysteriously happy They're Is thrilled about the blood magic situation Just so much food kit comes in every time somebody dies Exactly, they're so cocky delighted by- that's true actually, they're happy because of the fu- the happy because of the cannibalism they love the taste of sweet, sweet flesh. The lizards like the blue people, and the blue people like the lizards, and everybody oh, tastes yeah, like chicken. The big we house, all flippy taste like chicken. Yes. The what? house, you can move it. The big shelter. Oh, that's nice. Not that I need to. You can move Just... every house, though. Hey, we did it. Cannibalism. 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 Right. Thanks. I think genuinely the cannibalism made them so happy. I that actually your, think it did. Your, um... I actually think it did. Now, I have got seven fragments and I've reached this thing. So now do we... Four seal fragments. Oh, that's literally a different map. Oh, never mind. It's, oh, shit. It's, it's ten to one. Okay, never mind. I thought... Oh, that we called that Society Leechford. We called that Society Leechford. That's that's fascinating. I thought literally if you got close enough, you pushed the button, you spent the things, and you fixed the thing. But no. No, you don't. Instead, you have to. There's an actual proper thing that needs to be done. Uh, there's like, you know, terrifying revenge from the abyss. Tree cutters don't decrease hostility. Every ten failed trees adds... Every ten failed trees adds two hostility points. And on top of that, a broken age seal is hidden somewhere in the forest. To find it, look for clues in the surrounding glades. It's 10 to 1. We're not starting. I'm sorry. I thought if you literally got close enough, you could, like, push the button. Uh, uh, we're, we're just going to have to do it again, guys. We're going to have to do it another time. We're not, I'm, not dumping in, I'm not jumping into uh, a brand new settlement uh, here. But we have made it close enough that it's we're allowed to try. It's a special type of map, apparently. Uh-huh. Chris, I think even if it's a whole special type of map... Yeah. You know, that probably doesn't mean it's much, much shorter. Good old Leechford. Everyone loves Leechford. Oh, seals are very time-consuming, longer than other maps. Yeah. This is a time investment if it's getting near bedtime. Thank you, Foster. Yeah. We weren't going to do that anyway, but no. I appreciate that. I thought, yeah, if we, if we speed run that on easy mode, then we could just plug the thing in, then, like, the that cycle would be complete. But it would appear not. Uh, shout out to Oman Gaming who gave us five dollars and says I'd love to know what John thinks of how Songs of Six handles data visualization. Not to request to play it, but you should check out the screenshots sometime. I have no idea what that is, so I'm afraid I cannot comment on it right now. But if I try, if I remember, remind me another week and I will. Uh, I will try and tell you. Yes, and. Uh... 
Here's another fun username. Born in a world of strife against the odds. Choose. Excellent. I thought maybe I might have got cut off, but I, I couldn't no, find no, it. No, no, that's, anyway, that's some good gibberish. I like it. They gave us ten dollars uh, and said, uh, "Hello, John and Claire. Russian roulette with a shotgun was great fun." It was. I saw someone saying, "Oh, I thought that was going to be the live stream site." It, the problem is, the entire game is about twenty-five minutes. That 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 was it. Like Lol. in theory, I could have optimized to run through it. I don't even know if there is an alternative ending. Uh, but you know, it's 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 definitely not a live stream game. As as fun as it is. Uh, yes, and shout out to uh, Akodo Kusumoto, who gave us uh, $10, and said, John, Claire, and Ted, big milestone today. I am two-thirds of the way done with radiation and chemo today. Oh, congratulations. Your streams and content have gotten me through a very tough time, so thank you so much. More harpies! Well, I hope you feel so. I hope you feel, you know, good as time. I hope it's not, you know... It's not too bad. I know people. It's yes. very variable for people. I hope it's yes. not so bad for you. And I hope would it. Uh, I, I hope we could be, you know, of whatever comfort uh, exactly to you. Uh, and finally, uh, Frank has been a member for seven months and says good night, everyone. Definitely a fun game and a fun stream. Would love another stream if John manages. To reach prestige level difficulty. Blimey, I don't even know how that's unlocked. This game is ridiculously big. Very, very huge indeed. Though I think, yes, next week will probably be back to Civ 6 for wrapping up the Cleopatra run. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully that won't go until crazy in the morning because, oh, we'll, yeah. we'll start nice and prompt. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway. I think we're all caught up in that case, are we not? We are indeed. Brilliant. So, right. We are all going to wrap up tonight. Going to go have ourselves a little quick snack and whatnot. <laughs> Coming up the rest of this week. Obviously, you've got all your usual staff. It's all your usual sim settlements, etc, etc. Uh, community members and Patreoncast people. Hopefully, Patreoncast with you next, uh, basically, in a week's time. Uh, I'm going to record it on this coming Monday. And it'll be ready. Uh, this coming Thursday is the plan. Claire's holding up a finger. I would like to point out if any of you are about to rave at John for uh, working on the Monday, he is taking Sunday so off. I'm taking because Sunday we've off. Got friends, you're friends over. That's why. That's why. I'm so he has yeah. an actual so day off. Off on Sunday. Off on Sunday. Uh, I'm hoping this Saturday to have a look at another game that a load of people loved last year that I didn't get to last year. Cocoon. Little kind of weird puzzle game. A lot of people loved Cocoon. Hoping to get to that uh, for this Saturday. And yeah, a few other bits and pieces uh, from last year that has been recommended an awful lot coming up over the next week too. So yeah, all sorts of exciting bits and pieces. Thank you very, very much for joining this evening. Thank you very, very much. The Super Dutch Nation, you've been incredibly generous this evening. And uh, yeah, just I hope you've had... A lovely stream, a lovely evening in general. Hopefully you enjoy some of the videos we've got coming this week. Hopefully we we'll see you next week or two. Just in general, I hope you have a nice time just overall. But in the meantime, I've been John. I've been Claire. It's been many a time. That's been Ted. Ted, 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 Blanket, Ted, the Blanket. It's all absolutely fine. It's been many a true nerd. And this has been the delightful, and hopefully like, you know, I'm slowly, slowly getting better at Against the Storm. Thank you very much. And have fun. Goodbye. That was a very... Were you going for something with that goodbye? I was more going for, like, you know, the ambassador of our Dark Lady of Spiders, but... I did uh, not get of, the ambassador yeah. of Dark Ladies and Spiders from that. Like, I yeah. really didn't. Like, that's, that's really more of a goodbye. <laughs>